Hi guys, this is the full 100 days movie of my Horde Night series. Now the first Horde Night is on day 8 and then every 10 days after that. The first Horde on day 8 will spawn 100 zombies, then each Horde Night after will be adding another 100 zombies, so the very last Horde will have a 1000 zombies spawn. I know a lot of you guys do enjoy these Supercut videos, so if you want to drop a like it would be much appreciated, and maybe subscribe as well if you're not already and help us get to that 8000 subscribers. But before we do get into it, are you looking to set up a Project Zombies server for you and your friends but not sure where to start? Well, with today's sponsor Indifferent Broccoli, all you need to do is click the link in the description or pinned in the comments and select how many players you want. There is no confusing options and they offer a wide range of benefits including an easy to use control panel to make it as simple as possible to get started. It really hasn't been easy with these guys. It won't break the bank either as they offer very competitive prices and also offer a two day free trial to test it out first with no credit card details required. So why not give it a go with the link below. Thank you Indifferent Broccoli for sponsoring this video, now let's get on with it. Okay guys, so we have spawned in, we are in Ekron or Phallus Lake, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a tough one this one, let's have a quick look at the map. Now I wanted to spawn here because my plan is, obviously we're playing with the Horde Knight, so let's just have a look where we are, let's give that a little pause. Yeah, so what I want to do is actually base up in the hunting store, I think that'll be pretty cool. And I think there is fences around it, so whenever the Hordes come, we're fairly safe, we've also got the the lake <laughs> um so yeah and there's a hardware store and we're kind of in the middle of the map which is why i ch chose phallus lake so yeah let's uh i'll start with the starter kit as well traits the usual kind of stuff there have a look for them the settings i will leave a little bit at the end of this video just going over all the settings i chose and everything for this but it should be fun we're going to survive 100 days but we got a horde night as i said every well the first one is day seven and then 10 days every 10 days going forward now i don't know that we've actually got a line here let's take these painkillers so the first first thing we got the you know, zombie count is set to low just because we have the horde night oh and there's still quite a few zombies we're gonna need a car we've got a lot to do i'm gonna pa panic in a little bit we'll take that lighter um yeah i'm panicking a little bit because we've only got well what seven days until we get 100 zombies come there's no key in there all right, so what I want to try and do as well is kind of clear... Respawn is off, so I want to try and clear as many zombies from Ekron as I can before the bloody Horde Knight comes, because we're going to be using firearms. We've got Advanced Trajectory on the mod. I think that will kind of balance it. We have gone Veteran, so our aiming is quite high too. Uh, and Scrap Warrior as well. So I'll just go over this traits real quick. Uh, Thin-skinned, high first, slow healer, conspicuous, pacifist, prone to illness, smoker... Weak stomach, clumsy, short sighted, desensitized, which is going to be a big one for this one, I think. Speed demon, just to use the one point. Cat's eyes, scrap warrior. Fast learner, keen hearing, fit and strong. That's what we're going with. Um, hopefully it'll be enough, but we shall uh, we shall see. But we just got to clear out these zombies first. And we're playing as Harold Buck. No uh, significance, but uh, I quite like the name. So that's uh, that's who we are. Ah, oh, nice. We got a duffel bag. We got a duffel bag. Okay, so what I want to do is, well, we're going to need... We're going to build stairs. We'll take that gas can. We'll take that bottle. Oh, we have our first gun and a box of nails. We'll take them and some gloves. Yeah, thank you very much. And we got a full gas can as well, which is very handy. So if we do find a car and it needs gas, happy days. Let's, let's try and get in here just for carpentry. As I say, I know we haven't read the book, but we're probably not going to find... Oh, there's an... Oh, yeah, there is. But we're not going to find uh vhs as i doubt so and we're gonna need to build stairs asap rocky oh there we go we got a level we got a level that'll do that'll do for now and we do have a generator brilliant uh i will take that do have the scrap mod as well so we should hopefully be doing some some scrap armor and things like that and some scrap weapons just to give me a, a little hand don't actually need the generator yet so we'll just drop it here all right let's go over the fence let's look at go and look at our new potential base all right so we're on the high street yeah we're going on the farming and rural supplies that's going to be our little base let's not uh let's not tangle with the police just yet Oh, hoys. Yes, we will take that. Thank you. All right, we've got a satchel now as well, which is good. You know, I like my satchels. Oh, we could potentially have a car here. Oh, we got a key. We got a key. Amazing. Okay. Have we got fuel in here? Yes, we do. Oh, look at that. Okay, we got a car. We got wheels. We got wheels, baby. 
I was really quite worried about that. Oh, we've got a few wheels back here. Um, because if we don't, we need to be able to get out on, like, skirmishes, uh, looting runs for the Horde Knight. Because I want to have the Horde Knight back here every, um, every time we have one. So now that we can actually get out and loot, that's that's going to be nice. Because, you know, Ekron's not very big. All right, we're going to have to smash a window here, which I didn't want to do, but... Ah, our new home. <laughs> it ain't much, but I think what we may have to do, because obviously it's going to be 100, 200, 300, 400, so on and so on, up to 1,000 zombies. We may have to build some kind of escape route on the roofs, potentially. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we will have them. Um, yeah, I am playing with uh, Maddox Weapons Pack on this one. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to just change it up a little bit. As I say, it's going to be a bit of a tough one, so... Potentially. I mean, I don't know how tough it is going to be. I haven't tested it, as usual. Tested a little bit. Oh, we got cabbage seed. Tested a little bit, but, you know, I don't like testing a hell of a lot of it because I like it to be um, a surprise when I'm playing it to see if we can actually do it. So we're going to have a lot of guns in here, so... Not too worried about that. Are we going to... Whoa! Jesus, right. I should have been more careful. we got fishing line ammo sling. Okay, yeah. We will wear, wear that. <laughs> Old Harold. Well, yeah. So I guess his, uh, his story is he was kind of, you know, he owned this store um, before the apocalypse. That was what I was going with with him. Um, yeah, he, ho he owned this store. The zombie apocalypse come. They know he's here and they ain't going to stop until he's dead or he lives 100 days. So I want to do another 100 days. <laughs> The reason I do a 100-day series is because there, there's an end goal in sight. Um, it's still a challenge, you know. Otherwise, you could, like, one of my first episodes, it went on for 70 episodes. <laughs> it's just unnecessary. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we got got 100 days. That's a goal. You know, we're going up to a 1,000 zombies spawn, so it ain't going to be easy. And because it's spooky season, um, oh, can open it, yes. Uh, because it's spooky season, I have actually put horror zombies. They're not really that horror, but they got a bit more blood on them. Uh, and they look pretty cool, I thought, actually. So, yeah, so what I want to do before the end of the day is just get an easy pickings tools, just see what, what we're kind of working with in here. Oh, we got electronics one, which is good. Oh, a hook machete. Yes, please. It's fine because, as I say, we're going to have so many bloody zombies coming down on us. You know, it could turn out that I am very overpowered for this run, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's all a learning experience. We are so overweight. Okay, so we've got some stuff off there. That's fine. We're going to come back down here later uh, tomorrow. I just noticed we did have a nice cheese sandwich in our uh, in our satchel, so we're going to eat that. All right, let's hop. Hop the fence. Ah, zombies can come in for there, so we may have to barricade that off some way. Or somehow, I don't know. Uh, I do not like this house. Uh, it is too busy around here. Let's... Ah, oh, they're all single-storied. Um, hmm. Let's go to the one up here. Is there another bedroom in here? Yes, there is. Okay, we should be fine in here. Oh, well, we got a hiking bag. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to read carpentry just for the rest of the day, I think. And we also need to get in a routine where I think Horde Night is at 10 o'clock, so we need to be sleeping up, uh, staying up late. So we're going to read Carpentry for the rest of the day and get a better, maybe like three or four and get in that kind of routine. All right, so it's four o'clock. We'll go to bed now, see what time we wake up, and hopefully that'll put us in a, in a good routine. We'll see in the morning. All right, day two. We've woken up at 10 past one. I feel that that should be fine. Let's, um, let's try and get clear out down by the... Uh, well, we're not going out there. Let's try and clear our potential base that we're going to go to, the hunting store. So what I'm actually worried of as well is if, let's give it a shout, is if we start firing guns and it brings them all around to us from everywhere. So we want to, maybe we actually, maybe I'll shoot the gun just to see how we're looking down here. We'll shoot the pistol and then I can show you advanced trajectory. Um, it is, uh, it's, it's different, uh, Project Zomboid, uh, firearms, but they're, they're pretty good. For those of you that aren't aware of the mod. So basically, it gives you a reticle, like a crosshair, uh, and then it actually shoots a trajectory. So like that. So even low shooting, you can still, uh, actually kill a zombie. Um, like that. So it's pretty good. It's pretty handy. Well, actually, you know what? We may as well keep a pistol on us just in case. Um... But the aiming skill increases how quick the reticle closes and everything like that. So aiming skill is still important even with that. Okay, so it looks like we're okay. 
Let's go and have a look in the police station. Uh, so bipod and nine millimeter, okay. I have got a water dispenser on us. Let's take that up here. Let's also, oh, they're trying to break down our door here. Come on, you bastards, get out of it. We do actually have the key for this. Has it got fuel? No. But this could be used to block here. Oh, yes. I was hoping we'd get a key from that dead zombie. Thank you very much. Now, hopefully then, if we have this as our last line of defense, I want to get on the roof as well. Now, what kind of guns we got? We got a lot. Uh, we got well, we got a few bits. We got a few bits. We got a box of MREs, everything like that. I think the way we're going to play the first horde is probably a shotgun. Probably the one, I reckon. Well, it depends how many shells we got. I don't think we got that many. I mean, we only have one box of shotgun shells. Do have nine mil though maybe it's gonna have to be pistola right let's uh let's get down and find the carpentry uh another carpentry book okay so we got a load of books oh okay yes yeah, so we got a load of books this is a load of uh scrap weapons magazines as well so this is good 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 stuff and tailoring as well because you know we like our backpack attachments this mccoy's logging thing got gas and everything Got some logs, which could be handy, and a saw, which we don't have yet. No keys, that's fine. Let's go and get some food before it goes rotten. Oh, and we got a lot of a uh, lot of snacks back here as well, which will do us nicely. All right, we got a few bits and bobs. Let's get back, read some books. I think actually, let's try and barricade this window up. Well, we got one plank. It's uh, not ideal, but at least it'll give us some protection if they try and get in here. So I think we're probably going to actually sleep through this door because I believe that'll be the safest. We will get a bed and everything sorted in here. But for the time being, behind this little corner is where is where we're going to sleep on the uh, on the swivel chair. It ain't it ain't too good, but you know it is what it is, really. All right, it's five in the morning. We're going to go to bed. We I tried to read Taylor in, but. We didn't get through it. Can I even sleep here? Oh, God. There we go. Okay, go to sleep. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day three. Let's get some lettuce in us. I'm kind of calmed down a little bit now. The mad rush is over. We are bored. We're going to finish tailoring and then probably clear more of the zombies around the area, I think. All right, that's tailoring done. Let's let's head out and see what uh, how we're looking. All these doors, all these windows. It's not my normal base location. I don't like all this open space, but... At least it'll spread the zombies out coming in trying to get us. <laughs> They'll all go to God knows what entrances. Oh, we got another generator, which is nice. Oh, and a propane tank. Yes, please. Oh, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Oh, okay, that might not be a bad thing, you know. That'll draw all the zombies so we know what we're dealing with. Uh, I'll take that as a win. <laughs> all right, we're back at base. All we're going to do is just read some magazines for the rest of the day. That alarm going off might not have been a bad thing, you know. Um, it could have been quite handy because now uh, it'll have attracted all the zombies, which I, I think I'll take a, as a win. But we're going to read for the for the rest of the day and then go and have a look up there tomorrow, I think. All right, it's 10 past four. We're very tired. I can hear zombies outside, but we're going to go to sleep, and then tomorrow we'll uh, we'll see what's occurring. All right, day four. I still hear zombies out there. Um, let's grab some food, and then let's get the hell out of there and see uh, see what's going on with them bastards. Oh, we got a level in summon. Oh, level in axe. Thank you very much. All right, let's go and have a look where this uh, where this alarm went off then. Okay, there's a few up here. There's a few. Nothing we can't handle. As I say, that alarm could have worked out to our benefit, I think. Oh, and another alarm. Jesus Christ, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, we are not having the best look, are we? Get inside. Get inside. Hopefully they didn't see us come in. Well, back to reading then, I suppose. <laughs> Not very good. Minor setbacks. <laughs> um, but we should be fine. Let's dismantle all of our electrical stuff. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Jesus, there is a lot of them. Good Lord. Okay, well, there's, uh, even though the population is set to low, there's still a hell of a lot of zombies around here. Jeez. We're going to start getting tired soon, so we 
better head back. And then tomorrow looks like we're clearing more of the bastards out. Ah, no, so we have got leveling carp, so the tonight, the rest of the day, we can actually just read the next carpentry book. All right, it is 10 past five in the morning. We need to start sleeping later, so this is gonna be the time we'll see in the morning. All right, day five, 20 past three, we've woken up. That's more like it. Let's get some food in us. Actually, let's open this sack of peaches. Um, we're gonna have to, uh, yeah, they're gonna start going rotten, so we'll eat them. Let's have a smoke. Well, Moodles are not looking good, and we got Horde Knight coming. We're not in a good, <laughs> we're not in a good spot. I won't lie, but we should be okay. Let's read this for the rest of the day, quick. Okay, let's uh, let's get at them. God damn it, they love trying to get into my bloody back door here. Yeah, we got a lot of them coming over. But as I say, it's clearing out the town, which is what we want. God damn, it's busy in here. It is busy in Ekron. Jeez, underestimated this. How many kills are we on already? 231, well, we've done a first horde night. <laughs> Oh, antidepressants, though. We will take them. Thank you. God damn, they're everywhere. Oh, we do want to get an X. I did see there were some weapons in there. So that is the uh, the plan. And we may as well take out the zombies as we're going. Oh, and another level in X. Thank you. Oh, okay. We got a lot of them. We got a lot of them. The, the axe has taken a beating, but oh well. God damn! Okay, well, we got a hell of a lot of them. Right, let's get back in this shop. <laughs> yeah, look, we got all of this kind of stuff here. Stuff that I want. <laughs> it's like a hardware store then or something. Oh, Jesus Christ! God damn! Let me loot in peace, please. Uh, vitamins could be quite useful, keeping us awake. We will take them. Keep an eye out for coffees. I think we'll be all right now that we've changed our routine, but... It's best to uh, best to have it and not need it, I say. Okay, so we got a level in tailoring, which is nice. So I do want them a good old backpack attachments, you know me. Home sweet home. Don't know how sweet this home's gonna be, but oh well. Oh, we got a bloody sledgehammer in our backpack. Oh, that's, well, at least we got a sledge, that's good. Do some home improvements with that. Okay, I've neglected our weight a little bit. We're on 79 and rising, so that's fine. Let's get some more chips in us. Let's get them calories pumping. Right, what can we read? Can we read anything? Uh, we may as well read... Uh, oh, yeah, metal working. We was reading, weren't we? Let's read that for the rest of the night. All right, it's half past five. We are thirsty, so let's go fill our water. We could do with some bleach bottles or something. We're just rocking the standard... Uh, standard empty bottle of water bottles, which ain't that good. All right, let's get asleep. Tomorrow we'll take stock of what we've actually got ready for the horde. We'll see you then. All right, day six, we've woken up at 10 to six in the evening, wow. So a lot of you might think, why aren't I using the firearms with this mod? Well, the reason that uh, is because I wanna save the firearms for when we get the horde coming. That's why, because it's gonna be a tasty horde. So, you know, I wanna be ready. Probably gonna fight them outside the first horde, I think. Uh, right, let's let's have a. Oh, got a good flashlight there. Uh, I'll take your cigarettes. Nine mil is probably the best. Yeah, that's that's probably going to be the play, I think. Nine mil. Ah, it's not ideal. <laughs> Ninety rounds. Okay, that that's that's okay. We got the shotty as well. Let's just go back in here and just check see if there's any weaponry. Okay, so I've managed to find another box of nine mil, which is good. They've actually got 174 plus the shotgun. We might not even need the shotgun, you know. All right, for the rest of the day, I think we'll uh, we'll rip clothing. Ah, oh, and there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Can we actually make a needle? Uh, I believe you, you can. Needle, yeah. What do we need? Uh, some kind of knife. Uh, do we not have a knife anywhere? I maybe want to try and go... No, we'll do it tomorrow. Maybe try and go in the... Uh, in the pharmacy to potentially get um, face masks. I feel we're gonna get a little bit of corpse sickness with all these zombies coming around. All right, it's 20 past six. We're gonna get a bed tomorrow. In theory, should be horde night, I think. Let me just have a look here. Uh, 
Yes, so it should be, I think. But let's get a sleep and we'll, uh, we'll soon find out. All right, day seven. Potentially hard night, it should be. Um, the reason I went it for a seventh day, well, day seven of the ten days, is because, let's have a smoke here. Uh, oh, we don't need a smoke, we're just terribly bored. Because then we get a hard night towards the end, and then we got a couple of days to kind of assess how well or how very badly it went. Now, what I want to do, we've got our guns on us, so we're prepared for Horde Night if it does come. Let's get some water in us quick. We also need a knife. Let's go down to the um, pharmacy and see if we can get a mask. Old Harold, you've, uh, yeah, you've really put in the work so far. What are we on? 317 kills. Jesus Christ. Okay. And there's going to be another 100 added to that. <laughs> We're going to actually take these books because we are quite bored. So, um, we got some bandages, some antidepressants, some painkillers. We'll take them. Really what we uh, what we wanted though, to be honest. We want a mask. We'll actually put our uh, ammo in our ammo uh, ammo sling. Why the hell not? Cumbrance reduction, 85, but it can only carry five things. Okay, that's, that's good to know. All right, so we're 80 weight, so that's good. How axes, yeah, okay, well, we're looking all right. We're kind of just hanging around now. Actually, if we're only using a pistol tonight. Oh, where was that flashlight I saw? There we go. Let's equip that in our secondary. Because that will come in handy. Why have we got an axe, uh, the saw, in our as our secondary? I don't even know. All right, so no horde night yet, so it may be... Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even know. See if we can find a knife in one of these zombies, shall we? There was a zombie I saw with a scrap knife in him. Quite surprised we haven't got corpse sickness yet. I'm not complaining, but yeah. Okay, so Horde Night is is tomorrow when we sleep. Okay, we got the little symbol there. Whoa. Okay, we know, we know. We're, we're, we can prepare, we can prepare. Oh, we're getting corpse sickness. We're going to have to go inside. Uh, we're getting it in here. We can't actually see because there's no lights on. So get a little bit of light. now. no fly, so that's fine. We should be okay in here. May as well keep the bloody lights on, actually. But we'll go in our in our little safe area, go to sleep, and then, yeah, tomorrow, well, it is what it is. Will we survive? I don't know. If you're watching this, we probably did survive, but I don't know. Okay, six in the morning. We're going to go to bed. We'll see you uh, for Horde Night. All right, day eight, horde night, baby, horde night. Let's get a smoke in us. Yeah, wow, wow, okay, let's just double check. We've got uh, our magazines filled. We've only got two mags. What's that? 45. Uh, is the shotgun loaded up? No, it isn't. Let's load that bad boy. I wish we had a, um, a, a needle so we could... Put some attachments on our backpack so we can have the shotgun and the machete ready to go. But unfortunately, oh, we can dismantle these though in the future to get carp up. But unfortunately, that's just not how it's going to be today. We're going to, yeah, we're just going to have to see. Okay, we got a veggie soup on us if, uh, if we need to uh, eat while we're uh, on our mission. Here they come. It's 10 o'clock. Where are you, you bastards? Come on, let's have you. Oh, I see them. They're coming, they're coming. Okay, let's take the fight to them. Oh, maintenance up. Yes, please. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here they come. Here they bloody come. Let's get the gun. We need the gun for this. Jesus. Oh, my God. Here they come. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got the fence here if we need to jump over. Okay, we got a bit of respite. They're still going to be hanging around, but yeah, wow. That was pretty, pretty terrifying, actually. I won't lie. I did see a Jason zombie, though, so we can get his machete and also a zombie with an Alice pack. So that's good, at least. Oh, Lord, look at them. Well, at least they don't constantly know where you are, which uh, is good to know, actually. Oh, okay, I did see a uh, fireman, so we'll take your mask so we don't get caught sickness. That is good. That is very good. The axe is actually doing better than the machete. Okay, okay, we're out the front of our base. We look okay, to be fair. We must have killed a good few of them. Maybe we should have uh, 
checked our kill count before. Do want to find that Jason zombie for the machete and also the one with the Alice bag. Oh, they've broken our doors. Oh, we are tired. I thought this would happen. Let's go and sit in our car for a little bit. Okay, we're good. We're good. I don't know where the Jason zombie was. Maybe he was a little bit further down here. Medium Alice pack. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. We'll sort that out a little bit later on. Uh, and she had a knife. Thank you very much. Okay, I think I think we got a lot of them. Don't know where that Jason zombie went though. No. Up here somewhere. Hmm. I do not know. Well, it looks like we're losing that machete then, which is a real shame. Oh god, there's still a load up there. Maybe we didn't kill him. Maybe he's gone up there, but I think we need to get inside. Let's have a look, see if there's any bastards hiding in here. Oh, policeman. Uh, Anti-stab, yes, we will take that, thank you. Okay, so they have actually smashed through my doors, which isn't good. Wow, well, we've done it. We've, well, not quite, nearly survived the first Horde night. Um, that was uh, a little tough, I'm not going to lie. Can we make the needle now? Why? Oh, we need... Oh, bloody hell. We need certain... Okay, we can get a kitchen knife from some. I think we've had this problem in another playthrough. Um, yeah, wow. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I don't really know what I expected, but that, was, that wasn't easy. I'll tell you that much. All right, day nine, 20 past four. Food is looking a bit scarce, I think. Um, let's put the Alice backpack on now. Oh, hey, buddy, what the hell are you doing here? Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. We're going to have a lot to do. It's going to be tight. It's going to be bloody tight with the next 200 coming in. Jeez. All right, let's go look in the houses. No alarm, no alarm, no alarm. Oh, thank God. Oh, carbon trip. I am dismantling beds as we go. Jesus, look at them all in there. Oh, I see one. I see one. Yes. No alarm, no alarm. Cute. Let's grab this propane torch uh, tank as well while we're here. Oh, Jesus. Where the hell did these come from? Get rid of the propane bloody tank. Jesus. We're going to have to uh, do a bit of house maintenance as well. Maybe we do that tomorrow. All right, so I've got, us, I've got us some logs. We need hinges and things like that, but that's fine. We can do that tomorrow. Today, let's make a needle and add some attachments. There we go. All right, we should have a load of attachments. Let's equip on back. There we go. Look at that. Ah, oh, we do have a flashlight somewhere. All right, and we got our torch on there as well. Lovely stuff. Right, we need to go to bed soon, I think. Okay, we jumped, dropped all our food off, sorted our bags out. We're looking good. We got a the Spesnaz tactical shovel on our back. Yeah, I'm happy. We got a flashlight. We're looking, we're looking good. But we're gonna go to bed, and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. All right, day ten. I've dismantled this to get some wood. We also have installed the spear traps mod, which I forgot about. So they will come in handy as well. Uh, we do have a shovel here, so we can... Uh, we don't really need that crowbar. Uh, all that plank we do need, however. Hinges and doorknobs. So let's go grab some of them. Where the hell was that Jason zombie? I know you're probably shouting in the comments. Or shouting at the screen, sorry. That you know where he is. But I cannot see. He's probably bloody despawned by now. Oh, we got a few stragglers here. Come on in, you bastards. Take that knife. I don't know how good it is, but we'll have it. Oh, I see Jason. I see Jason. Here, hidden. Look at him. You sneaky bastard. All right, we are secured with doors at least. Not so much these windows. We should probably put at least a plank on one. All right, so we barricaded up. We got stuff everywhere. <laughs> but we're fine. We're fine. Let's actually start moving. Let's move this truck. Let's add it for some fuel and kind of block this area off a little bit. There we go. That'll do. Oh, God. Where the hell did all of these come from? Jesus. Ah, oh, an elf. No. Ah, long blade up. Yes. <laughs> A 
machete might actually be quite useful now then. All right, let's get these dismantled. Oh, box of MREs, that's gonna be big. All right, we'll leave from that door and we'll actually barricade this one up only because it's gonna be a little bit flimsy, so. All right, we are, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been tricky. It's gonna be tricky. We need guns, we need more guns, that's the play. Also, some spear traps as well. So, I think, next, um, over the next 10 days, you know what, we might, yeah, I think we're gonna go down here, and we can hope that's, we go to the gun store here, and I think there's a mechanic store as well. Oh, look at these new symbols, this is another map, map mod we've got. Um, oh, wow, wow. Oh, wow. These are really cool. Check this mod out. Link is in the description. Um, let's put some... Let's put some bloody... S so, yeah, there's the gun store there. Um, and the car place, there is also a mechanics... Uh, is there a mechanics symbol? Mm. Oh, this is really good mod. My God. Um, right, well, there isn't actually one for, for mechanics, but that's fine. Um, let's... Okay, we'll use the propane. I believe there's a mechanic still there, so we may be able to get a propane mask. Uh, welding mask, sorry, because we've got torches, we've got propane. And then we can build a workshop. Uh, we can start doing some uh, scrap work, everything like that. We've left our bloody door open. Um, we'll move all the stuff inside as well. But, yeah, that is the plan. Get armed up. Take stock of what we've got. Bit of base improvements. We'll probably head over to that gun store straight away. It should only take a couple of days. And then we'll prepare for the 200 horde. But yeah, as uh, we'll probably leave it there for today. All right, day 11. We've got a lot to do. Let's have a quick look at the map. We've got to go... Oh, actually, we can just go all the way down here and then take a right on the main road and we will get to where we need to go so yeah hopefully we can get some good guns over there now it does this sledgehammer is it a real sledgehammer that's what i want to know because if it is that is big because that means we don't we can go to west point um let's have a look see if i can destroy something with it yes i can okay that's fine well we'll put that in the back of the car um let's get some uh let's take an mre with us in case we get a little bit peckish that's fine no zombies are coming around by the looks of it. I think we hopefully would have cleared out uh, Ekron by now. We also need to think of some contingency plans, some backup plans and everything like that in case we get overrun. But we can do that when we get back. First thing is first, we're going to the gun store. Jesus Christ, the hell's this truck doing in the middle of the road? What kind of condition is this in? Because if it's in good condition, we'll use this to uh, barricade our... Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, that's a really good condition. No key though. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we need to. We need a mechanics VHS if anything. But we'll see. We'll see how we get on. This is going to be a problem though. Ah, oh, we made it past it. That's fine. Oh no. Okay. Okay. We're in a bit of trouble here. We're in a bit of trouble. Oh no. Our right hand. Jesus Christ. God damn it. This car is in brilliant condition as well. We got to be careful. Classic. Classic driving for myself there. All right, so we are actually here after that near death experience. I can't believe we just cut our right hand. Uh, okay, so it's just the hood that's uh, no damage to the, to the engine. That's fine. We can live with that. We can live with that. Um, that's a bit annoying. There, was, there wasn't actually any welding mask in here. All we got was a hammer. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, well, let's get the hell out of here then. Well, that's, that's really annoying. Oh, we have found a camping canteen though. That is nice. Good job I came in here. Okay, let's go up to the uh, to the gun store. Okay, we got some ammo. It's good, it's good. All right, so we have looted everything. We've got a lot of stuff, a lot of ammo. Well, a bit more than I was expecting, to be honest, but no real guns in there. We've got, I don't know, like a rifle. I think we've picked up a carbine as well. Yeah. Um, so not amazing, but it's something. It's something. But we need to get home and prepare for the horde night. So, yeah, pretty successful, pretty successful haul. Nothing else around. Ah, I mean, do we? While we're here, do we go up here? Ah, the car's pretty full, though. No, we'll save that for another day. 
Let's get the hell out of here. Got to be careful of wrecks on the way back. We don't want another injury, do we? All right, we are home. We're a little bit tired. We're going to sort the uh, sort all of our weaponry out. I'm going to put it all in the correct uh, some correct containers in here. That is the job for the rest of the day. All right, we have had a good old bloody tidy up here. We've got all of our guns and our magazines and ammo in there. We've got all of our guns in here. Not a lot, to be honest. We've got uh, books in there, and we've got all of our melee in there. So it's half past six. We're going to get to bed, and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. All right, day 12. Let's, what, why are we so overweight? Oh, we set off stuff. <laughs> we set off stuff here. Um, right, okay, let's sort some of this out. Oh, and weapon parts. Yes, I dismantled a broken old shotgun um, and got weapon parts, it would seem. Let's, um, hmm. well, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Magazines need to go in there. And attachments need to go in there. What the hell am I doing? I don't even know. Okay, so we are a bit hungry. Oh, we got these. Uh, let's get rid of this holster as well. Um, Taylor and stuff. Yeah, I guess Taylor and stuff can go in here then. We've got a new uh, gas mask that protects us a little bit more. But I don't know if it doesn't look like it had a filter in it. So I don't know if it um, doesn't actually protect you. So we're not going to use it. All right, we're a little bit hungry. Let's have an MRE. These are going to be very nice to have. Let's, uh, what we need to do is we need to get the shovel and we need to have a look at how, we're going to need to prepare. We need to prepare for Horde Night. So we've got to make some, oh, we got a zombie down here. Hey, buddy, come on. It looks like our hand is healed, which is nice <laughs> from our, uh, our little accident we had. All right, so we're going to have to dig some graves. We're going to have to get some spear. I'm thinking that maybe along here because they seem to have come from there. So I think today we're going to be digging a load of graves. Let's give it a shout. Let's draw all the bastards over to us. Because like I said, we want to clear out Ekron for the Horde Knights. So respawn is off, so... Alright, let's try them, just them two. Let's see how we get on with that. Now we need spears, so let's drop the spade there, the shovel. Alright, so we got a load of uh, logs. Which is good. We did break an axe though, which isn't so good. Okay, so we need a knife. That's fine because we do have lots of knives around now. Ah, and there we go. Our first trap. I love it. I love it. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Ah, oh, but the knife is broke. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Not really sure what to uh, what to do about that. We do have other knives, but. Let's uh, let's fill these traps up anyway, and we'll try and lure them here for the next horde night. Actually, we do have quite a few knives. We're not probably not going to be using knives. We got quite a few knives here. Yeah, we can use them. Oh, we have got a leveling carp. That is that is very nice, actually. Thank you. We're out of spears. That's fine. That's probably going to be as done for the day anyway. But we do. I do want to read the next commentary. So we need stairs. Because once we get stairs, we have a safe exit out of here. I want to build up onto our roof on the uh, gun store here. And then maybe, maybe do some sky bridges across the way there. Just in case things get a little bit out of hand. Because this will be our fallback place. Uh, we'll have some guns upstairs and everything like that. We'll probably actually build a little base upstairs. Uh, but we'll we'll see. Do we actually have carp free? Yes, we do. Okay. We're going to read that for the rest of the day, I think. All right, it's 10 past 6 in the morning. Well, I'm so out of sync with our uh, our sleep schedule. But we're going to go to bed and tomorrow, uh, well, later today, whichever way. I'll keep saying tomorrow because when I when we go to sleep, I count that as the end of the day. Uh, tomorrow, we'll finish the carp. I think we'll see you then. All right, day 13. We are hungry. We are in pain. I'm not going to eat just yet because we're going to have MREs and they are quite calorific. Um, so we'll wait till we start dropping weight a bit. Um, today, today, today. Yes, we're going to finish carpentry. That's what we're going to do. All right, that is carpentry done. I do see a zombie hanging around over here. Let's uh, deal with this absolute joker. And also dump some of our trash we don't want on him. All right, let's have a little look around for the rest of the day. I want to get some chairs outside as well. So maybe we go and have a look up at the... Uh, uh, we are very hungry, yeah. Eat eat a half the MRE. There you go. Yeah, maybe we go and have a look up at the gas station, see if there's any working cars. Also put some chairs outside again if we need to retreat. That we can run if we're tired and rest up there. It's actually a nice little gas station up here, to be honest. Jesus Christ! My God, get out, get out. God. Whew. I thought we was a goner. 
I thought we was a goner. I'm a bloody party in a gas station, you bastards! Good job they're too bloody slow. Alright, we've actually found a chair that we are going to take and stash that somewhere. Alright, so we know we've got an escape chair here. This is where we'll put it, I think. If things get too much, that's fine. We can run to the chair. Um, maybe we put that on our map, actually. Um, right, where are we? Um, what can we use? I wonder if they've got a little sim... Oh my god, they do. They do. Okay, they got a chair here anywhere? All right, we got a chair there. <laughs> I do love this mod, this this map um, map symbol mod. It's really good. Probably start heading back as we are getting tired. All right, we are back home. I'm thinking, do we put like one of these against the back door? I think we do. There we go. I can hear a zombie trying to break in somewhere as well. Hey, you bastard! What the hell are you doing? Get out of here! Get out of here! Jesus. All right, but it's ten past six. We're going to get a bed tomorrow. Maybe we go over into the uh, residential area uh, and look for some garages for a gas uh, for a welding mass potentially. We'll see, but uh, we'll see you uh, see you in the morning. All right, day fourteen. Day fourteen. Uh, I think actually we're going to do more defenses. That's what we need to do. We need to focus on the defenses. We're actually going to put some traps here as well. I think. Oh, right, dug some there. We'll also dig some uh, maybe along here. Actually, maybe here. I think maybe just maybe here and here because we'll run through there them done I'm only adding three spears per trap I don't know if that's the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do I don't know I've never really used spears before to be honest uh, spear trap sorry right so what we actually need then is more knives or to repair some knives so I'm thinking maybe just maybe we do go into the residential area yeah, let's go in the residential area for a bit. Oh, we are a bit tired. Let's have a rest in this car. Or oh, this van. <laughs> God, how are we tired at 8.30? That's not good if we get bloody... When we get horde night, is it? Jesus. We'll get this of a propane tank here as well. And take one of these chairs, because we'll set up a, a, little, uh, a little hideaway over this side as well. Do it here. At the end of this road, I think. Yeah. Yeah, here seems like a good idea. <laughs> let's pop that on the map as well. And... And there you go. Thank you very much. Lovely stuff. We'll also check out this car here. Hopefully it's got a uh, keys and gas. Or maybe not even gas, just keys and I'll be happy. Oh, yes it does. No gas though. That's fine. That's fine. All right, let's get some gas and we'll actually use this to barricade us in a little bit more. All right, that's someone at least. I mean, they can still crawl under, but it should slow them down. We do also need to, you know, fill that big old gap there, but oh well. Ah, it's a shame we don't uh we can't use uh hot wiring because this car this would be perfect oh there is a key down here though i mean these ain't gonna work It'd be nice if they did oh my god it actually works <laughs> we got it working <laughs> that is good we added some fuel and this bad boy's working this bastard is working so yeah we can block something else off down here i'll take that i will bloody take that oh we're stuck Oh, what? Now we've cut our arm. No, no, no. Ah, god damn it. I didn't have a weapon equipped when a uh, weapon attached when I smashed the window. God damn it. Jesus, what the hell is wrong with me? Idiot. All right, so we've got two camping, uh, camping canteens on us, which is good. But, oh, damn it. The water is out. Ah, that ain't good. That ain't good. Oh, we're going to have to get on that roof sooner rather than later. We don't even have a pipe wrench, so we're going to have to go in the residential area tomorrow. That's the play. All right, it's 20 past 6. We're going to go to bed. We will uh, see you in the morning. All right, day 15. Horde night is approaching. Let's eat an MRE. Yes, please. Uh, did you even eat that? I don't think you did. For some reason, this jacket isn't showing down here. I think I have noticed this. I think it is a uh, is a bug. Um, so we're going to have to find a jacket to replace it to do any maintenance on it. Where did that, what happened to that MRE? Where did that go? Did I eat it? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. All right, let's go to the residential area, I think. See what we can find. Maybe I'm keeping the gas can on us in case we find another car. But that is a house off swing speed. Yeah, it's okay, to be fair. Right, let's, let's just bloody do it. We need knives um, and cars and a pipe wrench. And also dismantle some beds while we're at it. I believe it's level six for stairs. Yeah, okay, we could get there. We could get there. 
All right, so we've uh, we've made it to the only two-story building, two-story house, sorry, in Ekron. And there's a shed there as well, so there's nothing really in this house. So hopefully we might be able to get a welding mask, a pipe wrench, something good anyway. Well, nothing in the, uh, in the shed here. It's a shame. Well, there wasn't really anything in here, to be honest. We did manage to get a bit of carp skill, but it is what it is, you know? No pipe wrench, what can you do? What can you do? Hey, we got carpentry. Nice, nice, nice. One more level and we can build stairs, which is what we want. All right, looks like this house down here actually has a shed, which is geared. Come on, welding mass. Come on, come on, come on. Mm, duct tape and a cordless drill. A cordless drill, we do need to use that for some of the metalworking, but no bloody welding mask. All right, let's uh, let's head home. We're getting quite tired. Tomorrow, I think we'll go down south and see if we can find a car down there just to finish off our little blockade here. We could even double the cars up. I don't know. We'll see. No knives, though. We didn't find any knives, which is a bit of a shame because uh, I wanted to get some traps going, but it is what it is, you know? What can you do about it? We are also getting low on cigarettes, which <laughs> is a bit concerning. And space for our guns. We're not going to have enough bloody space here. Okay, well, we're going to have to... Uh, I mean, the M14, that is... Oh, and it's kitted. Let's place this over here because we may actually use that quite a lot. That's all probably going to be our go-to, um, I think. Yeah, probably will be. All right, we saw a little bit of our bag and stuff out, but it's uh, half past six. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We are heading down south. We'll see you then. All right, day 16. Now, let's go. Yeah, let's go south. See if we can get a car working down there. Do we have our gas? Yes, we do. And we have tortilla chips. Happy days. Happy days. Uh, wrench. I don't think we've got one of them. We will take it. Oh, yes. We, oh, we don't have that magazine here, but we have the key. We have the key. That is is good. I can hear a zombie somewhere, I think. Come on in, you bastards. Oh, and this has got gas. Oh, happy days. You know what? This may actually be a contender for our uh, our car. Let's see what... Uh, it's a bit dirty, but let's see what condition the engine's in. Uh, no. <laughs> we'll take the old station wagon. I think that's what you call them in the... Over in the States, isn't it? We would call it uh, an estate car, but uh, an old station wagon. There we go. She is blocked. Nice. Okay. We're good. We're good. I think behind us is fairly secure. We'll keep on going down south, see what else we can find. Uh, we will actually take this leather jacket as well. Let's wear it open. Oh, we got some, uh, some good looking vehicles down here, actually. Uh, not so much that one, but it does have a key and fuel, so we will actually use that as another blockage. I actually have a look in this bar for some smokes, but then also some bourbon. Some bourbon, sorry, if uh, things get a little bit crazy. We could always Molotov the bastards. And we do need cigarettes. Okay, so we got a, we got a couple. Better than nothing. Let's dismantle. We need carpentry while we haven't really got a lot to do while we're waiting for Horde Night. Let's, well, let's deal with this zombie. Hey, buddy, come on, I'm over here, you idiot. Let's go and have a look in these houses down here, beings with down here. <gasps> Survivor house. Yes, yes. That's what we want. Oh, no, and there goes the axe. Okay. I've actually got a chair here as well, which we will mark on the map because this could again be a good little getaway. There we go. Happy days. Right, I do see that zombie there. We're not going to mess with him. We are getting tired, which is quite worrying. And we're getting tired around the time horde night. No, um, the horde comes. So that's not good. I wonder if there's a lot of zombies in here. Can we take them? I don't know. Like there is, to be fair. Okay, we're in. We're in. Looks okay. Oh, yes. Look at this. This is what we want. Take it. Take it. Oh, yes. Look at this. Another machete. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We are very overweight. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's pop it out. We still have stuff out here. Jesus. What have we got out here? Is it ammo and stuff? By the looks of it. Oh, and guns. God, we are out of space. Um. Okay. It's going to have to just go on the floor for now. All right. It's 7 a.m. We're going to go to bed. 
and uh, we've equipped all of our weapons for Horde Knight. I've gone with the Gerber um, hatchet, the machete. We do have a, the Defender machete in our as a backup. We've got the M9 um, and also the shotgun. We have 112 rounds with the shotty, um, 228 with the pistol. So we're not we're, we've got a heavy load, but if we eat, we should be fine. But let's get to bed. And we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 17. So the Horde Knights will be coming on the 8th of attempt day by the looks of it. Just because of how the game worked it out, I believe. Um, so that's fine. So we still have plenty. We have a day to prepare. We're probably not going to do a lot today. Um, ah, there's nothing we can, really can do, to be honest. we just got to... Um, let's just go and uh, assess the situation outside. We have our emergency chairs. I'm a little bit nervous, I won't lie. Um, we have our emergency chairs. Maybe maybe we park our car a bit up north in case we need to get the hell out because we'll start down here. I prefer them coming from the south. That's that's how we're going to play it. There we go. Because if we got to escape, we got to escape. You know, not if we got to abandon all hope. That's just how it is. That's just how it goes down. But we'll, uh, we'll soon find out. Mm, we do have heavy loads. So I wonder if we can... Uh, Anything to take that down a little bit. Uh, we'll just have to eat loads before uh, before the inevitable doom comes. Uh, let's deal with these jokers down here. We'll also check out this axe as well. See what it's like. The old Gerber. It's actually pretty good. What are our skills looking like? We got... Uh, axe is the main one. Yeah, long blade. Maintenance. Mm, okay. Okay, aiming up. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll we'll get some skills up, we'll get some skills, we'll see. How is our weight actually? I haven't really been keeping tabs on our weight. 80, 80 and dropping. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. All right, it's ten to seven. We're gonna get a bed. We got the horde symbol. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Oh, I suppose it is. It is actually on day seventeen. It comes. So yeah, that does make sense. All right, let's get a bed. We'll see you. Uh, see you in the morning. Okay, our day eighteen. It's uh, it's the day. It's the day. Let's get another MRE. Do we have everything? Uh, I think we're as prepared as we can be. Um, I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's go wait for this uh, this hell on earth. Okay, it's coming. It's coming any minute now. Let's eat this food. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're, we're rocking and rolling. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the older... Oh, I don't know. Let's get the pistol out first and try and pick him off from a from a distance, maybe. I don't know. I don't know the play here. Oh, there's a propane truck down there. That's pretty handy to know. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's get the axe. Let's get the axe. Let's get the machete. Oh, my God. How are we tired? How the hell are we tired? Jesus. Get some coffee. Oh, we can't even eat because we're full. Brilliant. Okay. This ain't good. This ain't good. Eat coffee. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Jeez. All right. Let's get the shotgun on the go here. What are we messing around? Let's get a shotty. Oh, they actually trip over the graves. That's good to know. Shotgun coming in clutch. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. Come on, you bastards. Oh, aiming up. Nice, thank you. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. The shotgun is an uh, absolute beast. Oh, Santa, no, no. I do like this projectile uh, tra trajectory mod. Um, it makes sense. Maybe a little bit overpowered, but, you know, when we've got a thousand zombies coming in, I don't feel too bad for using it, to be honest with you. Good thing about them being in a horde is that bullets are going to hit them. Because there's so bloody many of them. I mean, them, them graves, they are really helpful. We're going to use them quite a lot, I think. we got a good little route here going around these houses. Looks like we there's a lot of them. We got through a lot of them by the looks. All right, I think that is the majority of them. I can hear them banging around, but... Right, now let's get the spoils. I did see a couple with some weapons. We're not going to check every single one of them, but... It's worth seeing if we can get some in. 
Now, I believe this suit is... Oh. Not, I thought it was supposed to be a really good one, but I guess it isn't. Oh, we got a tomahawk. I'll take that. Santa. No, Santa. Christmas is cancelled. No. Do we take the fireman's? Let's, let's keep hold of them. Not sure. I don't normally wear fireman's clothes because they just slow you down and they're so heavy and you get hot. But maybe, maybe it's potential. Oh, another tomahawk. That's good because we're using axes. Look at this guy. What the hell is this? Oh, pilot or something. Oh, well, rip in peace, buddy. Oh, God, they had a Molotov on him. Yes, please. You absolute rebel. All right, well, that was, uh, that was a successful... Why are we losing health? It's going to be because we're carrying so much, isn't it? That was bloody successful. Yeah, we, uh... Them, uh, them, them graves, they're, they're a good play. Let's see if we can get this working. We'll see if it has... The keys, no it doesn't. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Ah, oh, these bastards trying to get in here. Hey, hey, get out of my door. All right, it's 7 a.m. We're gonna go to bed tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're gonna have to get some crates. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to build more crates in here. Hopefully that will increase our carp as well. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 19. We got maintenance day today. We're going to do some carp. We're going to do stuff like that. It's 10 past 6 in the evening. Wow. I never get used to this uh, this time. It'd be nice if we can go back to sleep again a normal a normal time. Um, I suppose we'll go in here and get some wood. We'll repair our door. Uh, I want to put some more crates about and stuff. So just uh, you know, a general tidy day. Oh, well, first of all, let's put our bloody door back, in, back together over here. <laughs> let's actually barricade it. Oh, we're gonna keep an eye on our weight. We're on 81. Oh, we don't have that. Let's take that. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna take a, a keep an eye on our weight. We're on 81. I want to know if we can trip over these graves because they are they're gonna be handy with the Zeds, definitely. We might not even need spikes. Right, let's get some let's get some crates built. All right, so we got our guns over here. That's good. Now I think what we'll do is use these two for ammo. I do want a separate one for attachments and magazines, so we're going to get them out. All right, we also want some crates for our melee weapons. All right, we got a lot of planks. We're very overweight, very tired. We got some some not too good moodles going on here, but let's uh yeah, it's quite it's near our bedtime. Let's get back. God, we are extremely bored, tired. Oh, God, it's 8 o'clock. We better go to bed. Right, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> All right, day 20. Yeah, we better sort these uh, these moodles out, haven't we? Um, let's see some peaches because uh, we've run out of space in our food uh, container. But, you know, that's, that's not a bad thing to have, is it? All right, I think for the rest of the day, we're just going to have to go around dismantle and hopefully get, uh, get that carp up and get some more wooden planks and uh, all that kind of jazz. <laughs> Oh, more shotgun and ammo, yes. All right, we got some planks. Let's take them home. Let's drop them off here because we're going to need them for uh, the stairs eventually. All right, so six in the morning, we've been... Uh, oh, where the hell is my inventory gone? Um, six in the morning, we've been dismantling. We're nearly at the next level of carp. So the next 10 days, we will probably be able to build stairs. Um, but we don't have a pipe wrench. That is uh, that's going to be a problem. I don't think you can use a normal wrench as far as I remember. So, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Right, that'll do us for planks. Let's get out of here. But yeah, we're back at base. We'll drop all this stuff off and then we'll be going to bed. So we'll... Uh... All right, day 21. We've got a lot planned for the next 10 days. The first thing I want to do probably today is actually go over to this hunting store and gun store over here. So we can get some guns ready for the next horde night and then we're probably going to come back because we're very close to getting level, what's that, level 2, 4, level 6 in carpentry which will allow us to build stairs. So then we can get on the roof and then we're going to build a little base on the roof there. What is our weight like? That's fine, right? Let's have a little bit of a, let's take actually, let's take an MRE with us and let's, e let's, mm, let's have some... Let's have some chips. But first thing is first, we're heading over to that gun store. Do we need the sledgehammer? It's in the boot of the car anyway. Yeah, let's uh, let's get over there and try and get whatever guns we can get, really. All right, so we're just coming up on it. I don't know how busy it's going to be over here. We've got here mostly in one piece, not um, completely uh, safely, but I think the car has taken some damage because it's starting to make some noises. So how much longer this car's going to last? I don't know. 
but I think we'll uh, we'll park here and go on foot. Yeah, 40%. She did take an absolute beating. Mm, that's not good. We may get lucky and find a car here. I don't know. Looks fairly quiet around here, to be honest. Okay, we are in, and there is some nice guns here. We'll probably bring bring the moat around. All right, we have looted it all. We've got a hell of a lot of ammo and guns. We've got no space in the car, so we're going to have to put some of these on the seat. Um, rear right, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Now, it is getting late. I don't really want to drive back in the dark, but we may have to. Let's just go and have a look at the other, other shops around here. Oh, we do have the emergency broadcast, so that's 88.6. Let's pop that on the old mappage. Nothing really in here, magazines and stuff. I mean, we'll take them. We'll also fill our water up as well. Pipe wrench? Nah, no pipe wrench. Did just want to come over to the gas station here just to see if there was any cars, but it doesn't look like there is. Maybe a how to use generators? Oh my God, yes, there is. <laughs> I'm glad we came in here now. And some cereal, we'll take that right. Okay, I think we're gonna get back. Let's not push our luck. We got, we got the guns, that's what we need. Let's try and get back safely. All right, we're back at the car. Let's get the hell out of here. Actually put the headlight. Oh, we only have one headlight. Just gonna take it nice and slow. I mean, this is probably a bad idea because it is uh, raining, but actually, you know what? Mm, do we go and, do we go and stay in this house here? the night i tell you what let's let's have a yeah let's stay here for the night to hell with it and then we'll drive back in the in the well our morning there's also a shed here so we may be able to get some good stuff in here uh, there's a little bit of food in here i can hear zombies banging around ah oh, we got a pipe wrench oh my god this we have been bloody bloody lucky now what i'm going to do to make sure we're safe i have got some planks off of the furniture in here i am going to barricade this up because we don't know our surrounding area so we'll barricade that up before we go to sleep okay but it's 20 past six we're going to go to bed and uh, we'll see you in the morning we'll tri attempt the trip home all right day 22 we survived the night thankfully nothing uh nothing crazy happened let's get the hell out of here and let's just get home okay so we're just at the town that we went to previously now there was a load of cars here and i just i don't i can't actually remember if we checked them or not i think there's a couple around here no the next one I just want to check them because if they're in good working order we'll bloody have them oh we got a key yes thank you very much let's see what she's like under the hood oh yes we're having her we're having her we're having you baby we're having you all right, old girl, your services are no longer needed. We're on to bigger and better things. Thank you very much. All right, we have made it home safe and sound. We only hit one zombie on the way home, which I would say for me is a win. So let's unload all of this trash. Ah, now the crates are full again. Um, that's fine. Let's dump it on the floor. We're going to have to get another crate going here. Let's read this how to use generators right this second. Thank you very much. Oh, power has gone out. Okay, right. I didn't actually realize that. All right, let's, uh, being as we've just read the how to use the generators, let's uh, get this bad boy going, shall we? All right, how many days have we looking like here? 41 days, jeez. We ain't got a, light, a lot on though, just lights. All right, so we finished unloading the, the wagon. Now, what I think we're gonna do for the rest of the day, let's get our torch on so you guys can see. Um, we're going to go and do a little bit of this man and then hopefully we'll get to that next level of carp and then we can get on the roof tomorrow. That That is the plan. Oh, there we go. We got carp. Thank you very much. Right, let's get these logs. Let's get back home. Actually, let's have a quick look, see if we can build stairs. I oh, know we need, we got nine. We need 15, so we need six more. Let's just do it. All right. Okay, let's get these bad boys built and then that is that done. Okay, we are access to the roof. Oh yes, look at this. Look at this. Right, now we need tomorrow, we need to figure out where we need to put our rain collectors, where we need to smash a hole through. We're also going to build some sky bridges, I think, but that is a few jobs for tomorrow. All right, it's seven, 10 to 7 in the morning. We're probably going to build here to come down to. So free across, we should be fine, but we're going to have a smoke and then we're going to go to bed. So we'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow. All right, day 23. We've got a lot to do today. What I want to do, first of all, is get a load of sheets before all these zombies despawn. We may be too late, but we shall see. Um, yes, we're, <laughs> we're too late. Um, okay. 
Well, there goes that idea then. All right, so in the meantime then, we will, won't will worry about that. We'll have to go in some of the houses. Let's smash a hole in our ceiling. Okay, so there it should be. Let's fast forward this bad boy up. And uh, yep, yeah, now we need wood and... Uh, well, we need wood to build a fence and we also we're gonna need sheets aren't we we got we gotta have sheets we need sheets all right let's go look at some houses very quickly just see if we can uh see what sheets we can get we can also keep an eye out for bin bags as well that we're gonna need to build our uh, rain collectors so it's busy it's all go it's all go around here okay we got what 50 about 70 sheets so we'll need to wash some of these up but that should do us i think Okay, we can make five sheet ropes. So I think we need, yeah, that should be okay for now anyway. And then we can at least build an escape route up onto our roof. All right, well, we've got our uh, we've got our fence there. Now, in theory, this should take us to where we want to go. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. That is perfect. All right, what we'll also do is we'll leave these rip sheets up here as sheet ropes, as an escape route if we need it. Also, these planks for when we get our rain collector as well. We're going to need more planks, but what I am going to do is actually dismantle these stairs. Yes, look at that. There we go. Let's get all this wood, lovely wood back. Thank you very much. And what I also saw in here which it'll do for the time being until we build a proper uh, a tent kit. Look at that. Um, can we take this? Hey, can we take it? Come on, let me have it. Let me have it. And we'll also take a chair as well. Why the hell not? There we go. We have we have a tent. Oh, yes. Look at this. We have a safe, safe area. It's only going to be for the uh, for the horde nights that we uh, have to retreat up here. But at least we are safe. Now, let's have a look where these rain collectors need to go, shall we? Okay, so I worked it out and it needs to go about number nine. Square number nine. Now, do we have enough bin bags? I don't think we got... Oh, we got one bin bag. Right, so we'll place that where... The rain collector needs to go okay so this is the spot where the rain collector needs to be so we'll place that there that's fine we'll go and have a little look for some bin bags for the rest of the day actually how is our weight we're gonna need some food aren't we 81 and drop in um you know what i think we will treat ourselves to uh eat some chocolate go on you deserve it harold oh i've just realized we still have the bloody plastic chair on us that's not good well, we've got two bin bags uh, from this little restaurant place. We only need one more. Surely we can find one somewhere. And look at this. We have. Oh, we'll actually take that sack as well. Oh, and I haven't found. Oh, we'll read that. Pick that sack up. Then we can get some croppage going upstairs. Lovely stuff. Love it. It's all coming together. I love it when a plan comes together. And there we go. Our rain collector is down. Let's put the sack up. Here. Actually, let's take the sack. So we're going to need it downstairs, aren't we? So we have a rain collector. Oh, let's put our chair up here as well while we're uh, while we're up here. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Right. Let's go plumb our sinkage in. There we go. We're done. We have. Uh, yeah, we're looking good. I will get another rain collector at some point to go in here. But for the time being, that'll do nicely. That will do very nicely. And you know what? Let's take a David up there as well. Why the hell not, you know? Let's pop him there. You're a hero. Okay, so what I want to do now is actually get over over to that. Yeah, over to that roof, I think. Because then, worst case, we can, uh, you know, escape there. So let's actually start working on that, I think. Okay, I think we're... Can we walk on this? Oh, yeah, look at this. Can we walk here? Oh, my God. Yeah, we can. We can... Let's get our uh, flashlight on a sec. Yeah, we got to be careful of there. This, this we can all walk on. But what I'm thinking is maybe we put, yeah, maybe we put a rope here, a fence and a rope here to escape or get up this way. Well, actually, no, we won't put the rope down. We'll save the rope for if we do end up getting back here. But I'm going to need more wood. All right, we got a few logs. We got a few logs. It's good. That's good. Let's read this one very quickly. Okay, so we're back over here. Let's build a fence. There we go. Let's just pop that. Why, uh, why, why, oh, okay, that's why. Gotta be careful of that. Gotta remember that's there. That could be drastic on a horde night, but we're not in a very good way. It's five in the morning, it's about our bedtime. We're extremely tired. We're, uh, you know, we're carrying all this junk on us. Let's, let's get rid of that. Um, and you know what? Let's just, let's go to bed. We'll sort this out tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. All right, day 24. Let's finish off what we was doing yesterday. Building our escape room. I like that it's light. We don't get a lot of light these days because we're, uh, let's, 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 let's. Let's actually build it out a little bit, I think. 
yeah, I think that'll do right there. You know what else might be worth doing? Just pop in a couple of fences here just so we know. There we go. Like that. Like that. That's the escape route. We'll go and drop some uh, sheets off, some sheet ropes there. Okay, so it looks like it can add a, add a sheet rope there. So three ropes will be enough. So we'll drop them down there uh, in case you need to get the hell out of dodge. But that, I would say, is a bloody result. Right, now what we need to do, well, we need to eat some food. We are not in a good way. Let's have some uh, MREs, I think. Yeah. Let's actually take some food up there in case we do get stuck. And we'll also take our water bottles up there as well, again, in case we get stuck up there. I will sort all this out eventually. I'm going to build a house up here, I think. That'll be quite cool, I reckon. Right, we also need to take stock of what guns and ammo and all that kind of jazz that we have. So let's have a quick look at ammo. Okay, so we have quite a few shotgun shells. That is good. Let's take some 308s up there and put the rifle up there because then, you know, if we got a rifle up there, that kind of seems like it makes sense to have a rifle up on the roof for sniping. Okay, so we've got two boxes there, three magazines and 10 boxes there. Yeah, I think we're going to have enough 208 up, uh, 308 up here, sorry. The battle rifle, yep. Yeah, put that bad boy down there. Look at that. Oh, reloading up. Nice. All right, well, our little sniper nest is looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. It is literally a sniper's nest. Tomorrow, we're going to build more. We're going to build graves. They seem to work a treat. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to build graves ready for the horde. But today, we'll actually fill our. Uh, I'll sack up with dirt. And we'll go uh, actually put uh, put some seeds down. Uh, we got the cabbage. We got the cabbage. Look at that. All right. Furrows are dug. Let's drop the... Oh, we got some horrors. Let's just leave them here for now. Uh, seeds are there ready to go. Also the trowel. Wait till it rains. Let's see if we've got the next carpentry. Because if we do actually increase our carpentry, we can build a bigger and better rain collector, which I do want. If not, we'll have a little trip down a bookstore. Why the hell not, you know? We're, we're looking good. Um, looks like I don't have the book. Okay, let's go down there. There we go. Carpentry Fort, first one. Perfect. Okay, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Our bedtime. Um, we got a little bit, well, what, three, a quarter of the way, one third of the way through carpentry. But we're going to test out the tent tonight. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get a bed and we'll see, uh, see when we wake up. All right, day 25. We've woken up in the lovely, lovely, glorious sun. I like it. I like it. I'm feeling very... Very confident about the base now. But the order of business today is to build graves. Yes, graves to trip them bastards over. Let's get on with it. Well, we've done one side. It ain't much, but, you know, it's an honest day's work, I'd say. So we'll do the other side, and I think they'll probably, uh, probably do as you know. Well, there we go. We have done the other side. Um, hmm. Do we want to do up here? I don't really know. I mean, can we trip over these? I don't think we can. So we may as well do along here as well, aren't we? All right. Well, that's that done. I think. Oh, we still need to be carpentry, don't we? Um, okay. Let's have a little treat and go and do a little bit of fishing, shall we? See if we can catch any uh, absolute whoppers down there. Ah, uh, actually, we don't have a... We don't have a fridge. Let's go get a fridge. And some more trash bags while we're here. Uh, I think this little chest, uh, the under-counter fridge will uh, do us, actually, to be fair. And we'll also take the big uh, chest freezer as well. Oh, actually, if we park here, then the zombies will go round the van onto the uh, onto the graves here. That's a good play. That is very good play, if I do say so myself. Okay, let's just pop that there for now. Oh, you know what? No, we'll leave that on the uh, on the floor because it's just going to drain our, our fuel. There we go. We don't need it just yet. We got our fridge. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, isn't this the dream of a zombie apocalypse? Just being on a roof. Uh, the roof of a gun store or place with a lot of guns and just picking zombies off. Pew. That is, uh, that's the dream, to be honest. I'll tell you what I do want to do. I want to go, let's go fill up our gas and get the other um, uh, generator as well. Mm. Where did I put that other generator? I cannot remember. Ah, I found it. I found it. I knew where it was all along. All right, that's the generator powered up. Let's get these fuel cans nice and filled up. Let's do it. All right, we are full. Turn that bad boy off because we don't want to waste the fuel. And uh, yeah, we're looking bloody good. Right, we got the Jenny. Let's get this bad boy upstairs. We're going to climb the rope. Yeah, we're climbing the rope with a generator in our hands. You know, it is what it is. Don't question it. Yeah, let's pop it down here by the crops. That'll do, I think. We'll probably do some kind of lamp up here as well, can't we? All in good time. All in good time. 
All right, it's half past six. We are going to get a bed. And then tomorrow, I think, you know, we might do a little bit of fishing. Why the hell not, you know? But we'll uh, see you then. All right, it's 20 to six, day 26. Let's have a smoke and uh, make, a, make a spear and go fishing. Let's do it. All right, we're giving up fishing. It's 20 to 12. All we caught was a big trout and a couple of shoes, uh, a couple of pairs of shoes. And then I realized we don't actually have anywhere to cut, uh, to cut it. But I remember this fireplace, this campfire here. So we're going to get that and put that on our roof. I think that'd be quite nice, actually, you know. All right, let's build the fire here in front of our chair. That'll be very nice. There we go. Look at that. Now, yeah, I have got a meat cleaver, so let's slice this fillet. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Let's leave the cleaver on the fridge. Oh, look at that. That is glorious. Right, let's get our fish on there. Let's do it. Let's cook it up. Let's get them bad boys out. Let's eat them. We've got to remember to turn the old fire off. And also, if we get cold up here, well, we got a fire. Oh, that's it. Get our fish in ya. Get it in ya. Get it in ya, Harold. Do wish um, we had the fishing book, so maybe that is a mission that we need to go on at some point but we'll finish reading carpentry the rest of the day all right seven in the morning we're gonna have a smoke get that in you get it in you old boy and now we're gonna go to bed so we'll uh see you see you tomorrow all right day 27 we uh haven't really got a lot to do we're gonna go and have a look and get prepared for uh for horde night i think i think we're gonna have to have our trusty old shotgun with us aren't we what i'm probably gonna do for this horde night we're gonna test out the base defenses on the roof i think okay so let's take stock of what we got we got the machete we got the crash axe i think we may need more we've got the shotgun up here which we will probably use we've got 36 shells uh six boxes of shells there and then three boxes there for the m14 we have 10 10 boxes i think we're going to be okay you know let's take a machete up with us just in case uh, what we could do is we have a radio, so let's go to the police station and see if we can find one there. What? No radio in the bloody... Whoa, 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 easy there, fella. Jesus. Yeah, so no radio in the police station. Let's go to them police cars and see if they have one. No, they do not. Okay, well, mm, let's, uh, I don't know, actually. Let's have a look in easy pickings. Maybe there's one in there. No, but we can take these lights. Let's take these. All right, shall we have them f facing the base or shall we have them? Let's have them facing the base. I don't think they're really going to work uh, over the edge there. But we'll try one on the base and one looking out into uh, into the uh, the abyss. All right, we'll finish the day by reading Mechanics 1. It's got to be done sooner or later, so let's just do it. All right, it's 7 a.m. Horde night is later tonight, so tomorrow for us, being as we're going to go to bed. But uh, yeah, we'll see you then for ooh, 300 of the bastards. Let's go, let's go. All right, day 28, horde night, baby. As I was saying, we are going to attempt it up on the roof. Just to see how it is, we may even stand here. I want to see as well how um, the advanced trajectory mod works. Ooh, being high up, I guess it would still work the same. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. We're going to take the battle rifle for a spin, I think. No, we've got 165 bullets. That's not going to be enough, but we will also try... we got more here, anyway. We are also going to try the shotgun as well up here. Anything we need, um, hmm, we could probably do with filling up a water, couldn't we? Yeah, let's do that quick. Okay, we got water. I feel they're just going to absolutely trash. Let's take these uh, propane tanks inside while we're here. They're going to trash our base downstairs, but we don't care. We got upstairs now. Okay, let's have a quick little smoke and then let's uh, let's get on with it. They are coming. I can feel it. Right, let's go and see where they actually come from shall we oh i see one down there can we hit him from here no it's very satisfying this mod oh they're trying to get in over there i like having this 360 view It's quite difficult to actually aim with this at long range because it just the screen goes. Now normally with PZ aiming you can just kind of oh we're shooting something down there. Um, normally with just PZ aiming you can just kind of just look in the direction and whatever's uh whatever it's locked onto is shooting. So oh they are in the building while we've been reloading. We wasn't able to hold them off. Oh look this. They're stuck on the car. They don't want to go around it. 
You bloody idiot. We're going to have to get rid of this Barry, you know. Oh, and aiming up. Yes, please. I feel like uh, the guy in the gun store in uh, Dawn of the Dead, Andy, I think he's called. He's just on his roof. This is... Definitely try this out. This is so much fun. Oh, I hear him going to town downstairs. Oh, there's loads of them over there. The car trick is working. All right, how are we looking over this side? Pretty clear, to be honest. Oh, God, there's loads of them coming. Okay, so what we're going to do now is actually go down the escape route with the shotgun. Because I think... We've killed a hell of a lot of them. We started this with, we'd killed 827. So we've killed 200. So there's 100 more kicking around somewhere. Um, mm, that's a little bit worrying, actually. But let's give it a go. So we've got the shotgun. We've got 254 rounds. Um, so that should be fine. Let's have a little smoke before we venture down there. Could be risky. Oh, they're below. I can, I can hear them. I can hear him. That's not good. Let's give it a shout over here. Let's try and draw him over. No, no, there's um, they're down there. I, I can't go down there. About if I shoot my gun down there. Okay, I think I got him. Let's try it. Okay, it's just that one. That's fine. Whew, we're gonna have to do something about that. Make it a little bit more secure. Okay, so it looks fairly clear. Now, what I'm worried about is that there's gonna be like a hundred of them just hanging around in buildings somewhere. Did see some guys with some M16s and stuff, so I do want to grab them. Oh, and we do also have a ghillie suit down here as well. Let's take it and have a look at it. It's in brilliant condition as well. Might not wear it, but we'll take it because it's cool. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at him in here. Let's get the shotty for these bastards. Come on, you bastards. Oh, there is a load of them in there. Oh, welding mask. Who would have thought we'd have got it from a bloody zombie? Yes, please. They're all in our bloody base. Get out, you bastards. Okay, looks like most of them are cleared out. Oh, no. <laughs> An easy. Get out of my base, you bastards. Uh, herbalist, yeah, we'll take. Get out, you bastard. Okay, I think we was pretty, uh, pretty successful on that one. Not so much the base uh, in one piece, but it's, uh, it's a price I'm willing to pay. I do like the look of these giddy suits, though. We'll see. All right, let's dump the old shotty off. We're not going to need that now, I don't think. Very, very handy, but... We're not going to have all that many shells. We've got a couple of M16s as well. Let's leave them up here for now. Let's actually leave all of our, uh, our, our swag up here for now. But it's half past eight. We need to go to bed. So we'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, day 29. We got 100... Sorry, 1,120 kills. Yep, that was about 300 because there was 827 before. So it's good to know the mod is working correctly. Let's just read this quick. Okay. Then we'll put it by the fire. Now, what we're going to do for the rest of the last couple of days, now that we have a welding mask, I can actually increase our uh, metal working skill, which is good. So let's go down to the laundromat and uh, and do that. Oh, we've got a radio there. Brilliant. Okay. Good job I didn't dismantle that. Yeah, this mod uh, is a hell of a lot of fun, especially in my setup. It is really, really fun. Definitely check it out. Definitely. Oh, look at that. All we did was dismantle these two... Uh, these two bloody uh, vending machines and we've gained half a level okay this is good this is good scrap warrior is going to come in handy we can build some armor yes but we're actually gonna have to go and read the other book pretty sure i picked up metalworking two and three but no i didn't have three and we'll get four while we're here happy days let's get back to base all right we've read metalworking two that is good let's drop that off let's very quickly while we are here, let's get one of these trashy old hand axes and get some wood. 
coal, so then we can potentially build some doors before we get to bed. We are tired, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, let's put our radio. Let's put our bloody radio on, actually. All right, has this got the emergency broadcast? Uh, yes, it does. Okay, fair enough. Okay, one door done. Two door done. Three door done. Four door done. God damn it, we need more hinges. God. Okay, well that is a job for tomorrow, I think. Let's let's drop all, drop all this down here. Wait, do I have... Oh, I have a gas mask and the welding mask on. Oh, amazing. We may have to keep this uh, keep this get up. All right, but it's seven o'clock. Let's get to bed tomorrow. We will search the corpses. I didn't realize we don't actually have that many cigarettes. We'll search the corpses for cigarettes and probably go and dismantle again. But uh, we'll see them in the morning. All right, day 30, 10 past seven. Cool, it's a late one. It's a late one. We need hinges. We need to barricade our doors up. Oof, maybe, maybe we do that. Maybe... Yeah, maybe we go and get some hinges and sort our base out, I think, actually. All right, the doors are done. Let's get some barricades up, at least one on each window. We're also going to build another rain collector because we are quite low on water. I believe it's two across. There we go. Let's see if we can go plumb it in. Yes, we can. Happy days. There we go. Oh, we got another level. Nice. Yes, there we go. Look at that. Nice, nice. Level 4 metalworking. Get in. Okay, we are back home. I've brought a load of metalworking stuff up here. We're just going to keep it over here for now. We will find a place for it. All this kind of stuff, I believe we will be using. I will put the scrap electronics there as well. Why the hell not? Now, can we build the workshop, I believe it's called, which allows us to do a lot more? Yes, we can. Okay, uh, we're going to build one. Why the hell not? Uh, well, I don't know if we actually want it there, but okay. Well, we can't pick it up just yet, so um, that's where it's going. Can we make any any armor? Hmm. We need leather. That's fine. We got leather. What are we lacking protection-wise? Um, legs. Okay, so we're going to need some greaves. That's fine. That is fine. All we need is leather, which I believe we have. But that is a task for the next 10 days, I think. Metal working. So we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day, to be honest with you. All right, guys. Day 31. We are back with Harold Buck. We've got some nice, nice new pants. And we've gone for the ghillie trousers. Only because uh, they're the same protection as the Urban. And I think they look cool. Actually, what do they weigh, thinking about it? 0.5. They actually weigh less, so that's good. Now, put all, all of our junk away. Um, now, to this, the next 10 days, I'm just looking at the map. We need to assess our ammo. We may not leave the town for the next horde night. I don't know. I do want to get into Rosewood at some point, and also Muldra. But I think we're going to just hang around maybe this town these 10 days. Let me, I'll assess what ammo we've got for the next horde, I think. So we've got 224 shotty shells there. We've also got a couple of M16s, but we don't have any 5.56. We got, oh, we've used quite a lot of rifle rounds, <laughs> of course. We don't actually have that much, to be honest. I think we could probably, ah, we could probably get away with one more horde night. We've got a lot of 7.62 uh, boxes, but we don't have a gun to use them with. I think we will probably be all right for, yeah, we'll probably be all right. But then after that, we're gonna we're gonna have to venture out, and it could be could be Muldra. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. But we got a lot of work to do around base. To be fair, I do want to get us some metal armor going as well. Well, we're gonna need leather, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go around all these dead zombies and see if we can find some leather. I know we got some downstairs, but I feel we're gonna need. Uh, I think we're gonna need more. Um. So I've managed to get a little bit of uh leather not a lot to be honest with you and i'm actually going to see if we can get a bed as well while we're out because that tent is a uh, well it's given us pain so if we can get a bed that'll be happy days all right so we found a bed let's see if we can actually get this back home in one piece yes we can will it go in our bag no okay well we'll take it in our bag and on our body and let's get home all right we have a bed which uh is nice a very nice actually we may um we may get a little bit cold because it's just outside we are going to build a roof and everything like that though we're just going to get around to it we're going to build a little balcony we got a hell of a lot to do 
I just hope we do have enough ammo for the next Horde night. But while I'm here, we do have the stuff to make. Uh, why can't I make hand plates? Oh, I'm out of work in five. Okay, well, let's make a scrap vest. Okay, we do have a scrap vest, and it's going to give us more protection than our bulletproof vest. So that's good. And it looks pretty cool as well, to be fair. Let's put the anti... Oh, it's not a bulletproof vest. It's an anti-stab vest. Let's pop that down there. Uh, and I think for the rest of the day, just need to get our metal working skill up. We are just going to read the metal working. All right, we just finished metal working free. Let's pop that down by the fire there. We do need to build some doors and everything like that. We are hungry. Let's get some food in us. Let's actually sleep in our bed tonight, and then tomorrow we'll finish off. Uh, we'll finish off what we got to do. Let's eat some. Ah, uh, let's eat some pineapple. Why the hell not, Harold? You bloody deserve it, old boy. What I do want to make as well, actually, is a tin can club, as I do love this weapon when it comes to the scrap mod. Uh, we need nails. Do we not have nails? Oh, God. Okay, well, let's go get some nails. Actually, we'll do that tomorrow. Let's uh, let's go to bed now. So, uh, yeah, 6 in the morning. We'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 32. We did sleep in our bed outside. It was a little bit chilly for us, but uh, we're fine. We are fine. Let's get this wooden plank. We need some nails to make a tin can club. And also, I think we need a door hinge as well. Get ourselves some nails. Actually, we could start moving all of this stuff upstairs, couldn't we? And there we go. Tin can club. These are bloody good for the, with this mod. I always use them with the scrap mod. I know if you've uh, seen my earlier series, the um, the one with the random zombies, kind of the Last of Us inspired one, the tin can club was was an absolute winner. Can we make a uh, can we make a bloody sword or anything? Scrap metal sword. Yes, we can. Oh, we need a file. I think we'll actually go over to these houses over here. Oh, we got some leather. Oh, we got our first candidate with a tin can club. And there we go. We got ourselves the door. Nice, nice. We're uh, we're going up in the world. We're getting there. We're getting there. So I'm just looking at the map now. I know there are some little army barracks here, but I don't think there will be a lot in there because the root uh, the loot is extremely rare. So I don't think. We'll be messing around going in there because I don't think we'll find anything. We have got West Point Gun Store here. Uh, here, sorry. Um, we've also got, obviously, what's over here? Don't think there's, no, 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 no. We've got Muldra. We've got the police station. But that's about it. And also the VHS tape. So, ooh, maybe do we do Muldra? Try and get into the VHS store. Could be done. Muldra is always busy. Ekron, there ain't nothing down there. We got the prison. I don't know if I want to go into the prison. Maybe, maybe Rosewood is a two day, a two day job, or maybe even a few days. We get in the prison, but then also the police station as well. Hmm. Maybe we try Muldra. It's only down there. It's just a slingshot around, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. Okay. And we could get hopefully mechanics VHS then possibly. We'll see. We'll see. Let's pop the radio on and see if we've got any rain coming at all. Okay, so we've got the automated broadcast, the emergency broadcast. Let's have a look. Okay, tomorrow average temperature is 16, um, 10, humidity, mild wind maximum, ah, clear skies. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. We want rain. We want rain. We want rain for crops. We also want rain for our rain collector. I don't know whether to go to Muldra tomorrow. It's not going to take long, so we could. We could go and scope out Muldra, couldn't we? There's no harm in scoping it out over there. Oh, I have found another water dispenser. We will have that. Thank you. Let's actually get that and take that back. There we go, next to the fridge. Happy days, happy days. All right, so I've added a denim to our jacket and to our gloves. That'll do us for the time being, I think. Just a little bit of extra protection on them areas. All right, we've got a load of ripped sheets. That's good, because what I want to do is make some sheet ropes as backups upstairs. All right, we've got seven sheet ropes. That'll do us in a pinch, I think. That's fine. We've also got um, some dirty rags as well, so that is fine. All good, all good. Yes, the house is a little bit of a mess. Well, the roof is a little bit of a mess but we will sort it we will sort. i need to also get rid of this as well unfortunately or maybe we keep the sign we'll just get rid of that let's do that now all right that's one side done don't look too bad i want to keep the farmer and rural supply sign now i do like that sign but the rest of it they can go <laughs> There we go. We can actually see what's going on down there now as well. Happy days. All right, but it's 7 o'clock. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. I think we go try. We have a look at Mordor. Not saying we're going to get in there, but we'll go have a look. We'll see you then. All right, day 33. Let's, 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 let's top up on water. Let's get over there straight away. It's 4 p.m. 
Still fairly early. Do we need food? Do we have food? Uh, we don't really want to take cannabis. We'll take a couple of sardines with us and some cereals. That, that should do us. Let's get some sardines down as now. And let's go scope out the old Muldra. Could be a bad idea. Like I say, we're only going to have a look. We may not get in there. We will see. All right, we'll just get into Muldra. It looks okay, you know, to be honest. I mean, I'd say the zombie population is set to low. But Muldra... Oh, God, no. There they are. There they are, you bastards. Uh, there's not too many. All right, I've made it to the police station. It looks okay. There's a couple in there. Okay, we are in. It looks fairly clear. I believe the guns are in here. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my God, we got an MP5. And a Glock. Yes, please. Not a suppressed one, though. Oh, my God, we got a car 15. We will take that. Maybe a suppressed one. Oh, and a leg pouch. Let's uh, let's pop that on. I don't know what we can put in there, but we'll have it. Oh, yes, I'm out of work. And I thought, being as rear, we may as well just bloody take this apart. And it got us that level that we needed. Happy days. I think we'll also take this uh, water dispenser as well. Oh, too heavy. All right, let's dump some of this stuff in the car. Right, and I believe the VHS store is just here. So we can get an, uh, at least a mechanics VHS. I'll be happy. I mean, it's been a bloody successful run anyway, I would say. Oh, yes, we got a car zone. We got a car zone. That is what we wanted. Anything else in here? Oh, oh, two car zone. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. So we got a fair few books. We got some carpentry ones, exposed survival. So we got trapping. So, you know, beans we are out in the sticks. Maybe instead of fishing, I do look at doing a bit of trapping. Uh, we got a carpentry, which should get us to another level. Um, let me just have a look here. What are we on? What are we on? Six. Yes. Yeah, so that should get us to level seven. So we should be able to build big rain collectors now as well. We're looking good. And we got a big old haul of guns. Let's. Let's get back to uh, to base. I was just checking our flashlight was off. Let's get back to base and prepare for the horde. All right, we've made it home all in one piece for once. Jeez. All right, let's get all this stuff out. Um, let's put it all upstairs, I think. We're going to have to start doing the big move upstairs. We're also going to need a TV, but... That is uh, something that we're going to have to look into. Yeah, we need some bloody order up here, don't we? It's absolute carnage. Jeez. What we can also do as well is put some bars on our car. That's uh, now that we've got good metal working. I don't think we need mechanics. Uh, we might do to put sheets on, but, you know, we'll be fine. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll watch... Tomorrow, we're going to be watching VHSs. We're going to watch carpentry, and then we can build better crates. And we're going to, I believe, anyway. Uh, and then we're going to sort it all out properly up there. So, yeah, we're going to go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 34. We got a, uh, we got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. We're going to, we need to get another rain collector. We need, ah, no, a TV. That is the first order of business. All right, so I found a TV in the first house we've got to, which is bloody amazing. Let's get that bad boy. All right, let's just pop that there for now. I have picked up some logs as well for some crates, but first. We want to watch the... We actually want to watch the carpentry so we can build a better... Ah, is one... Is the one VHS going to do us? I think camping might be carpentry as well. I'm not too sure. But let's try it. Um, let's just make sure we've read the old book. Yeah, yes, we have. Hopefully, it'll get us a level. I'm not quite sure, though, to be honest. No, it did not. <laughs> Nowhere near. Okay, well, there we go, then. Let's see if we can uh, put this, see what this one is. If this Is this carpentry? I can't actually remember. Uh, it was a little bit of carpentry. Okay, well, there we go. We got half a level, but it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. Let's pop that there. Let's get some crates going. Where do we want our armory to be? We're only going to build a, maybe a small house here, possibly. We do want to be able to get out and look around and, and shoot. They look hideous, and we can't see our TV either. Um, okay. Uh, let's put the TV near Dave there. Keep, uh, you know, something for Dave to do when we're out of base. I forgot about Dave, actually. Okay, all the ammo is moved. Oh, there's some little bits kicking around. We'll pick them up. Now, let's see if we can actually pick our crates up from downstairs. Uh, we managed to get what, uh, two. One of them broke, but... Okay, we got the two crates there. This is our armory. It's not, um, you know, it's not the nicest thing to look at, but it's going to do the job, and that's all that matters right now. Yeah, damn, we're going to need another crate. Um, okay, let's uh, let's put it behind to hell with it. All right, there we go. We have got a hell of a lot of guns. Jeez. And what we'll do is we'll put a uh, another crate here for uh, attachments and magazines and things like that. We're getting there. We're getting there. Jeez. All right, we have moved all of that up. Now we need somewhere for our melee weapons. Maybe along this along this wall here, possibly. I think. Oh, I don't know if I like that, but it'll be fine. Let's. Uh, we're going to need some food. Let's 
open this box of MREs. So our calories are on 79, so that's fine. We can have, we can just eat some MREs for the time being because they are getting good for the old calories. Oh, okay. We are getting there. We are getting there. It's been a, it's been a busy one. It's been a busy one. Just base stuff, but you know, it's stuff that needs to be done. We've got to move this workbench at some point as well because it's really annoying me being. Actually, let's do it now. All right, there it is. We had to take all our clothes off to move it. We're very, very dirty, but old Harold, you know, you, you, oh, we still got our bandages on as well. Um, yeah, we had to take all of our bloody clothes off. So we got to put all of it back on. Oh Jesus, but it's, uh, it's 8 a.m. We need to get to bed. All right, day 35. We are just cracking right back on. We got to mess around with all this jazz. Um, let's sort it all out. Where the hell's our satchel? All right, we are back together. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, let's put this mini 14 away. Then, oh, well, actually, let's move all of this stuff over as well. All right, we are bloody getting there. We are getting there. Very, very busy few days. Just sorting stuff, but it's stuff, as I said, you know, it's stuff that's got to be done. All right, let's uh, let's watch a car zone. Let's get us that level in mechanics, I think. And then we'll probably put some bars on the car, you know. There we go. We got level two in mechanics. We'll turn the TV off because there is still a little bit on the VHS, I think. We'll... Uh, we're actually going to read Mechanics 2 and let's just get it done, you know. All right, we've finished Mechanics 2. Let's pop this here down by the fire. Let's finish this VHS. We may as well watch the other one while we're here. We're not going to go to bed just yet. All right, so it's actually got us to three and a quarter, which uh, I will take. Let's take this VHS out. Let's turn this bad boy off to save on the uh, electric. And we'll just throw our uh, old tapes over here. Oh, and also we got rain. I didn't realise. Bloody hell. That's what we need. The lovely, lovely rain. Because we are thirsty and we are hungry. But we're going to have an MRE. Get them calories going. We may even have two MREs. I know we can't because we're too full. But we will go and get some lovely water. Right, let's just go and have a little look at the van. See if we can put sheets on it or if it's got to be metal bars. I don't think our... Let's have a quick look. Ah, uh, we need another level in metalworking to get the sheets. But you know what? I think bars are fine, you know. Ah, uh, screws could be a problem though. Yeah. They could be. Don't know if we've got any screws. Um, I don't think we have. Um, I don't know if we can make screws, actually. Possibly. Let's have a look. We got anything in here? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, yes. Box of screws. Yes. That's all. Was that two? Oh, no. Just one. That's fine. Don't think we have enough metal pipes, though. That is annoying. We may have to go and dismantle some bathtubs. They are pretty good for the pipes. All right, well, let's pop the screws down here and the metal pipes. I didn't realize, but it's actually 10 past seven. So we probably need to go to bed. Probably sleep in the tent tonight just because of the weather. Um, yeah, so we'll go to bed and tomorrow we'll go pipe hunting. So we'll see you then. All right, day 36. We've still got rain. We're looking good. We are. We are. We've got, still got a lot to do. We need pipes. So that's the... Uh, Main order of uh, business today. Let's take our other propane torch with us, I think. All right, so we've also picked up a lamp from in there as well. So we can have a little bit more light upstairs, which is nice. We're getting there. We're building. We're building. But I've also realized we wanted to plant crops, which we haven't done while it's raining. So hopefully we can get back in time to uh, catch the rain. All right, so we've got 11 pipes. I think that should do is Let's get back and see. If, let's check this cupboard here first. Oh, I should have been a bit more careful. Oh, and good job we did. Look at this. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> right, let's get back and hopefully get some crops planted while the weather is still awful. All right, so we managed to get some crops planted, which is very good. So we've got some food there. How is our generator looking? Um, What we got here? Nine days. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Got a propane torch. Let's fill them both up. Oh, we'll put our lamp down as well, actually. Let's put it there. Lovely. Okay. All right, let's go put some uh, protection and some armor on our car. Oh, we need metal bars as well i don't think we have any metal bars okay okay um metal bars metal bars clothes rails maybe let's go up to the shop up here and see if we can get some mm, we got four maybe that's enough i don't know we'll go see okay so we can put hood protection on that's the main thing i want to be honest all right we got hood protection what about can we get a window protection uh what are we front left aren't we let's pop that on all right, we got that on. So we are safe. I wouldn't mind some trunk protection, but um, where is, where, where do, can we even get trunk protection? Rear door protection, but we need more metal bars. So that is, where can we get metal? Oh, we can get some from here actually, can't we? Look at this, perfect. And I believe we got two, which is all we need. If we can get that on there, that is perfect. Okay, rear door, pop that bad boy on. Mm, well, it's not actually showing up, but we do have it. Now, the reason I want that is because 
that should protect us if we reverse any into anything because as you know reversing into stuff and damaging the trunk uh reduces the carry weight of the vehicles hopefully i believe that will protect that the metal working is actually nearly at the next level. All right, we're probably done with the propane torch for now. That can go away. The screws can go away. All of this jazz can go away. All right, so let's have a bring the map up quick. We've conquered. We have conquered the police station there. Is there a symbol for VHS as prob? Oh, okay, okay. We got some in there. VHS, yeah. I'm kind of marking off what we have done. So that's that. What's here? Are there warehouses? I don't really need to go there. We've got Rosewood to do. Military barracks, maybe. I mean, there's nothing really at Riverside. You've got the police station, but it's so small. There is obviously the factory and the warehouse, which may give us some supplies if we need them. We've also got West Point gun store. Not too worried about the police station, which I believe is there. you got the gun store because we can kind of loop around and go that way. So we don't have to go through West Point. And then also we have, oh, we got some stuff. I'm not going to the mall. Um, you got the shooting range here. you got the hunting lodge there, but also you've got the military checkpoint here sorry uh wait a minute no yeah here which should have some guns so we got options i mean we got a hell of a lot of guns it's mainly just the ammo but i feel we've got enough ammo but a lot of it is i mean we don't have a 762 gun anyway nine mil is going to be handy shotgun shells seem to be the uh, the ticket as well but we we got options we got options uh we do need to increase our electrical skill as well don't we we are tired so probably not going anywhere to the gas can because then once we can hotwire we might move these trucks in front of our windows here no, i'm just looking what weapons we can do when can we do when can we craft guns oh metal working eight gatling gun metal working nine geez scrap pistol we can make what about scrap bullets though that's what i want to know salvage bullets okay so we do have enough but we need gunpowder which we need to take other bullets apart so i'm not sure how um yeah i'm not sure how viable that's going to be but we do have the options there. But it's seven o'clock. It's stopped raining. So I think we'll sleep in the bed tonight. Yeah, we'll, we'll treat him. Treat old Harold. Why the, hell, why the hell not? All right, day 37. We are just kind of waiting for board night. We will go and do a bit of a dismantling of some electrical stuff to get that next level. So then we can at least hot white cars. Actually, let's go and have a look at down at these houses down here and see this propane truck. So we can get this propane truck up here. That is going to be really nice. And we haven't been down this way yet, but I do see some. Is that hinges? Yes, hinges are in short supply. So we'll take them. We'll also dismantle this TV. Okay, no key. That's fine. No gas. So we will put a little bit in there just to get us home if we need to. There we go. We're looking good for gas anyway we got loads of it oh yes yeah, a church isn't it nothing really i want to go in the church for mm, nothing really in this building we do have now four garbage bags so we can build another rain collector when we get to level seven which is good let's go and look at making some more armor we want armor for our arms and our hands don't we actually we do need that level of electrical skill though don't we that is the priority actually oh long blunt up yes please oh this guy's got spear in him hey buddy Oh, and there we go. We got it. We got it. We got it, baby. Nice. Let's go look at that truck then. Actually, let's bring the propane truck up. All right, we are off. Sweet lady propane. Whoops. Oh, we lost a tire, I think. Oh, well. Good job we don't need it. There we go. That'll do. Not looking too good with that there, but you know what? I don't care. Oh, God, no. That does look awful. Let's see if we can move that. There we go. That's a little bit better. We can live with that. We may as well pop some fertilizer in on uh, on the old cabbage as well, don't we? Being as we got it down here. All right, we fertilized. We fertilized, baby. Ah, I mean, we got what, a little bit left. We may as well use it. Okay, we are we're good. We are good. We could probably do with Taylor in. I want to you know add some patches and stuff to our clothing. Let's have a look what guns we're going to use. We're going to use the M14 as that did uh, serve us quite well. I believe it takes three. Well, we need M14 magazines. Yes, and three O eight got five boxes so we are we're just going to see how the ammo goes so that's only 307 bullets we're just going to hang around a bit i think and wait for the horde the horde night a little bit later on well it'll be tomorrow for us but it's later on today on this actual day what the 15th of the 8th all right it's 10 to 8 i've kept this up a little bit later than uh, normal because i want to be fresh for the horde so we're going to go to bed tomorrow well it's all going to kick off all right day 38 
Well, the Horde night is tonight. There should be, I believe, 400 coming. We've woken up ah, a little bit early, to be honest. How are our calories? 80 in level. Let's just eat. Let's eat three cans of peas because, you know, Harold, he likes peas. What can you say? All right, so I suppose we're just going to have to wait around for the Horde. It is what it is. Okay, it's 10 to 10. They should be coming in any minute now. Hopefully from down this way again. We'll pick them off with a rifle. Don't know how this one's going to go. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I feel our base downstairs is going to get absolutely swarmed. But we'll just have to see how we get on. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, I see the first candidate. Come on, Ed. Can we get them from here? Oh, no, we missed. We missed. We got them. Oh, okay, so we're getting through them. How are we looking for kills? We was on 1,140 cents, so we killed 100. Only 100, jeez, okay. This weather is not helping. Look at them, the bastards. Get out of it, jeez. Oh god, there's a hell of a lot of them over here. The defences are working now. Oh no, they can get through. They're breached the defences, no! Oh, we got a level of aiming, nice. Ah, oh, and we are out. We are out, I believe. Yeah, we are out. Ah, okay. Drop that bad boy. Drop the mags. It's no use to us anymore. Well, we've run out of 308, which is what we have the very most of. That's not good. Um, hmm. Okay. 22. We got 10 boxes. Do we have a 22 gun? What the hell even takes 22? Uh, Mini 14 takes 223, which we have 10 boxes of. So let's get that. Okay, let's give it a go. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Faster projectile, I think. Okay, let's have a look at the front here. There's going to be, I don't know, maybe a couple of hundred in our base. Jeez. Oh, okay. How many we killed? How many we killed? So we started on... We killed about 300. There's probably 100 in the base and probably 100 that's still going to spawn. Yeah, we are getting a little bit of lag, so I dread to think how many are in there. Mm, I'm thinking maybe we should have saved some of our ammo. I don't know if we're going to have enough, but for the whole 100 days, I don't know. Still a little bit wary. We are getting tired as well. Are we going to be able to sleep? No, we're not. Of course we're not. It's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. It's bloody 10 to 9. Do we just not sleep at all today? Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I think we I think we actually do take the shotty down there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, uh, yeah, let's have a little bit of coffee. Oh, we're nearly out anyway. Brilliant. Okay, let's see if we can get down. Let's go and investigate. We're tired. We're stressed. Let's do it. Okay, it's safe. It's safe. Thank God. Let's get the shotgun on. There's going to be hundreds of them in there. Oh, and they're still coming as well. All right, let's try and have a little peek in there. Um, oh, oh, I didn't see. I didn't see. Oh, my God. There's loads in there. Come on, you bastards! Alright, how does it actually look in there? I can't see. Uh, oh, fairly clear. Now, I did see over here, I saw a little old Jason. I can't, as usual, I can't remember exactly. Was he over here? Um, oh, he's got a Santa. There we go. Let's have that machete. You absolute legend, Jason. All right, let's get out of here and see if we can actually sleep now. Because we are very tired and it's, it's barely half past 11 in the morning. Jeez. 
Okay, it looks like we can see. So we're gonna go to bed and we'll see you, uh, see you in the morning. Well, see you tomorrow. All right, day 39. Yep, we've woken up. That's absolutely fine. Let's drop the shotgun and let's move to the pistol, I think. Let's go down and mop up the stragglers. Not gonna go down. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, that could have been very bad. Okay, it looks fairly clear in here. Anything worth taking on these? Salvage climbing axe will have. Didn't see any zombos with M16s or anything on this time, which is a bit of a shame, so we could do with more 556. So we got a lot of them, to be honest. Yeah, we're going to have to do uh, move this, because I think they can get... Yeah, they can get through there now. Which the defences have broken. Uh, but we can easily rectify that. Uh, they still didn't get through that door. I don't think they're really going for that door, which is good. Got to be some ammo on these zombies. No, doesn't look like there is much loot at all this time. Which is a bit of a shame, but... You know, there's nothing, nothing we can really do about it. I do feel we're going to have to put spears in there, you know? Because I think our ammo is just going to run out. All right, how many kills are we actually... Oh, God, look at this. That's from where I fell off the bloody roof. Jesus Christ. Um, 1,500. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, it's a shame we ran out of 308. I do like the M14, but I do like the Mini-14 uh, quite a bit better, actually, to be honest with you. All right, but it's 7 in the morning. We haven't done a lot. We've kind of just been going around, milling around, checking zombies still. Nothing really of any great, uh, great use or anything. But, yeah, going to go to bed tomorrow. Day 40. Jeez. All right, day 40. We have survived another horde. 400 of the bastards. We've done them. All right, let's have another look at the old mappage. You know what? I didn't want to go to Ro uh, sorry, to West Point and all that, but I think we're going to have to. We just ain't going to have enough ammo. I don't know. Let me look. Let me look. Am I just over? Am I just panicking here? I mean, 44 Magnum. What use today? 45? Yeah. 556, 762. We don't have a gun. 9 mil are going to be handy. But, you know, they're just, they're just one horde and they're only going to get more. Um, 22s, yeah, possibly, and none in there. So we are actually quite low. Might have to be a trip to Rosewood over the next 10 days, possibly. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll have to have a think. I'll have to have a think. But we're probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day today, as usual, on a... On a 10th day. Alright guys, day 41. We are looking bloody good. So there's the next 10 days. We're probably going to stay around base. I want to do some improvements. I want to build some defences. We're not going to... Uh, Mm, we may get a West Point, I don't know, or Rosewood. I don't know, probably not. I feel that we have enough uh, ammo for the next horde. Um, let's have a quick look. We definitely got enough guns. It's just ammo that's going to be the issue. I mean, we got 22. Surely we got a gun that fires 22. We've also got 9 mil, 556, 45. We got 38 special. We got enough ammo. Actually, does the Winchester take 38 special? Let's have a look. Um, do I even have a Winchester? Sure, I did. Yeah, a 38 special. Okay, yeah, so we got we got enough to last us another horde. So that's fine. That's what we're going to do. Let's have a little uh, little MRE. We got 30 of them, so food's good. We got rain, so it's filling the rain coats. And I also want to build a little um, a little house on here. Not going to do all of it because we need to be able to see the edges. But I do want to build a little house that we can put a sink in, get some more rain collectors going. So we got a, we got a busy 10 days. Also scrap armor. So that's what we're going to do preparing for the next horde we've also got to replace all of these bloody doors that they've managed to smash through as well <laughs> we're gonna need more wood as well let's grab an axe all right so we've got a load of logs in here let's try and take some well we've got some on us let's take some upstairs and i think before let's build ourselves a little shack shall we <laughs> all right so we've got the outline we're gonna have a door each side uh it's not gonna be uh symmetrical but you know what it'll be fine it will be fine <laughs> all right so we've got our uh our outline maybe i should put a window in maybe i don't know yeah let's put a window in why the hell not i actually put a window in each side i think it's not going to keep us warm but oh we're out of planks okay fair enough but we are pretty uh pretty exhausted pretty tired and we can't really move a lot so <gasps> oh cabbage is coming on cabbage is coming on let's have a oh we've got a plank here maybe this will uh be enough to make us to let us do a window oh yeah well look at that okay we'll pop another one there there we go we got the uh we got the outline for it we can actually uh might be able to sleep in a dry place other than the tent going forward but we'll get a little bit of food in us and that's probably going to be it for today but yeah seven o'clock ten to seven we'll go to bed another day down another day close to the horde we've we've made progress we've made progress it ain't much um but it's home but we'll see you in the morning all right day 42 day 42 we're just gonna keep on uh keep on trucking with the uh, repairs actually maybe today let's go out and try and find some more hinges shall we let's see if we got a can we build a door here uh what do we need 
Uh, we need more planks. Okay, well, we can we can make a door. That's fine. Let's do it. Actually, you know what? I think it's probably better to just work on the base with these logs we have. Because downstairs, yes, if they break through the doors, it's not ideal. But we've been fine. It's not really going to hurt us having no doors. It's only when we come down, we might... A sneaky one might have wandered in there and have us. But I think I think we'll be okay. Let's move this book so I don't lose it. All right. We'll also take uh, take this. Um, oh, can we take campfire material? I think we're going to lose the fuel in there. But we want this outside. And we're going to need a lot more wood. So, yeah, let's get the axe. Start chopping. So I want to get up here. I want to get a rain collector on the roof. Look at the mess out here. It is absolute carnage <laughs> um well we got 500 coming this uh this time so i think we'll just have enough ammo but you know it could be a little bit touch and go but it's a risk i'm willing to take we've also always got the melee weapons oh we got a leveling carp nice we will take that i've just been dismantling these doors we can actually build better walls now <laughs> so um yeah we probably should have grinded that before because yeah <laughs> and better crates we can do as well so it's all good it's all good all right we've got all the logs let's get back to base and uh, carry on uh, improving the one good thing is we can build a big rain collector now which is really good because we can put that in our house and then we got the backup downstairs if we need it all right we will dismantle these so they can just go uh there for now go now we should be able to get get out of it we should be able to get at the top here and yeah build us a roof or well it's going to be floor but it'll work as a roof and there we go the house is uh is complete now we need to leave four planks up here for a rain collector but the rest we can take well we can act, maybe we make spikes uh spears with them that might be a better idea actually can we do we need oh we need a knife don't we okay let's uh let's actually do that you know Let's do it. All right, so we have nine spears. That's something at least. Let's just pop them down there for the time being. Tomorrow, let's... Um, there's a few things I want to get. I want to get a sink to put in this corner here. Now, we can get rid of these stairs, and that gives us more wood back. But with it being 20 to 8, it's time to get a bed in our nice enclosed uh, house slash bedroom slash... Well, slash... I don't know, really. But uh, I like it. I like it, to be honest. I really do. But we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 43. Bloody hell, we slept in late today. 10 to 8. I think our alarm goes off at 8. And that's just a backup. Right, where was we? We've, uh, yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, yeah, bin bags we need. Bin bags and uh, a sink. So we're going to need a wrench because you need the wrench to take the... Where did I put the wrench? Yeah, you need the wrench to take off the sinks. And I think there's one in the police station I like the look of. So we'll get that one. Let's get our tin can club ready. Now, bin bags, we've kind of been everywhere for bin bags, but I'm sure we'll find some somewhere. Maybe up at the Sp is it Spiffo's or the burger place that we haven't actually been to yet. Let's just go up and have a look, shall we? The corpses are despawning, which is nice. We'll also take any door hinges and everything like that that we find along the way. Oh, look at it from here. It ain't much, but it's home, you know? It's home. We've got to get all our stuff inside. We we're busy. We're busy. Ah, okay, so there's a burger place up here. That's fine. Well, we got three bags already. I got a couple from Easy Picking Tools. Ah, and there we go. The final. Oh, we need that. Oh, we can actually make a file, which we needed for something, if I remember rightly. But that is the result. And now, let's take take this sink shall we um yeah there we go waste i oh know it weighs five so that's not too bad 25 percent chance to break we got it that's fine let's uh let's get home let's do it we got a lot of hinges as well let's actually read this um okay so this is kind of like a kind of like oh no we can destruct oh but we can make a file so let's read that and i'll actually make one of them before i <laughs> before i forget and keep it in the uh in our work bench there Actually, but first, let's put our sink in. Yep, there it goes, right there. Ah, lovely, lovely. Now, let's see if we can actually plumb it in, because it is a bit dodgy sometimes where it has to go. Do we want to get back up here? We get rid of them stairs. I'm thinking we could build a little rope down. We could actually, couldn't we? We could do a little uh, rope bridge, a little rope, um, sheet rope here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. It's all coming together. Let's finish this wall off as well while we're here. And we'll make it a level three wall, because why the hell not? Ah, we needed them, uh we needed them planks for the rain collector. But we can deconstruct um we can deconstruct our stairs now that we can uh, get up there. Disassemble, there we go. Give me all that lovely wood back. Uh five. Not amazing, but it is what it is. There we go. Pop a big old rain collector there. Let's uh let's go down. See if we can plumb it in. We can't actually plumb it in. Why is that? Why is that? Is it because it's not got 
walls around it. Maybe it needs to be encased. Actually, before I forget, let's make this file, shall we? Um, right, where are you? File, that can go in there. Uh, rip sheets can go in there. And the sturdy stickers are getting them all in there. Let's build these walls and see if we can get this um, sink plumbed in. Okay, so we've built the walls around it. Can we plumb it in? No, we can't. Why? Is it because of the windows? Let's get rid of the windows, see if that works. All right, but we're bringing our fridge inside, so that should be nice. There we go. We'll also pop our uh, radio on it there as well. Happy days. We're going to move the bed as well. Oh, we broke the bed. We broke the bed. No. Oh, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. We can get another one. It's fine. It's fine. But it is seven in the morning. We're going to go to bed. Looks like we're staying in the tent tonight. Tomorrow, we are going to get some more planks and to get another bed, it would seem. Um, yeah, it's, it's all go. It's all go. But we'll, uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 44, let's grab some MREs. Let's eat some, do we have any? No, okay, let's eat them, let's go get a bed. Let's go get some planks, let's sort out this bloody rain collector. Bit of a setback, it's taken longer than I would have hoped, but um, it is what it is, you know. Ah, there's a blue bed here though, worst case. Ah, we have it, we have it, yes. Ah, there we go, look, lovely, lovely blue bed. Happy days. Right, let's go get some wood and finish off this uh, bloody building. Hmm, I even tried putting another bit here and it doesn't look like it's, uh... we definitely got the pipe wrench. Um, I just, I don't know really. I do not know. Hmm, don't know. Do not know, but I think we're actually going to put some doors on here. We've got plenty of hinges and doorknobs now, so let's do it. What I want to do as well, I've got a crowbar, is actually take these windows and then we can pop them in the house. Um, uh, what, what window is open? Oh, okay, well, close it. All right, let's pop these windows in so we're nice and, uh, we'll be nice and warm if the weather goes turns on us oh look at that and we've even got a lamp it's on the floor for the time being but we will uh we will change that it's lovely in here look at it wow it is uh it's a nice little pace <laughs> we've come a long way <laughs> uh we could probably take this tent down now couldn't we i reckon and keep it as a little backup um take down tent yeah there you go and the tent can go well it can just go there to be honest there you go happy days happy days all right, it's 10 to 7. We're going to get a bed in our lovely new home. We need to get a little table on the go here and stuff, but that's fine. we got the basics. It'll keep us keep the rain off our heads, won't it? But uh, we'll get a bed and we'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow. All right, day 45. Still no look with this sink. There's got to be an issue somewhere, um, and I don't know what. We're going to have a little play around. Um, I'm gonna. It's going to involve moving this um let's try and move it to the side it may be because we've got a hole in the roof but it should should be fine let's try that now we've moved it a little bit we'll see all right so we've put the roof is now sealed and we come up and down here maybe that's done it we gotta see if the temperature goes up well, the temperature actually went down brilliant ah there we go it was it was the ceiling there whoa now, I thought that would be fine, to be honest with you, but I guess not. And I bet everyone was shouting at the screen at me. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, you bloody idiot. Well, now we've uh, we've figured it. It only took us, what, two days? Um, but there you go. I think because normally, uh, well, actually, I don't ever go outside by the ceiling thinking about it. I stay in the same building, don't I? But, well, at least it's bloody done now, thank you. God. We just need it to rain now. Let's check the weather, shall we? Okay, what we got? Mild winds. I think this is today. What's this saying for tomorrow? Tomorrow, average temperature. Um, doesn't look like rain. Wind. Uh, clear skies. Um, okay. Well, that's not ideal. Fortnite is in a few nights as well. So, like I said, I'm glad we spent this time sorting the base out. We now have a lovely home. Well, a lovely uh, hut, shall we say, to call home. But uh, I like it. I like it. We'll actually get the uh, freezer in here as well now because I believe we are, some of our cabbage is done. There we go. The freezer is in. Let's go look at the old cabbage. Yeah, let's harvest this cabbage. There we go. Lovely stuff. Uh, it gave us 30 seeds and 10 cabbage. Oh, we don't have a bowl. How are our calories? Uh, 80, so that's fine. We'll probably eat an MRE, I think. God, what a few days. Let's fill up from in here. Oh, I love it. I love our home. We could do build a bedside table uh, for the light. And also a table for... Actually, we could put the TV on the freezer, can't we? There we go. Look at that. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. 
Yeah, so we're probably just hanging around now till uh, Horde night. We definitely won't be going to any other towns now, unfortunately. But at least we have a lovely base. All right, it's 10 past seven. We got fog. That is going to be a nightmare if we do have fog for the Horde night. But we're going to go to bed in our lovely, lovely warm. Let's see if the temperature changes, actually. Yeah, it does. Look, so it is registering as a room now. Okay. Um, right, yeah, let's go to bed. Maybe we look at getting some carpet tomorrow. Maybe. Or maybe just some wood in general for to upgrade our walls here. But we'll go to bed and we'll uh, see you tomorrow. All right, day 46. Let's get a smoke in us. Uh, we got 52. That should be fine. We have the mini 14 of us as well. Do we actually need it? No, probably not. Let's let's put it uh, just down there. I don't know why I picked it up, to be honest with you. All right, so I picked up a table. Uh, what we'll actually do, instead of the carpet, because that is a nightmare, uh, we'll just take this rug. Dark purple rug, thank you very much. These homeowners ain't going to need it no more, so why the hell not, you know? All right, we are back at base. I've also picked up a medical cabinet, which we will place above our sink here for, of course, medical supplies. And also this, um, these metal shells, which I'm not sure what we're going to put in there, but I thought, you know what, we'll have them. We'll have them. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Don't know about that table, actually. Let's dismantle that. No, thank you. Maybe we get some wood from it as well. Bit too high for next to our bed. No, nope, we got no wood. Of course we didn't. We've been very unlucky with the wood. All right, I've re uh, reinstalled our fence there with nice, shiny, higher quality ones and re-put the sheet rope there as well. Let's get all these planks. Let's build some furniture. You know what I've realized? I don't think we've actually killed a single zombie yet. <laughs> um, but that's fine. We got a hell of a lot of them coming for the horde night. So that is fine. I'm not worried. There we go. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Let's, uh, with the rest of these planks, let's... Upgrade our walls, I think. There we go. Let's upgrade it a little bit. Not all the way, but that's fine. We also want to repair our axe. You know what? We had bloody garbage bags in here. God damn it. Okay, well, it can't be helped. All right, we are upgraded to level three everywhere. The windows are done. The wall's done. I uh, suppose we better get some spikes going, haven't we? With the remainder of the wood. Oh, sprinting up a level. Yes, please. All right, so let's go. We have 20 spears. That should be do as a um, bit anyway but for the time being it is 10 past eight let's go to bed and tomorrow we'll fill our traps with spears we'll uh, we'll see you then all right day 47 10 past six we are a little bit hungry do we have mres in here no but we will eat something out of here because cabbage is going to have to go in here let's open all of these chilies well we never did get around and putting another door back on here or boarding up our windows uh, which may prove um a mistake but the, the general you know thing that happens is they go inside and then we just finish them off with a shotgun anyway but let's put some spears in these traps and uh, go from there all right we've added what we had it's uh it's okay i suppose we, <laughs> we're never gonna fill all of these apart oh, there's still a bloody spear in there what about over there oh my god there's still some over there as well okay so hopefully when the zombies go around here they will hit that which should help i'm thinking do we move this truck in front of the windows doesn't actually have any fuel in it oh well we could do with rain. Let's check the weather. Are we going to catch it in time? Are we going to catch it? Turn on. Oh, we caught it. We caught it. Tomorrow, average temperatures. Mm, humidity, 15. Some clouds. Periods of heavy rain. Yes, that's what we need. That's what we need to fill our big old water collector. Uh, rain collector up on the roof there. Oh, I kind of wanted to destroy this as well, didn't I? Yeah, let's do it. Then we can see down there. Oh, what the hell have we got? Severe injury. What the hell have we done? I think it's running over these, maybe. We gotta be bloody careful. I'm not risking that. Jesus Christ. Or did we run over spears? I think I turned spear death off, but critical damage. Oh, God. God, that could have been disastrous. <laughs> Just gotta be careful we don't bloody walk off the edge but we've been fine so far what's our weight because i will eat some 81 let's just get some in us so that we um regain our health i will test them once we've regained the health because i don't want to mess around at 50 health because it could kill us but i will test that because maybe if the spears don't insta kill you they do do still hurt you which kind of makes sense uh, but we'll see we'll do a little bit of testing of that ah we never did do any armor did we all right it's 9 a.m we've stayed up a little bit later today because obviously we want to be nice and fresh for the horde let's have a smoke and then we'll go to bed and we'll uh we'll see you for horde night baby all right day 48 horde night horde night we got a nasty storm coming in but that's good because we can fill up um our rain collectors which is very good and then we're kind of just waiting let's get our uh, weaponry ready oh they are coming i can feel it oh okay okay here we go in this what a what an evening for it this weather jeez 
So we should have 500 coming tonight. Oh, here they come. God, you can't see nothing. This visibility is awful. Oh, let's have a look how many kills are on quickly. Um, what's that one? Let me make a note of that. What's that? 1,576. And we probably killed that, like 20 or something. Jeez, I cannot see anything. Just look at this weather. Well, at least our uh, crops are getting nice and watered. Look at these bastards. Come on. Well, I'll tell you one thing, we definitely won't be going down in this weather. Oh no, we've got a cold. We've got a cold, no. Ah, oh, this is, I think this is the first time I've got a cold with outdoorsmen. Wow. Uh, well, we have been outside for hours in the rain and we are drenched. Oh god, and we're freezing. Jesus, right, we gotta get inside. Oh god, we are not in a good way here. Not in a good way at all. We might need to light the fire up. Well, we're warming up at least. Ah, let's get some food in as this is not good. Not what I expected to be happening. The nasty, you have a nasty cold. Speed and healing severely reduced. Well, at least we're warming up. Let's stay inside for a bit. Oh, we can sleep here though. This class has been safe, so that is a bonus. Uh, we will eat some MREs and go to sleep and hopefully we can shift this cold. But I think we're, we're actually gonna have to stay, stay inside now. Um, let's grab a couple of these. Let's get well fed before we do go to bed. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to finish it off tomorrow downstairs, which at least we can fight them in the light, which is good. Hopefully get rid of this bloody cold. All right, let's get some food in us. Let's eat as much as we can, get well fed. Oh, okay, that's fine. Let's go to sleep. We'll, uh, we'll finish this off in the morning. All right, day 49. We have actually managed to shift the cold overnight which is bloody good um i dread to think how many zombies are downstairs but at least we can see oh there's still bloody loads of them coming we're out we're out of bullets in the mini 14 okay let's pop that there that we know i think it might have to be the winchester <laughs> jesus what does the winchester take 38 special i believe we have a few of them all right let's give it a go Oh, it's so slow. As soon as they stop coming, we'll actually venture down with the shotting. I feel there is a hell of a lot of them inside. Oh, there's a load up here as well. Let's deal with these jokers. Oh, okay, okay. How many have we killed? We was on, like, what, one foul? Nearly 1,600. We haven't actually killed that many. <laughs> Looks like they've actually stopped coming, I think. So, do we uh, do we go down with the shotgun? You know what? I think we do. Let's do it. Why the hell not? Let's get rid of this. Uh, God, we have not got a lot of ammo left for the... Oh, yeah, not too bad, actually, for the, uh, for the old winch. Oh, we got our trusty shotgun. Let's get some bloody shells. Is that going to be enough? Um, let's let's open another box just in case. Um, okay, let's... Uh, oh, careful here. Let's, let's walk over... All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, are they still coming? No, I think we're okay. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Let's get the shotgun out. Let's go and see how we are looking. Yeah, so it looks like running over the graves does actually injure you. Yeah, let's try and uh, let's try and ball them up. Save the ammo. Try the machete we could do with up in our uh, long blade level, to be honest. Oh, let's just bloody wait here and let them fall over. Oh, they don't do it all the time. Whew, what a bloody massacre. Right, how are we looking inside? I hear them. Oh my god, okay. Come on, you bastards. Oh, we're getting through them. We're getting through them. Right, let's see if we can get any, start getting any goodies off of these. I did see a knife on someone that I uh, wouldn't mind having. Oh, God, look at it in there. <laughs> Vitamin GS. Oh, 
Another Jason, so we got another machete. <laughs> but that's about it, really. Where are all these zombies hide? Oh, there they are. Let's just try the other machete, see if that's better. Because this one isn't really doing a lot. It's taking bloody so many hits to, uh, to actually kill them. Now we're looking back here. Fairly clear. What are our kills on? So 2,000. So, yeah, that's about 500, give or take. So we got most of them anyway. That's another hold night. That's 500. Oh, we got one more in here. Come on in. Come on, let's have you. All right, let's get into safety upstairs. <laughs> Downstairs is the killing room. And they still haven't attacked this door yet. Ah, oh, well, we had a cold. We was freezing. It has all been going on. We are very, very low on ammo, though. 181. That ain't going to cut it, is it? Let's be honest. What do we actually have? 762, we have no gun to use it. 556 is very low. Um, we do have that M16 that has no ammo, no magazine or ammo. We got 22. Okay, so we got more 22, which is the Winchester. It's not ideal, but it's something. That's pretty much all that's in that box. And the bottom box, God, we are low. 44 Magnum. Got 9mm. We do have the MP5. So we're going to need more more guns. Let's get inside where it's light. We are going to need more guns for the next horde. So do we do West Point Gun Store or Rosewood Police Station and Prison? That is the question. But that is a question for the next 10 days. Not something we're going to worry about now. Oh, the Defender Machete. You know what? Let's take it. Let's take it. Let's do it. See if it's any better. It's better damage. And uh, it seems quite a fast swing speed as well. Oh, let's harvest these cabbage. Okay, so food-wise, we're looking bloody good. We got a lot of seeds as well. We didn't really do a lot of fishing, but, you know, we've got the MREs and they are... They're giving us the calories we need. Um, we have, what, 25 cabbage in there and another 20. So we got 50 cabbage altogether. Thank God we built this, um, built our house. Because if we was freezing, uh, I mean, we probably wouldn't have been able to sleep in the tent. And we probably would have frozen to death and died being uh, caught hypothermia or something. Especially with the cold. So thank God we built this. Otherwise, I don't know, we'd have had to evacuate it over here and gone, I don't know, one of these houses down there or something. So, yeah, even outdoors, and you know, it could have gone horribly wrong for us. Just look at it. What a massacre. Uh, anyway, time to go to bed, and tomorrow we will see you for, uh, well, day 50. All right, day 50. We won't be doing a lot today. We're just going to have a little bit of food, maybe some corn, because we've got to watch the calories. How are we looking, actually? Yeah, 81. So we'll eat some corn just to take that hunger away. But, yeah, we will not be doing a lot. And then the next 10 days, I'm going to decide whether we're going to West Point or Rosewood. Let's have a quick look. I mean, Rosewood is probably closer, but we've got to hit two places. And the prison is normally busy. we only got to get in here. This is where the guns are in here um, and of course the police station the population is set to low so the prison might be wrong we could just duck in and out the police station shouldn't be too much of a problem west point i hate west point i really do and now west point is always busy but again population is set to low but how ekron started there was so many in here Mulder was pretty quiet but that's a problem for the next 10 days so as always we don't normally do a lot on the 10th on a 10th day so we'll probably well i'll tell you what we will do we'll dig some um furrows ready for if it does rain we can get some cabbage planted but that's probably going to be it for today okay we are back day 51 we got a lot to do as usual over the next 10 days let's bring up the map i think what we're going to do we're going to go we're going to go to rosewood i think it's not too much of a long journey we'll get the guns and that is done that yeah i know we need to get some scrap armor we've got some mres let's fill our water up i think that's the plan here we'll actually take the other uh camping canteen as well and pop that on and let's just let's just crack on with it let's do it let's get down there good old rosewood we'll hit the prison well we'll hit the police station hopefully the prison as well we may actually have to be down there for a couple of days. We also need to sort our doors out as well. But we can do that. We can do that. Oh, we got a, we got a bastard in here. Come on, get out of it. Look at all these bodies. Hopefully these will have despawned by the time we get back as well. Yeah, because we've got 600 zombies spawning on this uh, horde night. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot. We need all the ammo we can get. And we're not that good in melee. So we're actually going to try and work on our melee while we're down in Rosewood, hopefully. All right, so we have made it to Rosewood unscathed, no drama. As we stop to the petrol station, this will probably be our little base while we're here if we need to save the night because we do need cigarettes. But more importantly, we do need the guns in Rosewood because we do have 600 zombies coming on this horde night. 
Um, this ambulance looks in pretty good condition. Don't really need a new car though, but we do need cigarettes. But there are no cigarettes, so um, that's fine. Let's clear upstairs actually, because if we do need to sleep up here, we better make sure it is clear. Yeah, all clear up here, all clear. We will duck in the old zippy mark as well, just to see if we can get some cigarettes. If there's no alarm, hopefully. Nope, we're good. God damn, no cig- Oh, are the cigarettes up here, maybe? Okay, we got 20. That, that, that'll be fine. All right, we're at a police station. Let's check these police cars around the back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It looks bloody empty in Rosewood anyway. I know we set the population to low, but I thought there'd be more, more than this. Alright, we've got a few bits of ammo from the police cars, so that's good. No zombies from that alarm, so yeah, I'm not going to complain. Alright, we are in. We are in. What we got? What we got? Um, not a lot. <laughs> wow, not a lot at all. Right, well let's go check out the prison anyway. We might be able to get it done in a day, actually. Prison looks fairly clear as well, but they do like hiding in the building, so we can't be too overconfident, because we all know that is how you die. Oh god, yeah, there they are. Oh god. Oh, well, I got a lot of them, I think. What about, how's it looking over there? Eh, fairly quiet. Oh, long blade up, thank you. Oh, okay, we're getting through, we're getting through. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's give it a shout at the bottom of the stairs. Try and get them out. Hopefully that doesn't attract them from the main building. No, they're still fine over there. That's fine, that's fine. Looks fairly clear up here, to be honest. Oh, and they've broken the door down for us. Thank you. Right, let's get the swag. All right, well, it looks like we got everything. It's not really the haul I wanted, but <laughs> there's nothing we can really do. Let's get the hell out of here now. That's the problem, you see, playing on extremely rare loot. Ah, it is what it is, you know? What can you do? Okay, we are tired, but while we're here, I do just want to have a quick look in the fire station. Just see if we can get a couple of axes while we're here. Oh, we've got a machete, though. We'll have that. Okay, we got an ice axe and a fire axe, which is good. Ah, and another axe. Okay, so it's worth coming down here. Right, we're back at the gas station. We're probably going to sleep here for the night and then head back in the day. Did hear what sounded like some zombies, so I'm just doing a quick check of the perimeter, but it looks okay. All right, it's 10 to 6. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We'll head back to base and then probably do some metal working while we prepare for Horde Night, but we'll see you uh, in the morning. All right, day 52, let's um, let's head home. Yeah, let's get home. There's nothing else I really want to uh, to do here in Rosewood. So we'll head home, we'll do some armor, get some metal working, do some metal working, get some armor even. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, yeah, go from there. All right, we are home sweet home. Thank God. That was pretty uh, a pretty uh, uneventful drive. These zombies here, let's deal with these bastards. Mm, tires are looking a bit worse for wear, so we may, it's probably driving over all these corpses, we may actually, oh god, our suspension's gone, Jesus. Well, we can repair it with a metal pipe, yeah, do we have pipes? Yeah, I think we got a load of pipes, that's what we might have to do. Um, yeah, it's definitely going over these zombies, right, so we've got to do that, we've got to do some uh, armour for our arms and hands, uh, and change some tires. So we got we got stuff to keep us busy, but first of all, let's get all this trash out of here, and let's get it upstairs. Oh, and doors. <laughs> also got this helmet as well. The night vision doesn't work for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. It never seems to work for me. I think I need another mod for it, which the night vision would have been handy. And I actually think I like that better than the uh, right helmet. Actually, what weighs more? That's the question. Uh, the right helmet actually weighs less, so we'll wear that. Oh, we don't actually have that many pipes. We may be able to get some suspension off of one of these cars, to be fair. Let's have a look. All right, so we've uh, replaced one of the suspension and repaired the other, so that's fine for now let's just drop this stuff here we'll also inflate them as well while we are here and we've also replaced the window as well okay that's good let's get upstairs 
Oh, actually, the SKS takes 762. So we do have it. Let's put that on the floor. That's a backup, I suppose. All right, but it's 20 to 7. We're going to go to bed. And tomorrow, we are going to get some armor going for us. So we'll uh, we'll see you then. All right, day 53. We are very thirsty. So let's go and fill our water up. We need rain. And then our, our rain collector will, will be fine for us. Because also, it's the bigger one. So um, let's fill that. You know what? Let's take these um, Molotov and board upstairs the bourbon sorry bourbon bourbon all right let's uh let's get crafting some armor you know what it doesn't look like we've got the uh read the magazines to be able to we can upgrade them we can't make them that that is a bit annoying i won't lie well doesn't look like we're making any armor then does it ah we should have gone into the uh bookstore at rosewood all right, let's check the weather for tomorrow, see how we're looking. Okay, tomorrow, average temperature 25, humidity 45%. Is there going to be mild wind from the west, clear skies? Ah, god damn it. Okay. Oh, what was that? Severe weather warning, warning thunderstorm. Okay, so we got that the day after, maybe. Um, that's going to be okay. It's not going to be horde night, so that should be fine, <laughs> he says. Wait a minute. Where did our other rain collector go? This isn't good. Um, oh, there's still a fair bit in there. Uh, maybe I dismantled it, or did... Oh, maybe we shot it and it broke. So is that plank just there? Hmm. I don't actually know about that. Well, we all we need rain. We need rain for our one up top. Maybe we put another one up there, another big one. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is it's 20 past 7 and it's time to go to bed. We'll uh, see you tomorrow. All right, day 54. What we're going to do today is hopefully try and repair the doors. Let's take... Yeah, let's take the hand axe, get some wood to hell with it no actually i think that's gonna break so we'll take a we'll take a normal a fire axe it's kind of the reason we got them anyway so yeah let's do it all right we've boarded uh well we've repaired our doors let's barricade these windows up a little bit ah the calm before the storm nice and peaceful in ekron once you've dealt with them now i'm quite surprised how few zombies are in rosewood i mean i know i set the population to low but there's a hell of a lot of them in ekron when we started all right i've carved a bowl so we can now have kabaj salad let's move some in to the fridge god we got a lot Jeez. Let's also check the weather as well while we're waiting around. Okay, tomorrow, average temperature is 23, humidity 54. Not a bad temperature. Mild wind, northwest, clear skies, periods of heavy cloud. Okay. Warning, period of heavy predict. Uh, a period of weather predicted start in the afternoon expected severe weather warnings that's fine that's like eta two days ah oh, that's gonna be on the bloody horde night isn't it jeez oh maybe not right well let's um let's go fill our um canteen up means we have no water in it oh no where have i where have i put my flashlight i haven't bloody dismantled it or something have i oh no that's not good where the hell is it? Ah, oh, we're going to need another one. Um, That is not... Do I not have a spare somewhere? Oh, God. No, I don't. Okay, well, that is a worry for tomorrow. But today, the rest of the day, we're going to go to bed. So we'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow. All right, day 55. We're going to start the day by having some cabbage salad, I think. You know I like my cabbage salad. Ah, we need a knife. We need a knife. There we go. Lovely stuff. Get that in you. Get that in you, Harold. Right, I suppose we're on a mission to find a bloody flash like now aren't we jesus where the hell i can't believe i i must have dismantled it by mistake ah no i don't have a spare either right okay come on let's go ah we will take this wall clock though to put in our uh, in our house ah torch thank god for that nice what we'll also do as well is take this bad boy off of the wall can we take it why won't it, why won't it let me oh no i'm on the wrong one oh yeah there we go mounted deer get on there look at this oh yes and we put a clock above our bed there nice nice oh yes all right it's 10 to 8 we're trying to stay awake a little bit longer now let's eat some uh fruit jam um but we're gonna eat this and we're gonna go to bed tomorrow might look at moving this truck in front of this door here just so they're coming in from here and here. We'll see, we'll see. Because I don't really use that door, but we'll we'll figure that out tomorrow. We'll see you then. All right, day 56. We have rain. Yes, we have it. So let's fill up the canteen while we are here with the rain. Let's go and have a look on the roof, see how much is filled up. Oh, she looks full. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Yep, she is full. Good, good, good. Not going to do a lot today. Probably hang around the base because we're just preparing and waiting for the horde night now. We'll take stock of ammo. We'll what do we have here? 181. Takes 38 special. Let's see what we got in the old boxes over here. We have none. 
I'm sure it took 22s, didn't it? That's not good. Oh, we need a gun that shoots 22s then. Um, okay, so this, the R1022. Don't know what the hell this is, but that takes 22s. Do we have any more? Yeah, we got another magazine. We got anything on this? Any attachments? No. We could use a Magnum, I suppose. We got a lot of uh, 44s, I think. And we got the SKS. So let's, let's get some ammo out and just put it near the guns just so we know what we're dealing with. Okay, so the SKS is kitted, so that's fine. If we need to use that, we'll probably save that though, I think. Yeah, let's drop that. We'll use the winch and then we'll use the bloody 1022, whatever the hell this thing is. Oh, you do get 100 bullets. 100 rounds in a box though so that's pretty pretty interesting all right the rain stopped by the looks of it but it has filled our rain collector up so we are happy and this one as well so that is all good and it started again <laughs> that's fine that's fine all right it is eight o'clock we're gonna go to bed hopefully oh we got thunder now Hopefully the storm stops but I think we're probably gonna have it for horde night by the looks of it but we'll uh we'll see you tomorrow Okay, day 57, the storm is still raging. We have, let's fill, let's fill our canteen now. Let's also refill this uh, water dispenser. Let's just hang around for Horde Night tomorrow. 600 of the bastards. While well, it is raining, actually, let's get some seeds planted. Some of the old cabbage. There we go. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Ah, the storm has stopped. Hopefully... It doesn't come back for Horde Night. That would be nice. If we could have a nice clear night, please. But it is 20 past 8. We stayed up a little bit later, so we're not uh, not tired for the Horde. But we got coffee anyway. But we'll go to sleep and, uh, yeah, we'll deal with them bastards tomorrow. All right, day 58. Oh, God, it's half past 2. We are probably going to be tired for Horde Night. But it's fine. It's fine. We're on, what, 2,181 zombies. So we'll keep track of that. So we should be on, what, nearly 800-ish, 750, 781, something like that. How are we looking skill-wise? Yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. But we are, let's get some, how's our weight? Uh, drop in, so we will have some MRE, because why the hell not? Keep that weight balanced at least. And then we just wait for the horde. We wait for these bastards. Ah, we didn't actually move the truck, did we? Um, that's fine, we can do that next time. It's not a problem. All right, we are waiting. 10 minutes and they will be here. Let's have ya. Oh, they are approaching from all sides. Right, come on then, you bastards. Let's have ya. Oh, we got our first, first candidate. Have some of that, you bastard. Oh, they are coming now. Well, we're getting through the ammo. We've only got 68 rounds left. That's not good. But, you know, we knew it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. Come on, you bastards. And we are out of winch bullets, right? Let's drop it. They've also broken our door in as well. Uh, we'll try the R1022. Um, they are 22s. I believe they are a weak round. But we shall see. I mean, we do have 980 bullets for it, though. So... You know, do with that as you want. It may be a maybe a contender. It depends how many bullets it takes to kill a bloody zombie, I suppose. Ah, oh, sounds like he's killing them. Oh yeah, there's one shot in them. Well, most of them. Oh, we got a oh Jesus, we got a lot over here. No, I think there is a hell of a lot of them inside. <laughs> Ooh, we are getting through the bloody ammo on this as well. We've, got, we've gone through, what, 250 rounds? Jeez. Ah, sorry, 150, but we're still getting through them. God damn, they're all over here as well. That's not going to be good when we try and get down, is it? Jeez. It ain't bad, this 22. It ain't bad. I'm not going to lie. It may be our saving grace. The range isn't amazing on it, but it does the bloody job. Pretty good fire rate as well. Okay, so it looks like we killed about 300 of them. We are starting to get tired. I dread to think how many are inside our uh, inside our base there. Oh, there is a lot up there. That's where we need to get down. All right, it's 20 to 8. There is still a hell of a lot of them, shall we? Let's have a little walk over here with the rifle, shall we? We've got to be careful here. Okay, we're... Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Yeah, look, we got a few of them up here. Let's take care of these bastards. Oh, maybe reload. All right, it's 20 to 9. We need to get to bloody bed. Let's uh, let's walk across here so we don't fall down. <laughs> right, let's, yeah, let's, let's go to bed. Let's reload and go to bed. All right, we're reloaded. We'll get some sleep tomorrow. We'll push on, push on down. We'll see you then. All right, day 59, we got rain. We're hungry. How are our calories? Calories are dropping us fine. Let's make a quick salad up, shall we? Um, can we Can we make a salad? Yes, we can. Let's get that in us. Let's have a look from the roof how we're looking. Oh, we need a cigarette. God, it's all bloody go. It's all go, I tell you. Okay, it looks all right from the roof. Oh, my God, I nearly fell off then. Jesus. Well, they are still coming in here, but let's see if we can take these out. Okay, let's do it. Let's go down. Let's drop all this off. How many have we killed? What's that? So, still only killed about 300. Yeah, that's uh, that's a tricky one. But I think if we take the shotty down, it should be fine. Let's go get it. Okay, we got the shotgun. We got the shells. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Oh, God. I should have auto-walked across here. Ooh. Oh, look. There's some bastards down here. Let's see if we can get them. Yes, we can. Mm, I don't really want to go down in case there's a hell of a lot of them. Let's shoot and see. Don't think there is. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Ah, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We got some bastards coming. Let's try and ball them up. I think they're actually still spawning in, so maybe we should have stayed upstairs, but we're down now. Let's get the old machete going. See if we can up our levels a little bit. Okay, let's push on down to our base. Okay, we're looking all right. There's probably going to be a fair few of them in there. Let's get the shotgun ready. Oh, God, yeah, I saw them. Oh, look at them. Look at them. Come on. Come on, you bastards. Get out of my base, you bastards. Oh, look, yeah, look, there's loads of them still coming. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay, we're getting through them. We're getting through them. Let's go through this door. We easy. Alright, so I think we need about 100 more kills, maybe. Or 200, and then... Oh, 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 jeez. Wow, okay. Can't be, uh, can't be lacking here. God damn, there's still a lot of them around. See if we can get any, uh, any valuables. Not really. <laughs> any M16s or anything like that would be nice. Let's go have a look behind our, uh, behind our base here. How are we looking here? Not a lot going on. So I think we probably have got them. Yeah, judging by our kill count, we, we there's probably like another 50 or something kicking around. But that's fine. That's fine. Right, let's head back. We'll go to bed and tomorrow we'll go around and clear any, uh, Whoa! Jesus, you bastard! Ah, he nearly had me. God damn! Whew, it's always the sneaky bastards, isn't it? Always. Right, let's get the hell upstairs. Okay, we are home and safe. It's good. It's very good. I mean, do we? Uh, are we actually going to use this tin club can? Tin can club, even. Let's let's place it on the bed. We may do, we may not, but we don't really. We'll sleep with it. There we go. <laughs> but we're probably going to wait around and then go go out in the morning when it's lighter. Did get this bearded axe, which I think will be pretty. Uh, pretty handy let's actually put that there we'll swap the tin can club for the axe because we are pushing axe um more than long blunt to be fair so yeah yeah we'll do that we'll do that We're dropping on calories so we'll get some mres in. and actually what what have we got yeah no mre will be fine all right it's 7 a.m let's go to bed tomorrow we'll uh we'll assess the base downstairs we'll see you then all right day 60 let's just get straight into it i can hear zombies banging around downstairs so i'm not going to go down that rope we'll go down over here and then we'll uh we'll get into the building we do have the shotgun weathers as well still which is good yeah we're gonna have our hands full when we got uh you know a thousand other bastards coming but oof. all right let's just run in yeah this bastard trying to get in here hey get out of it get out of it bloody jockey Hell of a lot of bodies. We could, yeah, we could smash our tailoring skill here. Let's see if any of them have got anything useful on them. No, nothing at all, really, which isn't good. 
We got some bastards down here. Let's deal with them. Actually, let's check out this bearded axe. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. <laughs> All right, we are home, safe and sound. Let's drop the shotgun off here. We're not going to need that anymore. Yeah, so the, the 22 has come in handy. We do have enough ammo for it. We do also have a fair bit of 9mm ammo, but I think you only get like 30 in a box of that. Uh, we got a load of 44 magnums, but I don't actually know what takes that. 556, we got two mag... Oh, 9mm, we got 19 boxes, so... And another one there and some there we don't have a lot though we really don't i mean worst case you know we got some 45s we could use an m1911 but it is what it is but we'll uh we'll probably leave it there for the today we're not going to do a lot and then over the next 10 days let's get the old mappage up over the next 10 days we'll probably yeah we're probably gonna have to go on a west one we could probably hold off another horde but we are gonna have to go to the gun store here let's mark that and possibly uh, i think that's the police station but i hate west point but we'll see okay guys day 61 we got 700 of the bastards coming in on horde night which is the eighth day so that's gonna be what day 68 yep okay so what we're gonna do is we're very low on ammo so i think we may we may have to go to west point could be done go there and then possibly hit up the police station as well we'll have to uh we'll have to assess it when it's up there hopefully the zombie count's not gonna be too bad up there let's move some of this called cabbage into the fridge there what the hell am doing come on get in there right let's get it in there and then i think we're just gonna crack straight on and get the hell up there i think we will take some mres with us just a couple in case we get a little bit peckish up there because we may have to stay there overnight i don't know but we're gonna crack right on and get up there i think yeah we're gonna have to do a bit of repairs to our bases oh hey hey buddy what are you doing in here sneaking in here. get the hell out of here you bastard but let's get the hell on and get up there just looking we're probably gonna need some fuel so let's go top up oh god this is not gonna be good for our tires let's also check the car actually because i know we did repair it but i want to make sure it is in the a, 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 a fairly good working order i think it is yeah no she's good to go she's good to go baby all right let's get on all right, so we've made it to the gas station south of West Point. We'll probably hang around here. This will be our little mini FOB for the time being. Okay, it looks fairly clear. Let's move. Can we sleep on this, I think? Oh, I don't know if you can, actually, can you? No. Okay, well, we're going to need something to sleep on. So maybe let's go to one of these houses and just see if we can get a chair behind us there. All right, we got a chair. We're good to go. All right, we got our temporary bed for the time being. It ain't much, but uh, it'll do. It'll do. I think we'll probably wait until tomorrow to go up there. Yeah, I think so. We'll kind of just hang around. Let's get some bin bags while we're here, though. All right, it's 6.30. We haven't done a lot. As I said, I wanted to get a good night's rest in to tackle West Point. We don't know what the hell it's going to be like, especially if we are going into the police station. But we're going to grab some food, and then we'll actually grab some food from here. Um, Yeah, choco cakes. Why the hell not? You deserve it, Harold. Um, we're still very hungry, so we'll probably have some beef jerky as well. Why the hell not? What else we got in here? Uh, dehydrated or oh, some plonkies. You can't go wrong with plonkies. And get the dehydrated stick as well. Uh, right, we'll go to bed. And tomorrow we push. We push into West Point, the gun store. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll see you then. Okay, day 62. We're going to get straight on with it and get up to that gun store. Because I want to try and get the gun store and the police station done today. And then we head back. Well, we may head back in the morning. I don't know. But... At least want to get them looted today, but we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. Let's uh, let's just get up there. All right, so we're at the gun store. It's fairly quiet. There is this lovely RV, but I don't have RV interiors on, which is a shame. It looks like oh, we got a couple of Zeds coming on over to us, but we look like a, we're in a good good position here. Good old Twiggies there as well. We'll grab another bin bag and that'll give us four. So we could build another rain collector if we wanted to now. Okay, we are in. We are in. Let's, uh, yep, deal with these bastards. Well, this bastard. Ah, have some of that. Very quiet. That surprised me. I know that the population is set to low, but, you know, we had seen how many was in bloody Ekron when we started. Okay, we have looted the gun store. Now, we got a hell of a lot of guns. We got a Mac 10, which is really nice, but we've also got an AK, which is amazing. It really is, because we got so much 762. Well, I got another four boxes there, but that is big. That is big. So we'll probably use that. And I think we will go and check out the uh, police station because it doesn't seem to be that busy around here, which is nice. 
Oh, look at this. Burnt out police cars. So I think this is from the mod vehicle scenes. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. That's really good. But we've made it, and there's not a lot of zombies. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I mean, we got, what, bloody 700 coming to us later, so... Oh, we got a key. Thank you. Ah, and a frosted donut. <laughs> all right, so we got a few bits, few extra rounds, few extra magazines, all that kind of stuff. A couple of boxes of ammo there. So it was probably worth coming here. Definitely, I'd say, to be honest. But let's get the hell out of here. All right, we made it back to the petrol station, the gas station. We'll probably hang around here and we'll head, head back home tomorrow, I think, because I'd rather drive in the daylight, to be honest with you. All right, it's 10 to 6. We're going to go to bed a little bit earlier tonight because then we'll get more daylight to the, for the drive back. Let's have a quick smoke we are very tired though so we're gonna have to start getting ourselves back into a kind of uh into a routine eat some chips we are hungry uh, but we'll go to bed and we'll see you uh, see you tomorrow all right day 63 we're not hanging about we're getting the hell out of here let's drink some pop though just to uh well save on our hunger so because we've only got mres and having another one then will make us gain weight but we're at a good weight 80 so let's get the hell out of here thank you west point you've been a pleasure very quiet May have um, underestimated uh, how quiet it was going to be. But let's try and get back without any uh, road traffic accidents. <laughs> All right, and we have made it home in one piece. No incidents along the way. Hell of a lot of corpses here, but let's uh, let's get all of our loot in into our base, shall we? What the hell? The generator's gone out. It's not broken, is it? God, I hope not. Fuel. God, it is tearing through the fuel. I swear they said there's like bloody 20 days on it left or something, but well, let's add it anyway. Yeah, 12 days. Okay, well, we're just going to keep an eye on that. Let's check on our cabbage to make sure that's not bloody died. Gone rotten, sorry. No, it's okay. Okay, that's good. That's, uh, that's a relief. Okay, well, we're running out of space but that's fine because the ak we're actually gonna put well and the bullets as well down here so we know where it is do we have an ak magazine i think we have a few yeah we got three okay pop them on the floor that's good that's good but these rest of the guns well we don't really have a uh, have space for them we don't really need any more guns it's more the ammo we need oh we got a load of 308s that is nice they can go with the old rifle over here all right let's read these magazines to get them read and done so we got 12 boxes 762 is there any more in here maybe maybe let's have a look no there isn't that's fine no that's fine all right but let's have some food i think we'll have cabbage being as our weight is level and it starts to rain i don't mind that i don't mind that at all because that means it's filling up our rain collectors we will add another one we're going to need another gun crate as well, so we're going to need more wood. More bloody wood. Ah, never ends. It never ends. All right, it's 8 a.m. We stayed up a little bit later today. As I say, I want to get us back into the routine, ready for the horde. But we're going to go to bed tomorrow. More improvements. More wood. More wood. We'll, uh, we'll see you then. All right, day 64. It is raining outside, but that is good. We like the rain. My God, it is awful, but... What we need today ah, is more planks, more planks. Let's go, let's go. Let's see if we can dismantle stuff to save lugging logs around. I mean, we got them down here. We could just sack off the, uh, the door. Is that a zombie in here? Oh my God, where the hell did you guys come from? Get the hell out of here. Jeez. As I was saying, yeah, we could just sack off the doors, but mm, we might have to do that because they only get broken anyway, so and it's not as if the zombies can get us. All right, we got uh, 11 planks there, two planks there, 13. That, that'll that do us. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, let's get this other crate built, and then we can put our guns away. We've got too many guns. We don't need this many guns, but you know what? We've got them just in case. Better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them. That's what I say. And we got another rain collector up here now. Happy day. Let's get the torch on. Bloody hell, it's a bit dark. Um, we still have 10 planks. Um, okay, well, they will come in useful. Let's just pop them down there. We still can't make any hand protection or anything, which can I not? Right leg scrap. Surely. Surely. No, I can't. Um, and it's a bit annoying. You would have thought we've been a scrap scrap warrior as well what's the bloody perk called um yeah scrap warrior should be able to have made basic armor we can just upgrade it so we need still need that magazine but i'm not really gonna go out looking for a magazine just for armor we seem to have a pretty good setup here anyway could make um like some a sword or something maybe possibly should we make a sword yeah let's let's make a oh we, you know what we could do actually we could take some bullets that we're not going to use create some smg rounds or something maybe we've got everything for that we just need plank and gun parts we've got plenty of gun oh the gatling gun i think that might be a little bit op though 
But if we could make, what is that? Oh, metal working seven. Scrap SMG, we could. Yeah, I think we look into that. Now uh, we need a spring, which I don't think we have. Let's try and dismantle some guns, see if we can get a spring from them. We got weapon parts, no spring from dismantling that shotgun. Let's try again. Oh, it does increase our metal working though. What about if we dismantle a magazine? Can we do that? Oh, weapon parts, we need gun parts. How do you make gun parts? Oh, okay, we need to take the gun. Oh, we can get a spring gun magazines. Okay, okay, okay. We got a, we got a plan here. We got a plan. I mean, we got bloody nine M9 pistols. We do not need that many. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got 11 gun parts and seven springs. Let's have a look. And we've run out of space, so we're going to have to put another... we we'll put a crate here as well for more crafting stuff. But we do have a scrap SMG. Okay. I like that. I like the look of that. <laughs> Does it take scrap bullets? Let's have a look how we make scrap bullets. Gunpowder. How do we make gunpowder? Do it with bullets. Gather gunpowder. Okay. Well, let's actually do it with the 44 Magnum because we don't really want to use a revolver, I don't think. Okay. Okay. So what we got then? We got 110. So mm, not ideal, but at least we know we can... We can make bullets, and we got a kind of a renewable source of ammo, I suppose. Oh, I like the sound of that. Oh, does it, can you change fire mode? No, okay, that's fine. Okay, let's pop that on our back. We got some, and we'll give this a whirl, actually. Oh, oh, oh. We still have all the boxes of ammo on us. We didn't open them. Jeez, we just literally just, we just did, that's all we got with the loose ones we had. Okay, okay. Oh no, we've got a we've got a nasty cold. No, <laughs> uh, that's fine. Now let's dismantle some of these guns. Okay, well it's bloody late, and we need to uh, we need to get a bed <laughs> and try and recover from this cold. All right, day sixty-five. We're good. We lost the cold. We're very overweight. We've still got all this bloody ammo in us. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's gather the gunpowder. Oh, we're putting it on the floor. Right, we need to build another crate. <laughs> we've got a, still a busy, busy old day. We've got a lot of do. We've got a lot to do. So we've got 457 for the SMG, but we can make more. Because weapon parts make... You can dismantle weapons to get weapon parts. Weapon parts you can dismantle to make scrap parts. Which then you can build the, uh, the ammo with. But this is all metalworking skill and we haven't read the book. So we'd probably be at another level by now. So we're going to read it and then we can actually make a better gun, possibly. So let's read that. Uh, all right, we have just read it just in the nick of time to get a bed. It is nine in the morning. Let's put them scrap bullets in that pouch there. Will they go in there? Uh, oh, I already have three... 300 in there okay let's put them in there then that's fine uh let's drop this bloody plank off over here let's grab a cigarette maybe some food how is our weight we haven't really been eating a lot uh 79 okay we'll have some mre that's fine that is fine we've also got all of this gunpowder here we need to pick up um right let's eat an mre and we'll go to bed and tomorrow we are carrying on metal working baby we'll see you then all right day 66 we are looking good let's get back to making some ammo and then hopefully we might be able to get another level and we could make a salt rifle possibly we'll see we'll see but let's the uh, let's crack on Oh, and there we go. We got another level. So we could actually now potentially build the one salvage assault rifle. Oh, we need eight for that. We could build that assembled salvage SMG. And what does that take? The salvage magazines. I don't know if it's worth it. I just don't know. Some more metal sheets. Let's pop it there anyway on um, on our favorites i think what we'll do is we will test out test out this smg first and see how we get on with it we're out of gunpowder as well but that's fine no, no we're not out of gunpowder um we're out of everything else ah and i've just realized you can only do it with a vanilla firearms so okay we can make the salvage smg okay so we have done it we have the salvaged smg the better one. Let's get rid of all this stuff at the minute in there. We can make ammo for it. We only have one magazine because we need metal sheets. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I do like that. We'll try this one out because we do have all the guns for it. But we'll pop these here for maybe the next uh, the next horde. But I do like that. I do like that. We need water as well. <laughs> Jeez. Because we got loads of guns that we can craft into parts. So that's not a problem. I'm not worried about that. But we do have 627 rounds for this one. So we may as well use it. I feel it's not going to be very good durability-wise. But that's fine. That's fine. We can uh, 
we can cross that bridge when we get to it. But let's have a lovely... Uh, well, actually, let's get rid of this scope. Can we put a scope on this? No, okay, that's fine. I guess I don't think you can upgrade them. Let's get rid of that. Pop that bad boy there. We got the AK. Bloody hell, we are. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. I mean, look at this. We're on level 8 metalworking. Wow. <laughs> what can we build? What is the Gatling gun, actually? Let's have a look. I don't know if we're actually going to uh, going to use it, but let's have a look. Metalworking 9, okay. You need quite a lot. Quite a lot, but it could be done. It could be done for the 1,000 Horde. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But it is 20 past 8 in the morning. We are going to get a bed. How is our weight? 80. Okay, yeah, we're going to get a bed. Tomorrow, probably just hang around and prepare prepare for the Horde. We'll see you, see you there. Okay. Day 67, the calm before the storm. We're very hungry. Let's have some cabbage salad. Um, no, not oatmeal. We, uh, we're we living healthy. We're living healthy. Old Harold's living healthy. Okay, well, we're kind of just waiting, taking stock of what we got. We got a load of 308 over here still, so we should be fine. Um, we got shotgun shells. We've also got the 22 down here, but we've got the scrap. The scrap SMG. So it'd be good to test this bad boy out and see how we get on with it, but... Other than that, oh, we got the AK as well, which uh, we have a hell of a lot of uh, bullets for as well. So we're good. We're good. But we do have 700 of the bastards coming. So this gun's probably going to be used up, but that's fine. That's fine. We also have a hell of a lot of shotgun ammo as well. Let's, uh, we've got five boxes here. Let's put all that together. And 27 boxes of 9 mil. Jeez. Cabbage is looking pretty good as well. This should, uh, well, it's ready to be harvest, but let's have a look at info. Current ground freight's unknown. Well, wood flourishing, ready to harvest. But, you know, we like seed bearing, even though we have, what, <laughs> 101 seeds anyway. But, you know what, you can never have too many. It'll be good to use an automatic as well for Horde Knight. We haven't used one yet. It's always been semi-automatic. So to actually use automatic, it may speed it up a little bit, to be fair. But it's 10 past 9. We're going to have some food. Maybe, no, let's have the cabbage salad, I think. We'll go to bed and then we'll uh, we'll see what this is all about with these bastards. We'll uh, make short work of them, I reckon, with the SMG. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're out of cabbage in the fridge. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, no. What does the world come to? Well, let's go to bed and, uh, yeah, we'll see you. See you tomorrow for it. All right, day 68, Horde Night, 700 of the bastards. Let's get some salad going. Let's get this in us before it all kicks off. There we go, lovely stuff. Right, now we just got to wait. We just got to wait for them. Oh, here they come. They're approaching from all sides. Come on then, you bastards. Oh, I see our first candidate. And down he goes. Okay, so we are on what? 2,739 kills. So we'll make a note of that. 2,739... They're a bit slow coming tonight, unless they're all inside. Mmm, they're coming in very, very slow tonight. Oh, and the gun is taking an absolute beating. It's not the best, to be honest. Come on, you bastards, let's have ya. Yeah, we are jamming a lot. God, the gun is nearly broken. The good thing about this scrap gun is I don't think it's very loud, to be honest, which is good. Not so much for this playthrough, but just in general, that's quite good to know. Right, let's try and clean it up with a uh, gun cleaning kit or something. Let's have some food as well. Oh, it's got to be with gun parts. Okay, I think we got gun parts. Okay, that's repaired it a little bit. That's good, that's good. God, there is a lot of them this time. There is a lot of them. Oh, Lord. We get a lot of lag as well. We're down at about, I don't know, 20 FPS when I run. So there's a lot of them underneath us. And this gun just is jamming all the time. I'm thinking maybe maybe we drop it. Yeah, let's drop it. Let's go back to the uh, an old classic, I think. We got a lot of, a lot of bullets for it. But, I mean, we will go back to using it. Let's use the old 22. I like the 22, you know. All right, you bastards. Oh, look at it. Oh, my God. Look at them all. Jeez. My God, there is so many of them. What is our aiming skill? Okay, so we're getting to level six. There's so many down in our base. We're probably going to go to bed soon. Yeah, we're starting to get a bit tired. We'll go to bed and then oh, tomorrow maybe adventure down. Yeah, oh god, there's so many. Right, let's go to bed. We'll finish this off tomorrow. Jeez. Oh no, we can't sleep. It's not safe. Oh, there's too many. Oh, well, this puts us in a not a very good uh, predicament here. 
I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's take our tent over to the next building. Hopefully we can sleep there. Let's see, shall we? Oh my god, they are everywhere. They are everywhere. No, and I can't sleep. God damn it. Look at them all. Jeez. Right, well, let's have a smoke. Let's assess the situation. We got a hell of a lot of them. How many we killed? So what was we on? 700. So we probably killed like 400. So we got another 300-ish to go. Um, looks like we can still shoot them underneath here. So let's try that. Right, let's give it another go. We have killed quite a few more, so maybe... Uh, yes, we can. Okay, we we'll go to sleep. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 69. We managed to sleep, which is good. We're hungry. Let's have... Um, yeah, let's have an MRE. Let's reload all of our magazines. Let's assess. Looks okay. They're all going to be bloody underneath her. That's the thing, isn't it? Oh, a cabbage is seed bearing, which is nice. Let's actually go and have a look over here because that is where we get down. And there was a hell of a lot of them. So if we can clear that out. That's something, I suppose. Oh, I thought he was going to walk off the edge then. Jeez. Oh, look at them all here. There is a lot of them over here. We're not going to be able to get down. Okay, we cleared a lot of them up there. Let's see how we're looking at our base. We might not be able to get down there till tomorrow, you know. Looks okay here. Maybe we got a lot of them. What are we on? 3,200. 3, so we've done maybe 500. Oh, there's still a load coming. Oh, okay. We need water. Let's harvest these crops. Um, yeah. Oh, farming up. Yes, please. Okay, tomorrow, tomorrow we want to get down there. That's what we're going to do. Let's get rid of this. And there's the good old trusty rifle. It's actually done us very well, to be honest. <laughs> um, to say it's only a 22. It's done us very well. But let's get the shotgun ready for it. Actually, let's blast the shotty from up here. Probably not the most efficient thing to do, but... I mean, we could actually go down tonight. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, God, okay, we're safe, we're safe, okay. Let's get the axe while we can, preserve ammo. I think I want to go down the high street because we've got more ways to escape than if we need to. Let's get the old machete. Oh, God, they're coming from... Oh, my God, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Ooh, okay, okay. Ah, you bastard! God damn it! Ah, what the hell happened there? He glitched out. You've got to be careful. What the hell did he take a bite out of? Jeez. Oh, it was the plate armor. It was the plate armor. It saved us. My God, it saved us. Ooh. Wow. Okay. God, I thought we was a uh, thought we was a goner there. Oh no, not old Harold. He's too good for that. Well, plate armor's too good for that. You bastards. Ah. Come on, you bastards. Go to hell, Santa. Face full of bookshot. Might not have been the smartest idea coming down here. Well, we're getting through them. We're getting through them. Oh, there's our kill count on. So we're nearly, nearly there. In fact, we should have probably killed most of them. Let's see if we can have a look inside. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have turned the lights off in there, you know. Oh, I see a Jason down there as well. Not that we really need any more uh, machete. Oh, 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 oh. Gosh. Oh, God, get out of here, get out of here. Okay, let's try and get this machete. Oh, there is still some in there. Look at them all in there. Get out of it, you bastards. Okay, I think uh, I think we got them all. Or at least a hell of a lot of them. Is it safe inside? Let's get the light back on in here. <laughs> look at this. Just look at this. Then I haven't got through that door. Right, let's get upstairs. 
another another successful uh, successful run. Has the power gone out again? Oh no, our bulb must have gone. Okay, let's let's put a red one in there. Drop the old shotty. She has served us well. Oh yes. Oh look at that. I like it. I like it. All right, but it's twenty to seven. We're gonna go to bed now and then clear the rest of them out tomorrow in the daylight. I think. So let's go to bed if we can. I would have thought we'd be able to now. No, we can't. It's not safe. Um. Okay, let's see if we can get on that sleep in that tent, shall we? Okay, we can here. So let's go to bed and we'll see you, uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, day 70. Let's go down here and see what we're dealing with. We'll try and clear out all the stragglers that have uh, that are still hanging around. But I would say that was a pretty, pretty successful horde night. We may have to change our tactic up, you know, because them getting in the house is a bit of a nightmare. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think we got them all. I think we got all the bastards. I can't believe the uh, scrap armor really saved us then. Jeez. Still not broken this door, you dumb bastards. Yeah, but wow, we've done it. We've done it. Another horde, 700, done. 800 next. Probably not going to do a lot for the rest of the day, as always, on a 10th day, as you probably well know by now. So yeah, we'll leave it for the day. Okay, guys, day 71. Oof, we are getting through them. We've kind of hit everywhere. There is the hunting lodge here and the firing range there, the shooting range, and also the military checkpoint. But don't really want to go up there, if I'm honest with you. Bit of a trek, and I don't know. I just don't really fancy going up to the checkpoint. But we've probably got enough guns for the horde for this time on day 78 we're getting 800 of the bastards but what i want to do to do well over the next few days before the horde is actually try and build out a little bit onto maybe this barn here just so we can see what's what's going on below us when we get to it Ah, we can also plant some seeds as well being as it is raining so let's get on with that first of all all right that's the seeds planted happy days let's try yeah let's try and i don't know how this roof's going to play with us it might might not go uh, to plan or we may be able to walk on top of it or fall through it. I don't know. But let's try and get over there. Let's take these planks and stop building over there, I think. All right, we've run out of planks, <laughs> of course, of course. So let's go get some. That's uh, so what we're going to do. It's going to be more base improvements, I think, for this 10 days. We'll see, though. We'll see. Okay, so we got... What we got here? We got 11 in the backpack and 3 on our person. So 14. So that should do us nicely. It should hopefully get us across to that barn. And maybe uh, maybe we build something over there. I'm not too sure yet. I'm not too sure. Oh, we'll take these three planks here as well. There's no point uh, putting the doors back on because they just smash through them. It's just wasting one. Oh, and we'll take these two here as well. Thank you very much. Hmm. Okay. Well, we couldn't get onto the roof. Well, we could, but I've uh, I've I've built one in, so it doesn't look like we can walk on the roof. But that's fine. So we will have to build. But that's not a problem. That's not a problem. We can build a little flooring over there. What I do want to do as well is actually build. Um, can we see over there? No. Okay. So we may have to dismantle a bit of wall here. If we just build a little, a little runway along here, I think that'll probably do as you know destroy the barn wall so we can see out but i also want to put a fence just because i don't want to yeah look we can't put one there that's fine so we'll have to dismantle we want to put one along here though and looks like we're out of wood already um yeah that's fine that is fine we knew it was gonna happen we've had a big old shortage of wood this playthrough and well, we have built a fair bit to be honest though so but it is 10 past seven we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we need to get the sledgehammer and uh, we need to carry on building whatever the hell we're building over here. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you then. All right, day 72. Let's just crack right on. We need more woods. We need more wood. We do. We got some zombies over there. Let's uh, let's go deal with them actually, so they don't come sneaking up on us, the bastards. Oh, we got a lot of them over here. These sneaky bastards. Jeez, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. But while we are up here, we will go in these houses and look for some stuff to dismantle and wood to collect. All right, so we got 15 planks. That should do us, I think. I hear a zombie somewhere, but God knows where. We'll see you later. But what we can do is, ah, oh, look at this. Now that we got our nice, uh, our nice guardrail up, we can destroy the outside of the barn. This, yes. Well, we can we've got a little bit of visibility. Not amazing. I would like more, but we need we need more nails. I hear a bloody zombie somewhere as well, you bastard. Okay. All right, let's put, drop the sledge here because I feel we're going to need it. 
All right, so I've managed to scrounge a few nails, so let's uh, let's carry on building, shall we? Build what we can, anyway. Okay, so we're nearly there. We're nearly there. I'm gonna have to test. Let's test it now. See if we can actually shoot over the fence. I think. Oh, <laughs> gotta be careful of that. Jeez. But yeah, I'm gonna test. See if we can actually shoot over that. I think we can. Oh, and the gun is broken. Oh, no. The scrap SMG is broken. I mean, I think we're probably just going to scrap that anyway. Um, but that's fine. I think we can shoot over it. We're going to do more metal working. But we're going to need more nails. So I want to secure that, that um, walkway a little bit more. But that is a job for the morning. It's ten past eight. We're going to get a bed tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think we're going to go up into this restaurant here. I don't know if it's a Spiffo's. I can't actually remember. Get some nails, get some wood. We'll take the car up there and go from there, really, but we'll see you then. All right, day 73. Let's just get straight on out there. Um, do we need the sledgehammer anymore? I don't think we do, to be fair. We'll put that in the car so we don't forget it if we do decide to go somewhere and need it. Oh, you know what? We may take this uh, pinball machine as well, you know. To hell with it. Let's have it. Oh, carbon tripper level. Nice. What does that put us on? Eight. Wow. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. So we got a load of wood. We are thirsty. So we're going to fill up in the toilet while we're here. Why the hell not use someone else's water, you know? Let's top it up in the sink as well. But let's get out of here, shall we? Let's get back to base and finish off the construction we're doing. All right. So where are we actually going to put this... Uh, pinball machine then let's have a look how about there we go it doesn't quite uh doesn't quite fit but let's move this exposure survivor onto it uh, or maybe not all right it's coming on definitely we're uh we're getting there at least we've got the old little lookout perch where we can pop them off ah the bodies are starting to decompose as well which is nice make this place look a hell of a lot tidier in here how is our weight looking 79 let's go and have some mres maybe actually should we eat some cereal yeah let's have some cereal i do like our house I'm actually really proud of this place. There's not a lot, but you know, it's, it's home. But it is six o'clock, so we're gonna go to bed and finish off tomorrow by carrying on with our uh, our uh, project we got going on here. Exciting stuff, exciting stuff, riveting stuff. <laughs> All right, day 74. Okay, let's, uh, let's crack on. We are losing health because I have all of the planks on me, which isn't good. And we only have 12 nails, so that's not good either. But we don't really need to do much more. Kind of want to put it on the corners here before anything. I hear a zombie as well somewhere. All right, so we have finished this. It's a bit hard to see what uh, what's actually going on here, but that's fine. What I also want to do is possibly get it over the other side as well. We only have five nails, hey, so that's not good. Um, yeah, over here a little bit, just so we don't run off the edge. Ah, oh, like that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right, well, let's go deal with that zombie beans with down here. Hey, lady, what are you doing sneaking around here? Get out of it, you bastard. Well, what we seem to be low on again is nails. So I'm just going to have a little look around, see what I can get from these places, from these buildings up here. Oh, coffee. We'll have that. All right, we are stocked up on planks again. And we've got a few nails. We've got 17 there and four there. <laughs> so not many, but enough to... Uh, to get us going for a little bit again. Uh, we also need Carpentry 5. We may as well actually read that. Just check around that we don't actually have it somewhere. We do not. And how are the old cows looking? 79. Let's have an MRE. Let's try and... Uh, actually, can we have some oats or something? Do we got oats? I think we have. Let's get them just to get the calories pumping a little bit. Yeah, can of oats. Get them in, yeah. Get them in you, Harold, old boy. Right, let's go see if we can get the uh, the last carpentry book, master book, from the gun store. I feel we would have picked it up. Did we have it in here? Let me just have a little look. Uh, no, carpentry free. I feel we may have actually gone out looking for carpentry free at some point. I don't know. Hey, it's Gordon Bloody Ramsey. Get out of it. Jeez, it actually is as well. <laughs> Sorry. No, no carpentry. That is a shame, but I kind of didn't think we would find it here anyway, because I think I would have grabbed it if it was here. Well, the bodies are going at least. Should we try and put a mouse trap somewhere? Now these work, okay? I don't think you have to put bait. I know they have to be some tiles away. Let's let's go try and put one somewhere and see if we can catch something. Place trap, okay. Put it in the toilet here. Now maybe maybe we do look at doing a bit of trapping, you know. Let's go and see what VHSs we've got, shall we? Because I think you have to be... Yeah, you've got to be a certain level to be able to do the stick traps, I think. Oh, there's another mouse trap here. Maybe we do uh, 
go place that somewhere else as well. I can't remember how many tiles away it has to be. I want to say 75, but I could be wrong. Okay, so we do have trap in there. So it might be worth going back and getting trap in one. I'm not sure if that teaches you any recipes because it doesn't, I don't think we can make any traps. Let's go back down to the gun, uh, to the bookstore there. Okay, we got trap in one, we got trap in two, and I think trap in three. All right, well, we're back at base. Let's let's read Trapping One, shall we? All right, we just finished Trapping One, which is good, good, good. We're going to get a bed tomorrow. Let's have a look. We got hunting magazines here. I'm sure we have. I'm sure we've read some. No, none there. Mm, ho hopefully, we learn a recipe from the VHS. I can't actually remember, to tell you the truth. But we're going to go to bed, and well, we're going to have a smoke first. We're going to go to bed, and then tomorrow, we're going to read the watch the Trapping VHS. So we'll see you then. All right, day 75, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, or it's a new dawn, it's a new day. Let's uh, expose your survival, let's watch this bad boy, let's just make sure. Uh, yeah, we got uh, we got the XP boost, let's pop her in, let's see how we, uh, how we get on with this. Okay, so we've watched it. Now, it did give us the recipe for a wooden box trap, which is good. Let's have a little look at this, shall we? Let's just drop that off there. We don't need that. Okay, so yes, we can actually make one. I believe this will catch rabbits with cabbage. So let's make a couple. Where the hell are our, our planks gone? We did have a few of them. Oh, we can actually make five. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we got trap crate. Let's just place this, shall we? Let's have a look what it looks like. Okay, yeah, look. So we can actually get rabbits with this, I think. So let's let's take some cabbage. There we go. I actually moved some from the freezer into the fridge. Oh, we've only got two in that freezer. All right, let's go plant these. I'll also do the mouse trap as well. We are self-sustainable, baby. Oh, we got some locals. They know we're going to catch some juicy rabbits and they want a piece of it. Well, not today, you bastards. Okay, so we got vegetation here. Animals normal. Let's try and plant them around here, shall we? Okay, so the traps are set. We'll actually eat a little bit of cabbage while we're out here. Oh, you're going to add bait. Okay, so we added bait. I don't know if cabbage um, is going to attract mice, but all right, but we are back home and we will actually read the next trapping book, I think, as well. All right, we've just finished trapping two, which is a good, almost perfect timing. Oh, stale cabbage. Uh, get it in, yeah. Um, almost perfect timing because it is nearly our bedtime. All right, so it's 20 past seven. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. Hmm. Don't think we're going to check the traps tomorrow. We'll probably just hang around and check the traps the day after, but we'll uh, we'll see you then. All right, day 76. As I said, we're probably just going to hang around base, and then tomorrow we'll uh, we'll go check them traps. Oh, we got more rain, which I'll never complain about. I think we've run out of uh, antidepressants as well. I did eat some lentils. Oh, yeah, no, we don't have any antidepressants. Um, Okay, well, that's fine. We're just going to watch our uh, watch our weight, but hopefully if we get some nice, uh, some nice game from the... Uh, yeah, from the traps we might not need it anymore you know oh no we've got a bloody cold again <laughs> oh no ah oh, god damn it oh well is this refrigerator why isn't this refrigerated what's going on here wait we haven't we've have run out of fuel wait what yes we have oh no no Oh, we're gonna have to do a fuel run as well. God, it's all going on. Conditions only 62 as well. We'll have to look at getting some watchers dismantled. Oh, we got some. Oh, I don't believe it. Look at that. Look at that. There's two boxes of nails down there. Ah, I should have checked. I should have checked. Right, well, well, we know now. <laughs> but uh, it's 8 a.m. We've got a stinking cold. Let's just eat some cabbage. Let's get as well fed. I know it's going to make us unhappy and stale, but we may actually lose the cold. Well fed, yeah, right. Let's go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 77. We have lost the cold, which is good. It was very good, actually. Let's go... Let's go fill our fuel tanks up, I think, our gas cans up, and then we will check the traps. Hopefully we've caught something. Hopefully we'll get these bloody nails as well while we're here. God damn it, I can't believe that. All right, we are filled up. We're good to go. Let's get the hell out of here. Make sure we turn... Oh, Jesus. God, that made me jump. My God. Oh, no, no, we've crashed. Ah, you're going to get it because of that, actually, you bastard. Jesus Christ, that made me jump. Ah, Get out of it. Jeez. 
Get me home. All right, so we got our gas cans. Let's pop them down. Let's actually fix our generator as well because I did pick up the electrical scrap. Good way to increase your electrical skill, actually. Um, well, kind of. <laughs> it good to get you that first level. Let's take these cabbage with us. Probably move some more over. All right, let's go check on these traps. And we do have horde night tomorrow as well, so we got to be ready for that. But I think we're good for guns. We're getting 800 tomorrow, so, you know, it's a, it's a fair old few. <laughs> No, the mouse traps still have bait in them, which makes me think that you can't catch them with cabbage. I don't know. But I know you can catch rabbits with cabbage, so let's uh, let's see if that's worked. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. We got some in here, maybe. Check trap. What we got? What we got? Ah, dead rabbit. Yes, look at that. Add bait. Did we get another rabbit? Oh, yes, we did. Look at that. Amazing. Probably should have... Wait, did we read... Yeah, we did read trap in two, didn't we? Ah, oh, look. Okay, that's good. Add bait, so they have taken some here and not um, caught anything. But that's why you have a few of the bad boys going. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's get back and have ourselves a feast. Maybe maybe a rabbit stew. I don't know if we have a pan, though. No, it doesn't look like we have a pan. What can we do with... Oh, no, let's not eat it. Let's try and slice it. Butcher rabbit, yes. Um, maybe not a rabbit salad. Stew would be the best option, I think. 82, look at that. God, there's some big old rabbits. Right, let's pop them in the uh, in the freezer for now. Now, what, uh, what weaponry are we going to take for the horde? I'm thinking maybe we take the 308, you know. We do have quite a few rounds for it now. Let's open all these. Yeah, 400 odd. So it's not going to do the whole horde, but it'll do a hell of a lot of them. And we got like five magazines for it as well. Okay, so this is going to do us, I think, the majority of the horde, to be fair. We get it on our back. How is our weight? 81 and rising. Yeah, it is going to be going up because we did eat them uh, lentils or whatever the hell they were we probably should have uh well we could have had a lovely cabbage uh, uh sorry a lovely rabbit um steak or something but it is what it is we'll just have to wait okay so it's 10 20 a.m it's a little bit later because i do want to be fresh for the horde and sleep in as much as possible so yeah we're gonna go to bed tomorrow we got 800 of the bastards so it should be fun should be fun looking forward to it but we'll see you then all right day 78 horde night baby let's uh calories are okay we're just gonna have a cabbage i think just to uh yeah because we're gonna have to start losing some of these maybe even starve ourselves but uh yeah horde night horde night we just gotta hang around and wait this cabbage is growing really fast actually so we only planted that what five days ago or something seems like it's growing fast anyway yeah let's get the old rifle ready and just wait around for this horde maybe wait inside so we don't get a cold <laughs> all right stopped raining how many kills are we on actually let's have a look here 3463 okay okay so we need what 4000 and 200 ish that's fine we are bored from staying inside to smoke the old cigarette. Oh, time has come. They are done waiting. Come on, then, you bastards. Actually, let's go check out our little uh, our little sniper post, shall we? They seem to be coming a lot from that way. There's nothing coming from down here, surprisingly. Let's go and shoot up them bastards, then. Okay, looks like they're starting to come from down here. So let's go and uh, check out the tower. Oh, it works like a charm. Look at that. They're a bit slow coming today. Here they all are. This does seem to be the best location, I think. So the sniper nest was a bit of a waste of time, but it is what it is. All right, well, we are getting through them. How many bloody kills are we on now? Let's have a look. 3,600. So what? We've killed four, five, six, 200. Well, there's still a hell of a lot more. Ah, uh, the gun is starting to jam a bit now, which isn't good. But that's fine. I think we got about seven battle rifles anyway. <laughs> Alright, so it's 20 past six. The sun is starting to come up and there is a hell of a lot of them still around. Hopefully we can sleep. The old roadblock is working. They are getting trapped there. I mean, some are crawling under, of course, but it is kind of working. They are getting very low on ammo, though. We've only got 28 rounds left in this. I mean, do we try and use... Ah, uh, no, nah, because it was just bloody awful, wasn't it? Let's use the salvage SMG just to give it a little test run, shall we? We've only got 10 rounds in it, but that's fine. Come on, you bastards. Ah, 
I like that. I like that. Although it is a bit worrying that it lost um, condition after um, one shot. All right, back to the 22 then. Come on, you bastards. All right, it's 20 past eight. Let's see if we can get to sleep. I don't know if we're going to be able to. It might be too... Yeah, no, we can't sleep here. Um, right, okay. Let's... Let's... Let's, 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 let's see if we can go sleep in our tent. The emergency sleeper. No, we can't. Okay. God, there's a lot of them underneath us. Oh, okay. We got a load of them below us. Let's see if we can... No, we still can't sleep. Okay. There's got to be some around here somewhere. Then aren't there? Oh, there's a hell of a lot of them up here. Right, back to base. Right, let's try now. No, we can't. Okay, okay. Right, there's still a load of the bastards around here somewhere. All right, let's try now. You're going to let us sleep? You're going to let us sleep? No. Okay, let's maybe try the tent again. This is not good. Oh, we can sleep. We can sleep. We can sleep. Yes. Okay. Day 79. Still a hell of a lot of them out there. I got a feeling. <laughs> maybe a few hundred of them, I think. Do you know what we do? I think maybe we go down there. Shall we do it? To hell with it. Why not, eh? Is this getting our sneak up? Yeah, it is. Okay. I think we go down there with the MP5. Shall we do it? It's risky. It's bold. But I'm feeling it. How many boxes of AK rounds? Okay, so we got a fair few. But I know we've got a hell of a lot of uh, 9mm. But then how many MP5 magazines do we have? Doesn't look like we have any. No, maybe we go down with the AK. Maybe we do it. Maybe we do, you know. How are our calories looking? Okay, let's get some cabbage and let's let's go down there with the AK. To hell with it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, okay, we're okay. We're okay. And nearly got a level in aiming as well. Let's test out the AK. Come on. Nice. Loud. Get the gun. Get the gun. Let's see if we can get in here and get some water quick. Anything? Ah! Oh, oh, we need that. We need that for the armor. Right, let's get out of it. Amazing, it was there the whole time. Oh, God. Oh, we are tired. Okay, we've got to be careful. Gun only. How's the base looking? So we should have got a lot of the zombies anyway. There may still be a few. Yeah. Oh, there is a lot of them in there. Jeez, there's a lot. Last mag, last mag, then we gotta reload the mags. Oh, another Jason. Jeez. Wow, okay, well, we'll take your machete, buddy. God, there's still so many of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, aiming's gone up, though. Ooh. Well, it looks like that was the uh, jury room. Let's run through here. Okay, yep, yeah, no, that's fine. What's going on behind us here? Oh, we got a few, we got a few. <sighs> well, I think we got most of them. Let's give it a little shout just to draw any of the bastards out if there is still some. It's like we got a load of them. Still haven't breached that door. <laughs> All right, let's get upstairs because we're going to start getting tired soon. And we'll switch to the standard vanilla machete, I think, because this one has nearly had it. It's not dead completely yet, but I'm going to change the AK. Yep, the AK did uh, did its job, that's for sure. <laughs> Although we are now very low um, on AK on 7.62. Not ideal, not ideal. Let's, uh, let's read this magazine before I forget. So what can we actually make then? Yep, the stuff we wanted, the shoulder pads, the gloves, so... Yeah, hand plates. Yep, happy days. Let's uh, let's get reading. I'll actually look at trying to make some of them tomorrow, but I think we're gonna go uh, go to bed now. We'll uh, see you. Uh, yeah, see you tomorrow. All right, day eighty. We didn't really sleep a lot. We don't want to be up at this time. This is taking us completely out of sync. That is not good. 
That is not good. Let's have a look at creating some armor now then, shall we? Okay, so we've got a right hand plate. Let's make a left hand plate. We cannot. <laughs> I guess, yeah, small sheets. Okay, but well, we can upgrade it. So let's upgrade it with, mm, yeah, with screws. Oh, look at that. We are looking, uh, we're looking like something, all right? We are going to need metal sheets. So we're probably going to go up to the burger place, but not today, I don't think. We'll probably save that for the next 10, I think. I can hear a zombie somewhere. I don't know where the bastard is. Let's have a little smoke. We've just been hanging around base so far today. We've got cabbage. Yeah, it's stale. Well, yeah, we don't really do a lot on the 10th day anyway, so that's probably going to be it for today. Okay, guys, day 81. We are looking good. Now, the plan for the next 10 days, we're going to have to check on our traps so we've got a nice supply of food. But also, I want to go down to these warehouses. I think they're like warehouses. And actually get some metal sheets because we're not looking too good. I mean, we're okay on ammo. we got the shotgun shells. we got all this. But, I mean, 45s, they're pretty useless, to be honest. So, if we can forge them into something else 9 millimeter is going to be useful but yeah the 45s i mean 14 boxes of it uh 223 what does what takes 223 again is it this is it this no that's 22 oh maybe it's the uh the mini um what does this take what does this take 223 okay okay yeah so the mini 14 so we've probably got enough to last us this horde the next horde but after that Mm, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tight I think so let's actually grab ourselves some cabbage salad because calories is 80 that's fine let's have a cabbage salad and we'll also go and refill our traps and uh whoa 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 what the hell are you doing there Harold come on and then we'll yeah refill our traps and hopefully bring us back some oh we need a pan as well don't we that's what we gotta do we gotta get a pan oh we've got some drifters coming some of the locals get the hell out of here Damn bastards. Hmm. So nothing has been, um, nothing caught. That's fine. Looks like they've taken, taken the bait as well. So we'll have to refill it. All right. For the rest of the day, let's go and see if we can find ourselves a cooking pot so we can make some shoot. Oh, and I see a metal sheet because metal sheets are going to be, uh, going to be big. We need them. Oh, we might be able to get a load out of here as well. Okay, that's uh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think we come down here before we go to the warehouse. We may have enough. But priorities and the pan, the pot is what we want. Roasting pan could work, actually. Let's take that in case we don't find ourselves a uh, pot. Well, we haven't had much luck so far. We've got a saucepan of water, but no cooking pot i mean if we can't get it that's fine it's not the end of the world we can use the baking tray i think to make um like of the roasting pan sorry to make something with the rabbit we can have a little rabbit ca cabbage roast i think which actually sounds pretty good to be honest ah cooking pan cooking pot right let's get back then and uh, do some cooking now it would be nice if i had an oven upstairs but i don't i only have the fireplace the campfire so we'll have to work with it we'll have to work with it okay so the rabbit's frozen so we're going to pop it in the fridge just to defrost we can put our cleaver in there and also i picked up a bottle of beer which we'll, we shall have on the hundred and first day if we make it of course and some chocolate as well why not let's put that there Okay, but it's 10 past 9. We're going to go to bed and tomorrow. We're going to go up to that restaurant, do a bit of metal work and see how we get on with that. So we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 82. What we're going to do is have a look what we can cook with this lovely rabbit. Um, shall we make... I think you got to put water in it to make a stew, I believe. Create roast game. Yes, I think a... Sh let's do a roast today. Let's let's make a roast, shall we? Um, let's add the game. Right, rabbit roast with cabbage let's add three in there because three is the magic number when it comes to salad so we're gonna have to cook it as well i can't forget to cook it take some stale cabbage with us because oh god they're going stale as we talk because we're going also refill our traps i got a propane torch let's get this fire going i wonder if the fire will spread to these books interesting i don't know all right well let's 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 add the salad uh sorry the roast let's light this bastard and go from there um e no not our shirt not our shirt don't know about these books on the fire to be honest with you okay so there is the roast let's take that out let's turn the fire off i don't know how much fuel we got in there Put out fire. There we go. Okay, so hunger. Cool, look at this. I wonder what the calories are though. What we are? Minus two two. 
zero zero. Uh, I think we just need to eat half of it, you know. Hunger does it give us forty six. So uh, let's eat a half. There we go. So what's that? Maybe like three hundred calories, so six hundred for all of it. That's interesting, right? Let's pop this back in the fridge. We have a nice roast there ready for us. But we're off to do some metal working and also check on our traps. Okay, looks like we caught something. Check trap. Have we got it? Have we got it? Yes, a dead rabbit. Nice, nice. Let's add bait to the rest of them. Okay, so they've all got bait in them. Let's... Oh, we still got our saucepan of water here as well. Let's... Can we pull that into our camping canteen? Yes. Right, let's get dismantled in here for some sheets and stuff like that. Oh, we got a level of metal working. Nice, nice, nice. I'm just thinking, do we take a microwave up to our base? But then if we're doing roast and stuff, it's going to be a lot of, uh, it's all in metal, isn't it? So that's probably not a good idea, as I have had that happen before in one of my series. Okay, so we've actually got quite a few metal sheets. We might not need to go to the warehouses because this could be enough. I want to, don't know what I want to build. Maybe the scrap assault rifle possibly let's just go we'll go and assess it I'm, i imagine the weapon with the highest level required would have the highest durability that's my thinking anyway hmm we need wire which i don't think we've got can we make wire though yes we can we don't have metal cars hmm. right well it looks like we're just gonna have to make do with the salvaged smg which is fine we just need some more magazines for it Oh, and a leveling cooking. You know what? We'll take it. We'll bloody take it. All right, it's 20 to 9. We're going to eat the rest of this because our canneries are dropping. Let's see if we can get a good old boost on them. Mm, no, not really. Okay. Maybe the MREs and the cabbage is the... Uh, oh, we've got cabbage salad here as well. Maybe the MREs and the cabbage is the best. Because uh, MREs give you actually nearly 2,000, which, I'm, you know, it makes sense. Let's see them. That's leveled us off, but we're going to go to bed tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to figure out and sort out some more scrap firearms, I think. So we'll see you then. All right, day 83. Let's have a look at sorting this out. So I did make more magazines. I'll probably do with, you know, two more. So we've got five. That, that makes sense. Okay, so we've actually got six and one that's in it. So seven. Wow, okay. You just need the bullets now. Yeah, so I think we'll actually take... The 45 dismantle them and use the gunpowder i think we're not really going to use a 45 so it's fine and we've actually run out of space for all the gunpowder so we're going to need more wood more bloody wood for more bloody crates do we have wood somewhere no we didn't okay that's fine we can we can sort that actually let's just try and make some bullets now okay so we got 510 that's good I think we're out of weapon parts though now. I can't actually remember how to get weapon parts. Do we have to dismantle a gun? I think we do. Let's try it. Okay, well, we made progress. Tomorrow we'll go and get some more wood to build another crate. Actually, do we need all of these crates? What have we got in the back here? Oh, what I have figured out though is we've got the Glock and we've actually got seven magazines for that. And that takes 17 rounds. So that could be a contender for our nine millimeter gun, being as we have. 27 boxes okay okay let's put this down here <laughs> i like to know where uh, all my guns are it's a bit confusing in the crates i always forget what we got so there is absolutely fine what the hell i've just realized we got a bloody hole in our window what the smash what the hell happened now i must have shot through it <laughs> Jeez. okay well we're gonna need more fuel in here as well and we're gonna need a new bloody window and we're seed buried Oof. It is all going on, but they, they are jobs for tomorrow. Let's fill this up. There we go. We'll go to bed, and then we'll sort our window out tomorrow. Also, our crops as well, so we'll see you then. Okay, day 84. We got rain. We got rain. Right. We're going to need a crowbar for a new window. There we go. Wood and a window. That is our current goal, our current mission. So let's try and go and sort that out now. Right. We have wood. We have the window. Let's get back. Let's deal with this doctor over here. And then go from there, really. All right, we've done the window. We've got a nice new window in there. Let's go and have a look at it. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. Lovely stuff. Right, shall we also look at getting some more armor? All right, so I have made a left-hand scrap plate. I did make a right-hand one by accident, which is useless. And also some shoulder protection as well. So let's get that on. Oh, look at that. We are looking the part now. All right, but it is 7 a.m. We are probably going to go to bed tomorrow. Oh, we've got to do our cabbage. We'll also go check our traps as well. So we'll see you then. Okay, day 84. 
five. Let's take this stale cabbage and we'll go check our traps and also the mouse traps. I don't think we're going to catch anything with cabbage in the mouse traps, but we'll have a look anyway. No rabbits, but a bastard in zombie. Get out of it. Jeez. All the bait is gone by the looks of it, so we will refill it. Oh, I feel we needed metal cutters for something. Or was it pliers? I don't know. We'll take it and see if we can. We've just made all that ammo, <laughs> but we might be able to make the assault rifle now. Doesn't look like the cabbage is. They're eating the cat. Oh, I still got... Oh, no. Right, let's get back and see if we can make this assault rifle now. <laughs> and we actually need leather strips, so it's a shame we let all them bodies despawn. We will go and have a look for some, but I don't think we have any. No, we don't, which is a little bit annoying. We may be able to get some... Uh, is there any zombies still kicking around? I doubt it. I've got leather on them. We could go have a look in the houses for... Uh, than the clothes but i doubt it to be honest but we got nothing else to do so let's try it oh jeez wow okay jesus well we got leather god oh we found a new magazine we can disassemble stuff not don't know how useful that's gonna be but you know it is uh it's, it's uh it is what it is no, no leather. Um, that is a real shame, but we should be able to get it once we've done this horde. There should be some uh, some zombies with leather, I would have thought. Oh, wait, we do have enough. Amazing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, and it takes the salvage bullets as well. It takes what we already made. Amazing. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Nice, nice. Oh, no. No, we've got a bloody cold again. We gotta stop hanging hanging around outside. Jesus Christ. But it is eight o'clock. We're gonna have some MREs, get as well fed, and hopefully we can shift the cold overnight. Full to bursting. Okay, let's go to sleep. We'll uh, see you tomorrow. Alright, day 86. We're not gonna do a lot for the next few days. We've accomplished our missions. We've got a scrap assault rifle. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Uh, I was gonna harvest these today. I thought they'd be alright for another day. God damn it. That is uh that's not good. Alright, so we've replanted the seeds. Hopefully, uh oh we got another Horus as well. Hopefully these won't uh, we won't let these ones rot, but <laughs> We'll see. All right, but it is 10 to 9 in the morning. We will have some MRE, I think, and then go to bed. We haven't done a lot. As I say, we are just kind of waiting now for uh, for Horde night. But we'll go to bed and we'll uh, see you tomorrow. All right, day 87. I believe the bulb has just popped on this light. I think I heard it in the night. Let's go and see. We did have some spares. Yeah, it looks like the red room's gone. And we just got... Oh, we got a purple room. We got a green... Ah, we got purple. Okay, that's fine. We'll use a normal light for now yeah we have come a long old way we really have trap spike traps never really uh came to fruition did they They did help a little bit i mean we could put, i mean there's still some in that one down there we could use them but the amount of spears they use and the amount of zombies we got not really much point you know we have got enough ammo for this one well we got 900 tomorrow god it's gonna be tight but then the, the thousand horde pfft, I don't know what we're going to do for that. I really don't. It might have to be the checkpoint. Okay, it's 10 to 11 in the morning. I kept us awake as much as possible because, of course, it is the Horde night. We've got all these salvaged ammo. Let's, uh, we're going to take the assault rifle for a little spin, definitely. Let's fill all these mags up first, though. Right, let's go to bed tomorrow. we got the Horde night, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll see you then. All right, day 88. Horde night. Horde night. We've slept in quite well as well. It's 8 p.m., which is good. Let's get a MRE in us, maybe. No, I think we'll go cabbage salad. Oh, we don't have any cabbage. Get it in the fridge. Get it in the fridge. Come on, Harold, old boy. We'll wait till the cabbage defrosts. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. We're not going to starve. It's fine. Here they come. Let's hope I can survive this. Let's go. Let's go. We've killed 4,298. So say 4,300, so what, 5,200 should be 900? Let's have you, you bastards. Oh, we got our first candidate with the um, scrap assault rifle. Let's give it a go. Oh, we missed. Oh, we missed. Oh, I don't think the range is that good on this. <laughs> um, oh, well. <laughs> oh, here they come up here. Let's see if we can get them with it from here. Yes, we can. Oh, lovely. Look at this. I quite like it. I quite like it. I won't lie. I will not lie. I like it. Durability is uh, it's dropping, but it's not dropping as much. So this could be a big contender. Oh, here they come. Come on. Let's go have a look up here. Yeah, they're starting to uh, pile up up here. So let's deal with some. Let 
We all saw in a jam a little bit now, which isn't good. Yeah, we are jamming quite a bit, but not as much as that old bad boy over there, the scrap SMG. Oh god, look at them all going inside, oh no. Oh, we're getting through, and we have had to reload all, our, all of our mags, and a load did go inside. But, you know, that's par for the course these days. Load more up here again. The barricade is actually working. They're too stupid to go around, you bloody idiots. And we are out. We are out. So let's drop this. Let's use the... We do have the Mini 14. We do have some ammo for that. So let's actually use that. I have 11 boxes somehow. <laughs> Does actually give us... What's that? 400... 420. 420 ammo we got for this. Okay. Okay, that's something. Oh, Jesus. Look at them all over there. Jeez. Alright, we are quite hungry, so let's go have a cabbage salad. These should have defrosted. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Oh my god, there are so many of them. Right, it's 12 o'clock. Can we sleep? No. Okay, maybe we can sleep over here? No. Okay, right, let's walk over there. Let's be careful here. Let's try and clear some of these underneath. Oh, we can sleep. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll see you. Uh, see you tomorrow. Oh, it's not safe to sleep here. God damn it. Okay. Let's head back over this way then. How are we looking up here? Oh, there's a few of them. Okay, we still can't sleep. It's 20 past three. This is not ideal. And we've got about three rounds left of the, uh, the rifle. So... Oh no, we got another 20. That's fine. That's fine. And we are out. Okay. Let's, 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 let's drop it. Might be the 22, you know. The old faithful, old reliable. Let's get her out. So we're on 5,022 kills. So what was we on before? Nearly 4,300. So what, another couple of hundred and we've done, we killed 900? We've probably used about a thousand rounds of ammo, if not more. All right, let's go and have a look near our little rope bridge. To oh, okay, yeah, let's deal with these. Ah, we are tired again. The coffee didn't really work as well as I'd hoped. Still can't sleep here, so... Are we looking over here for Zeds? Nothing really over there. I'm surprised I Oh, I can sleep. Right, let's... Yeah, let's... Let's sleep, let's sleep. Do we attempt to go down there? I mean, I think we've killed a hell of a lot of them. Let's run across here. I think we take the Glock down instead of the shotgun for a change. How many mags we got? I mean, we got seven mags. So yeah, I think we do. Let's don't need to take all of this. You don't get a lot of rounds with the nine mil boxes, which is a shame. Okay, we're locked and loaded. Let's get, let's just have a bit of stale cabbage salad. All right, let's, uh, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, I'm shooting. There's nothing down there. Let's let's play risk it. Let's do it. Oh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, long blade up a level. We need that. Level three. Okay, that's good. We'll take it. We'll take it. I think we got a lot of them, you know. I think we did. Oh, no, there's still a load in there. Okay. We got the pistol. Let's deal with these. Come on. Come on over here. Got a lot of them, I think. I'm trying to keep an eye out for leather, but I can't seem to uh, to see any. All right, I think we got most of them, which is uh, very nice, actually. God, look at it in here. Now I can't see. I found two pairs of gloves. That's about it for leather. So not ideal. We'll take them nine millimeter. Yes, please. There's just too many zombies to go through. Jeez. Oh, well, we'll be able to repair the uh, scrap assault rifle. Right, is there any hanging around? Yeah, we got one here. 
Ah, oh, we got leather. We got leather. Here we go. Okay, right. Well, let's get back on our roof. It did sound like they were trying to... Oh, they finally got through. They finally got through. Well, we did it. 900. Wow. Wow. That is... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's take stock of ammo. We got... 523 22s how do we have here 152 that could come in handy in a pinch 120 38 special for the winch quite a bit of nine mil but you don't get a lot in the box and we do have nine box of shotgun shells okay and 233 ak what else we got in here oh there's a load of nine millimeter there some 308s yeah we still got 556 but we don't think we have a 556 to use do we oh yeah we got the m16s but you know we've got so little ammo for it it's probably not worth it. i think we got carbine as well so somewhere a couple of boxes of 308 mm. we do have 18 leather strips now though because i found a couple of jackets so if we did need to make another assault rifle that's fine weapons are a bit low so let's actually get some new ones okay we'll change the machete on our back for the uh fairy tanto don't know quite what that is but uh yeah now i like the look of that that's fine and we'll take the dmm ice axe as well to replace our axe lovely stuff lovely stuff we're probably going to go to bed tomorrow Whew. Wow, day 90. Day 90, we'll see you then. Okay, day 90. Yep, 5,152. Let's have a look at this. Firearms. Firearms have been the one. Long blade. What, uh, what's been on most here? Actually, it'll be in our favourite web. The M14 battle rifle. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Now, we're probably not going to do a lot today as it is the 10th day, so we don't normally do anything too crazy. All right, guys. Day 91, the final 10 days. We've got a thousand of the bastards spawning in on day 98 so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun now for the next until the horde night i'm not too sure what i want to do i think we've got enough ammo what we got here we got what, 523 there 100 odd there a hell of a lot of uh, nine millimeter here as well and the shotty and the ak so i think we're gonna be fine what i probably will do as well is build some more scrap uh, salvage rounds with some well what we got here not a lot actually <laughs> doesn't look like i will be making any salvage rounds but yeah that's that's it right now thinking do we take the fight to them do we go down for the thousand we got the rest points you can also put some guns at each point i don't know yet i don't know whether i'm feeling it we could send old harold out of a bang couldn't we and it would be a bang indeed i think we're gonna do it you know yeah let's do it let's take the 22 we'll go put that somewhere and we'll come back for the rest of it we'll probably keep the shotgun and the pistol on us yeah i think i think that's the play here okay so we're at our northern rest point we've put yeah we got the chair let's pop these down so we retreat and we can come up here we can grab some guns and ammo actually should we repair should we let's uh Let's insert bullets into the mags to be ready for them. <laughs> we'll also check the traps while we're up here as well. Why the hell not? Mm. So we got nothing. That's fine. Let's turn the old flashlight on. I don't know why F isn't working sometimes now. I don't know why. Yeah, nothing in the old traps. Is there even bait in there? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. You know, we, we've got a couple of rabbits. We're on the home stretch now, so we should be fine. Oh, hello there. Any more bastards sneaking around? No, I don't look like it. Okay. Wait, there's someone in there. Could be a craw uh, a corpse that reanimated, maybe. Re-reanimated. I'm thinking, do we take the Tech-9? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so we've got 765 9mm rounds. So that... That's that's enough, I think. Right, so we've got the shotgun as well. Now, the only problem is that is giving us a very heavy load. So with 458 shells, maybe we need to get rid of half of them, you know. <laughs> but it is half past seven. We're going to go to bed tomorrow. We're going to go put the AK somewhere. Yeah, I think we need that as a backup weapon, you know. But uh, we'll see you in the morning. All right, day 92. Now, what I do want to have a little look at before we go and place our weapons in a secure location is... The Gatling gun. Now that would help, but yeah, level 10 metal working to do the magazines and 9 to do the actual gun. And you need engine parts, we don't have, we don't have a motor. Yeah, I don't. It's unfortunate. I would have liked to have got the older Gatling gun on the go, but I do believe it runs your stamina down when you're using it and it is quite bulky. You kind of need someone to cover you while while you're Gatling, really. Let's um, let's have some cabbage salad. There we go. Lovely salad. And we're actually, oh my god, we're at what? We're at cabbage? What? What's going on here? Let's get some out of here and move it over. Yeah, 13 should do us. 13 should do us. All right, get that salad in your Harold, old boy. 
We do have two uh, two uh, jars of coffee here for the Horde Knight, so that's fine. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go move the AK. Hey, hey, lady, lady, get out of here, jeez. I hope Harold will survive, but, you know, he could, he could die. He could actually die if we're, if we're ground level. I think it's a fitting way to end it. Go down in, in a blaze of glory. Where is that chair? Oh, it's down here. Don't know how we're actually going to work it because, you know, we're going to have to sleep and stuff. But hopefully the coffee will last, but pff, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, axe up a level. Yes, please. But from looking at how the zombies have spawned, they I think they come in waves. I don't think they are set to spawn all up to a thousand at once, but I don't think it does. Looks like they come in waves. So, yeah, it's going to uh, going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Don't really like the position of this chair. We're going to move that. Okay, there we go. Now, let's get drop the AK. Oh, look at these old bastards hiding around here by the police station. You sneaky bastards. Do we want to put our car somewhere that we can escape? Because we could just run a load of them over, because we're nearly at the 100 days. We're not really going to need it anymore. Let's uh, let's put this in a strategic position as well. Let's just put it up the road here a little bit. So 309 mil. Okay, let's also fill up the uh, ammo sling with shotgun shells. We haven't got 100. I think we're going to need a few more than 100 in there. We may also have to stash some more 9mm somewhere and some shotgun shells, but I think we'll do that tomorrow. We'll also take a Molotov or two with us as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we have three Molotovs. Okay. Okay, but it is 8 a.m. I'm going to get to bed because I say I want to get ourselves in a good routine for the horde. So let's go to bed and uh, yeah, another day, another day done, another day closer. Let's have it. Okay, day 93. Get this bloody pinball machine out of my way. Let's fill up our canteen. Now, where else do we want? Do we want some ammo over there? Some 9 mil we can loop around? I'm not going through the uh, the blockade there. Um, yeah, let's let's do it. So what we got on us then? 300. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, no, actually, maybe we keep this somewhere closer, you know. Maybe we keep it in our trunk. Okay, yeah, we'll keep it in there. 465 in there. We'll also probably keep the shotty shells in there as well, the ones we don't have on our person, maybe. Crops aren't starting to come through yet, but that's fine. That is fine. We're probably not going to need them, to be honest. Okay, it's 20 past nine. We'll have a smoke. Will we have some food? Uh, I think more our calories looking like, actually. 80 and dropping. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, uh, that'll do us. We're not actually tired yet, so let's wait around outside for a little bit longer. Okay, it's 10 to 11. Let's go to sleep, and we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day 94. Day 94. We're probably not going to do anything for these days, you know. We're just going to hang around. There's nothing else I really really want to accomplish in terms of you know going to locations i feel we've got enough ammo so we don't need to go to the checkpoint can't really craft anything else we are just waiting now for the horde it's gonna be summon all right let's get some mres in us i think we've got 100 where are our shotty shells we've got 100 on us another 100 would be nice and then we'll keep the rest of them in the uh, in the wagon, I think. Let's go put them in there now. Yes, yeah, so we've got heavy load, but it's not a very heavy load. And heavy load, okay. And that gives us 454 shotgun shells. Could be worth the risk. And every shot we take, we're going to get lighter, aren't we? Let's see what it's like with coffee on us. Still the same. Okay, maybe we run like this. I think we go like this, you know. Maybe we'll drop our satchel down there on the floor. I was going to empty it here, but... If they take away our ropes, we're going to have to build stairs to eventually get back up here. So we're going to need a hammer, saw, all that kind of jazz. All right, it's 10 past 10. We are very tired. There is a fog coming. Hopefully this is not here. Oh, no, it's just very grey. Right, let's get to bed tomorrow. Whew, day 95, day 95. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, day 95, day 95. We're going to have some lentils or something just to bump them calories up. Let's have some black beans. Why the hell not? Go on, Harold, you deserve it. Yeah, it's going to make us sad and two Chevys, but that's fine. We could probably do with two Chevys. He says it's probably a bad idea, but oh well. Uh, old Harold, you've uh, you've had a good run. I, <laughs> you may die on this. This old boy i do not know you may do hopefully not now there's one thing certain in project zomboid you do eventually die and what better way to go out than a thousand horde well hopefully this storm bloody passes i hope so all right it's 20 past 10 let's have a smoke we'll go to bed one day closer i say we haven't done a lot we're not going to do a lot these days you know i feel this thousand horde especially being downstairs is going to be carnage anyway so yeah yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see in the morning. Okay, day 96, day 96. Let's just make sure we have... So what we got up there? We got... I can't remember what we got up there. The AK. 
Or is the AK down here? I don't even know. I can't remember. Oh no. Oh no. I think the AK is up here. No. The two, the 22's here. The AK's down here. We haven't put any guns there. We got there in the end. I mean, if it gets too crazy down there, we will retreat upstairs, I think. But I think... I, just, I don't know. I think we'll be okay. I'm feeling pretty confident, but as we all know, that's how you die in Project Zomboid, isn't it? So, <laughs> okay, it's 12 in the afternoon. Let's go to sleep. Let's have a smoke first, actually. Let's get us in. I'm trying to get us to go to sleep as late as possible, so we're fresh for the horde, but uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, day 97, the day before the horde. Oh, I am nervous. I am nervous. I'm not going to lie. If we stay on the roof... You know, it's fine. But I feel we, you know, we've got to go down there. And that is why I'm nervous. Maybe we should have put some, maybe we should have put some traps in there, some spikes. But hopefully they'll trip on this anyway. So if we do get swarmed, maybe we should have done dug some more actually let's go do that now let's go do that today let's dig some more bloody more graves for them to trip over if we need to get the hell out of dodge bit worried about this heavy load we've got as well don't know what to do about that i don't know whether to risk it all right we dug some graves all around we can you know weave through them zigzag through them if we need to that'll be fine i think i mean we've got a lot of open space so yeah let's uh see how we get on yeah i am worried about this carry weight though what have we got on us oh god no yeah because we got these 300 shotgun shells let's get rid of them okay so we've had to put what 250 now we've got 95 let's take a couple what's it like when we switch what's our load like heavy load okay i can deal with heavy load that's fine i just don't want a, a very heavy load we will have of course have keep our bellies full which will give us the extra carry capacity as well just got to be careful to we got to conserve our energy our endurance and not exert ourselves from running with this load i got to remember just to walk we should be fine to duck in and out of them oh where is our coffee where the hell's the coffee no no what have i done with the coffee what have i done with the coffee where is it? Did I put it in the car? Oh, yes, I did. Okay, get that out. Jeez, favourite that. Okay, so having a full belly makes us fairly heavy load, so that's fine. Okay, it's 10 past 12. Let's go to bed tomorrow. Oof, we're going down there. We're going down there. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll see you in the morning. Okay, day 98. We woke up just before our alarm went off, which is good, so we did get a full rest. Let's have some cabbage salad now. I'm thinking, do we make a cabbage salad to... Uh, I mean, we should be fine for calories anyway with some MREs. Let's uh, let's eat it. All right, let's do it. Let's get down there. Ah, oh, this guy showed up early to the party. Hey, buddy. Okay, so we have gone to heavy load because we're not full to bursting and the horde is coming any minute now. Okay, let's, uh, let's have your bastards. Let's get the Tech-9 out to start. Oh, God. This is not safe. Danger is near. I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's go down here. Let's walk down here to him. Although the, that blockage is probably going to help us quite a bit. Let's get the shotty, actually. Let's ball them up while we can. Actually, they're coming from everywhere. Okay, so what kills we on? 5,175. Nice. Jesus, it's nearly over then. My God. Okay, the Mac 10, we nearly have <laughs> mags for the Mac. <laughs> okay, it's shotgun time, it's shotgun time. Oh Lord. Okay, we just gotta stay calm, we just gotta stay calm. I think the shotgun is gonna be the play here though. We should have just loaded up on shotgun ammo. Oh jeez, oh my God. They are everywhere. Oh my god, they actually are. They are everywhere. Oh no, we need to get upstairs. We can't do this. We can't do this. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Oh my god, what's this guy got in him? A bloody microwave mace or something, isn't it? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so, alright, we've planned for this, we've planned for this. We can just loop them. Okay, we're down to 48 rounds on the shotgun. That is not good. What gun did we have down here? I think it was just the 22, wasn't it? That's not going to be enough. God, they are pushing us back. We are so low on shotgun shells. I've got to try and get up to the AK. Okay, we're out on the shotgun where we've got one round left. Let's get the tech. We're 
Right, let's try and go round. They're going to be everywhere though, aren't they? Let's try and get up to the AK. Don't really like running through the rock woods here, but we've got no choice. Okay, let's walk a little bit, save our energy. Actually, let's Molotov them. Let's Molotov the woods. To hell with it. If they're coming through, let's get the bastards. Die, you bastards! Yes! <laughs> Let's give him a shout. Let him burn. Let him burn. Goddamn bastards. Let's reload some mags while we're here. I'm thinking maybe the thousand have already spawned in and we've gave him the slip. I don't know. Seems a bit too good to be true, to be honest. Oh, well, they broke one of our traps by the looks of it. The bastards. It's pretty clear up here, you know. Maybe they're all burning in the forest. We've only killed about 200, though. So one from fire. So they are. Well, we got one of them at least. Oh no. Oh no, the AK wasn't even here. No, the AK was down there. No. Oh, I'm so stupid. I can't believe it. Ah, okay, let's get down the main street. Let's get some more shotgun shells then if we can't get the bloody AK. Yeah, we still only killed one by fire, so I don't think that Molotov was very productive, to be honest. The high street looks clear, mate. I don't think it's despawned them because there's so many. Right, we got all the shotgun shells. We're good to go. Now, the shotgun's probably drawn them all down there, to be fair. They'll all be in the bloody woods, won't they? Oh, no, here we go. Here we go. This is Molotov here. Oh, yes. Let's have you, you bastards. That'll still work. Ah. Yeah, burn you bastards. Oh god, no, we only walked in the flames then. What's it like down here? Oh, oh no, go back up, go back up, go back up. They're burning! Ha <laughs> ha! Should probably conserve our ammo and just let the bastards burn. Oh my god, look at them. I was going to say we could go to our base and sleep, but they'll burn it down. They'll come inside and burn it down. It's very inaccurate, the uh, Tech 9. Oh, we killed 15 by fire. So it is getting through them. Santa, Christmas is cancelled. You bastard. We are low on water. I don't think I actually filled them up before we left. Let's... Oh, it's risky going into the base. Oh, God. Oh, no. Get out. Get out. Get out. Right, let's go up to where we went before in the little shop. I do not like this fog coming in. Not one bit. All right, we got some water. That'll do us. Let's go out and have a look what's going on down here. Oh, they're coming. Oh, we've killed 31 with fire, which is okay. I'll take that. Let's see if we can actually sneak in our base and fill our water up. Oh, we're tired as well. We're exhausted. Okay. I'm going to go try sleep on the in the tent, you know. Let's do it. Let's try it. I don't want them to come over to the base, though, if they're on fire. Let's make a quick salad. All right, let's get over there. Let's get over to the tent. This could be the death of us. It could be. It could be. We can sleep. Let's do it. Okay. Day 99. We haven't burnt down. How many we killed? What was we on? 5,175, weren't we? So what, we killed about 500? There's still a fair few of the bastards out there, but that's fine. We'll get them. We'll get them. They're probably all in the woods. Still a fire raging on down here. Not complaining. Hmm. Yeah, looks like they are a load of them all just over here. Yeah, it was touch and go there for a bit, wasn't it? But looks like we got it under control now. Tech 9's actually okay now as well. I've kind of got used to it. And they're in the woods. Maybe we Molotov the woods and watch it burn. Okay, let's burn the woods down. <laughs> okay, the woods are burning. The woods are burning. Let's have a cigarette while they burn. Let's uh, shout them through as well. If they are in there, we'll shout them and draw them through the fire. Hopefully it'll spread because it's in the woods. Oh, there's a load down there. Maybe that would have been better for a Molotov, but... Oh. Well, we're getting through them. 5,784. We're getting there. We're getting there. The fire's not really doing as much as I'd hoped. 
which is a shame. All right, let's uh, go down and have a look at the AK. Okay, we got to load down here. So yeah, it looks like they are still around. Oh, we're only down to 59 rounds with the tech. That's not good. We do have more in the car though, don't we? So that's fine. Let's go up and get them actually. Oh, the house is on fire. Lovely stuff. Oh, we got 465 in the car. So that should do us. Okay, so we're down by the road that the AK's on. There's still about 300 zombies apparently, according to the kill count. Let's deal with these. Maybe they're down here somewhere. Oh, there's some in the cornfields here. Zombies of the corn. I suppose one um, downside of this trip um, trajectory mod is that they don't highlight so in the night you can't actually see where they are look at these bastards trying to sneak up behind us maybe we have bought the AK for now <laughs> we are getting from nearly at the 6,000 kill mark and we're on 5175 so there's not many more around we may actually get the AK did I even put the AK down here? Was it even the AK? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, it was. Okay. We have a very heavy load. Now let's put the shotty in the backpack. Now we're talking. We have a very heavy load though, which isn't good. We're going to be slow. We can always drop someone if we need to. We've actually gone down a heavy load now as well because we're using the ammo, which is good. Oh, the AK is so good. Well, we have uh, we have got through them all right, haven't we? Is there even any more around? we got about, what, 100 left just over? They're probably in the forest. Let's see if we can draw them out. I mean, do we go through the forest? That is risky. That is risky. Yeah, we got a few up here by the looks of it. Gotta be careful because we cannot see nothing behind us, really. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, they're coming, they're coming. Let's get the AK. We don't get oh, we don't want to get surrounded now, do we? Okay, we're looking okay. Cool, this rain is coming down. Look how eerie this looks though. The rain, the flashlight, potential hundred zombies somewhere. Mm, we got a burn area here. This has been where we've thrown the first Molotov maybe. Well, I think we did it, you know. I think we've bloody done it all on the ground floor as well. We didn't have to go upstairs. Well, we did sleep, but we had coffee anyway. We may as if we could have gone upstairs, we may as well have. Get out of my base. Look at this. A horde night with about a hundred dead bodies in here. What about the blockade? Did that... I don't think they even spawned up there, you know. No, because we was a bit south. I don't think they did. No, they didn't. All right, let's get... Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's get upstairs. Oh, well, we have done it, pretty much. You know what? We can even start going to bed at a reasonable time now as well. I think the shotty can go on the floor. We're done with the shotty. We're done with the coffee. All right, let's go to bed. Tomorrow, day 100. We've done it. Okay, day 100. Let's, uh, well, we're not celebrating yet because you know we go, do go to a day 101 so that we do technically survive 100 days. But it all looks very, very clear. We've done a, you know, a recce of the forest and everything. You know, there's a few bastards in there probably, but yeah, there's about 100 somewhere. I mean, let's let's go see if we can have a look and find them in the daylight. Uh, we got a couple in here. Absolute carnage. It was fun. It was hella fun. Just burnt corpses everywhere. How many we, uh, we only killed 32 with fire, so not that many. An absolute massacre. The shotgun really did help this one. Really did. But yeah, looks fairly clear. Let's get back to base and get ready for day 101. Oh no, we've got another cold. It's fine, it's fine. All right, but it's 20 to 11. We're going to get a bed at a reasonable time now. We are going to have some MREs just to get us well fed to get rid of this cold, hopefully for tomorrow. Yeah, let's get a sleep. We'll see you in the morning. Day 101, let's do it. Okay, there we go. Day 101, because we got up a little bit later. We have survived three months, 10 days, three, 30 days in a PZ month. That's 90, 10, 100 days. We have done it. We have done it. Thousand horde on the last night. Yeah, easier than I thought. I was a little bit scared there for a minute or two. And I was nearly a coward away upstairs but i thought no we'll do it and we did now what we're actually gonna do is just sit on here in the rain and i'll just go over the stats and everything like that but first harold you deserve a bar of chocolate get that in you old boy you deserve a cigarette 
Absolutely. Get that in, you old boy. I wish we had Seagal's mod. If there even is one, I'm sure there is. Maybe I look at installing that for my 100 day series on the 100th day. Uh, well, 101st, 101st day. We always have a cigarette, but we'll see. And just to uh, wash it all down, get yourself a beer in you. Go on. You bloody deserve it. But yeah, it's been fun playing with Harold. It's been a fun series. 6,700 kills, 32 with fire, 17 car. Let's have a quick look at our skills here. Not, nothing too, you know crazy aiming probably the main one what six six and a half metal working we got quite good carpentry yeah carpentry always gets big anyway long blade axe yeah it was mainly the only the only zombies we really killed were horde knight really kills okay so long blunt yeah the tin can club didn't really uh didn't really do as much as i wanted to but that's fine F uh, bare hands 10 axe 632 nice nice Firearms, 4,716. What was the most? Is it still the um, the M14? The battle rifle. Oh, no, the shotgun now. 960, possibly. I'm sure it'll be on our favourite. Short blunt, yeah. Long blade, machete, yeah. Vehicles, fire, 32. Okay, what is it? Yeah, the shotgun. Shotgun really helped us on this one. It's been fun. It's been fun. 100 days. 100 days in Ekron with a horde night every 10 with a 1,000 at the end. Wow, it's a bit sad to see Harold go, but at least he survived. Take your helmet off, mate. Take it off. Come on. Get some wind in them luscious locks. Oh, and you got your gas face. You probably might need to keep that on. We'll take it off for now, quick. Oh, yes, Harold. What a hero. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you did watch the whole series, really do appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. I've got plenty planned for upcoming series, so do not worry. Do not worry. And hopefully we might not build 42 soon. We'll see. But thank you for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Just want to thank all of our channel members, but a big shout out to everyone on the Shambler tier. John Smith, Escape Artist, and Rob Jones really does mean a lot, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you.